striking through the walls What's it gonna take to erase my sins? But I've done nothing wrong I've done nothing wrong at all I've said it all before But don't be surprised When you see me come alive When there's nothing in between I'm ready to fall When there's nothing in between us I wanna tell for a tell I wanna die for a die The sky will burn so bright For only you and I
Hello, hello lovely people. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing well. Is the camera a bit blurry? Hello? There we go. Yeah, yeah that we're okay. Okay, hello. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, don't start this. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Stop it. This is lies and copium. <laughs> I refuse. We left it as such a cliffhanger. Oh yeah, I think, I think we're gonna be absolutely getting smacked in the utter cheeks today with some horrifying shit because we just started to see it in real life rodian jump scare boo <laughs> um but yeah so this is gonna be fun uh, Ar Ar uh i can't speak oh my god arc Knight's music mixes well with project moon it really does it really does it's great it's great i love a bit of rock music as well it's awesome welcome back from the cliffhanger yeah we really didn't leave it long did we <laughs> Uh, hello, hello Liliana, how are you? Hello Mikalash, how's it going? Hey Dark Black, how are you doing today? I'm glad I'm here to catch this one live. I'm glad you're here too. I am glad you are here too. You are here, Luna. You're here in time. We're just about to start. Is everyone from the previous stream here? I know there's a few people that can't make it until a bit later because we have started this one on a bit of an awkward day for people working and um also like a bit of an awkward time because I had to start earlier. So some people who were here at the last stream might pop in a bit later but i think most people are so yeah <laughs> uh tall russian woman which is funny because i'm super short so i am definitely not a tall russian woman as much as i wish it uh i think we're the day before in the big moment so i'm super excited we finished at about day 27 so i'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen next well like we've got we're on day 27 we're starting with day 27 we met the coffee the coffee uh dude howdy hello hello how are you hi everyone we are back hello hello everyone the steam transportation machine does exist yes it does exist you did blood donation today <gasps> congratulations Con good for you i'm glad that you did that's amazing that is something i've always wanted to do um, and i actually didn't know my blood type until recently so I definitely should because I think my blood type is one of those where like it would be a good thing to do. <laughs> so that's good. I'm that good for you. That's thank you for doing that. That's amazing. Uh was pulling for Desi Rodion just now and it said got three you got three egos, Luna? What egos did you get? Holy shit. I'll be like you doing school. No worries, Jason. I hope it's all going well. How big are you? I am five foot three, so definitely not six foot <laughs> definitely a lot shorter than rodeon uh yeah <laughs> we got lots of fun coming up i'm excited can't stay for the full stream because we got school tomorrow they're still gonna hit me here for a while no worries no worries we, we've got a bit of a time limit on this stream today unfortunately um just because i've got some stuff that's now come up that i need to do later so there might end up being a part three so we are definitely going to try and finish the main story today. I don't know if we're going to cover the abnormalities and the OSTs. What we might do instead is I might see if you guys want um, a third stream of this where we cover those things. We go a little bit more into detail and maybe make the connections a little bit more or whether or not you'd rather me just kind of do like videos on it and then we'll like get ready to start Ruiner. So I'll sort of leave it up to you guys to like let me know what you'd rather do, but we may not, what's the time limit? About four hours, I can push to five if I need to, but ideally four. So we don't have loads of time today, um, which I, four hours is a long time. That was the length of the last stream but i think once we get through all these all this story and then if we try to get into the abnos and the osts i think we're gonna end up with a third like i think we'd, we'd have enough for like a third stream um i thought you were really tall do you know what that's that's actually really common a lot of people think i'm really tall i'm not <laughs> i am super short <laughs> not super short but i'm pretty short yeah so yeah so um this is when the story of elsie really hits its stride i think you'll need three parts just for this oh really i might need a third part for the story okay okay it's about 35 centimeters shorter than me how tall are you oh my gosh some very interesting revelations coming soon it depends i guess on how much i need to pause it and how much i need to like ask questions hey brian we're just getting started we're just getting started ost can be a video that was my sort of thought was ost should be a video sounds like enough time okay okay it's nice to be sure it can be but it depends are you russian i'm not i'm british i don't even think i've got any like i've never done my like ancestry but i think most of mine's like welsh and irish so yeah i don't think and maybe a little bit of viking that might be about it 
Uh, we're going to say here forever with Runa with how long it is. <laughs> but it's a game with an ending. <laughs> so it won't be like we've got massive gaps in time, which is nice. I don't think Farah is enough to finish the story and go through all the Abnos without rushing. Yeah, that's what I don't want to do. Because all I was thinking was if we need a third stream, but there's not enough for like four hours of content. That was a Rodeon joke. Oh, well, that I told you <laughs> the true answer, I guess. Um, but all I could do is that like... Um, we could also split it with some limber stuff because I want to do another refraction railway to try and actually do a full one. So we could always like do a bit of both, you know? So I could always split it down a bit. So we could do something like that, I guess. So it may take most time, 4.56 hours of probably a third stream for Abnos and stuff. It just depends because we are about halfway through the story. So we associate G with Rodia and that's why we think she's so heckin' tall. <laughs> Plus, it's vastly different from BC, right? Right. Mal cute. That, yeah, I love that. Wait, British people are real? We're not? Holy shit, who am I? <laughs> no! <laughs> I also think we need part three for the law. Okay, okay, cool. All right, that's fine. Well, let's see how far we get today. <laughs> Sorry to hear that you're British. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you know, something I've uh, lived with my whole life. <laughs> I played 120 hours in library and still not done because I'm too lazy to read and try brute force. Holy shit. How, you know, hey, just, just read a little bit. It's okay. Just read a little bit. What about the boss fights you're interested in then? I know. Well, this is the thing. Yeah. I do want to look at like the boss fights because I, we were going to look at some last stream, but we didn't get a chance. The biggest enemy of Runa players reading. That is fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'd say the stream is going to be longer than the last since the cutscene is about half, but you have the abnos and OST. Yeah, uh, we're halfway through the timetable, which is not halfway through the story. No, that is true. Yeah, for, you'd have a lot of healing egos. G Gregor and Kukuriyoshu helps a lot with sustain. I know. Well, this is why I want to buy another one as well. So I want to bring the Faust one or buy Fluid Sack and then also bring Pursuance. So that's what I want to do. How much lore do you know? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad with the lore, but this is why we're doing this, to prep me for Runa and make the connections to Limbus. We have actually, I've actually learned quite a bit, which is great. There was stuff that was, was in this, which I was really surprised about because I didn't realize that that was what it was. So for example, like with the egos, where they're all like he and and Vav and things like that, I didn't realise that that linked to like the abnormalities in the way that it does in regards to like the difficulty of the abnormalities and then obviously how that comes across in Lobcorp and what you find out about that. And I was like, oh shit, like that that makes so much more sense now. And then like, especially with the Encephalon production and the fact that like the most um I think someone wrote a comment about it, but like the most like efficient source of encephalon production currently is Mephistopheles eating. Pe that's that's like one of the best ways to get encephalon at the moment, which is why Faust is so like proud of it and stuff. But I didn't realize that like it's really not something that's occurring in Limbus very much at all. So it's just and then the Gregor cognition filter was a huge drop. I was like, holy crap. Yeah, G hadn't realized just how much energy Elcorp had to sell. Yeah, I just genuinely, I was like, what the hell? So it there was just like things like that that it was like really awesome to like get revealed. And I was like, damn, <laughs> like this makes so much more sense. So yeah, it's it's cool for that. The cognition filler. I do, I really like that theory. It's it's awesome. So yeah, so we're getting to learn bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, so I think what we're gonna do is yeah tipper <laughs> yeah i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive straight in um let's crack on with the story and continue and then we can yeah cause we're actually a decent way in now i've got to remember the voices i did as well so it's gonna be fun um it's easier to gorge in lob court because of their strength yeah which is obviously something that i haven't really gotten to see as well um uh, library runa is a game that's either really difficult or really easy depending on how willing you are to use cheese straps well that's something we were going to talk about because people suggested that i use a mod so i don't have to do as much grinding and i don't mind doing grinding in the game like i'm i'm an rpg player i don't mind it but it just depends on how much time that's going to save and i don't think people would want to watch it so just to try and make it a bit more like stream friendly um but yeah so we'll, we'll have to talk about that at some point um but yeah so let's pull this up um hey axel hello we're literally just starting so hey you know the mantra of <laughs> we do 
We do. It's a night and day difference. Can't wait for more of Net Sack. I really like Net Sack as a character. I don't know which one's my favourite though. I don't know. I really do like Net Sack though. Um, discard and Singleton deck baffle me. It's more of a smoke enjoyer. Oh. Oh yeah, because like, doesn't Library of Runa, someone was saying it has like, it's like a, yeah, it's like a deck building game. Yeah. So yeah that's something the first page of the art book give a lot of context to the gameplay yes someone actually sent me the art book so i need to have a look into that as well to be fair if we end up doing part three what i might try and do is get the art book downloaded so we can like use that as well because that would be really great that'd be cool here we go back into the cycle of suffering the special cutscene. yes i'm excited runa kind of has the built-in pseudo gacha system which can add a lot of grind if you get unlucky <laughs> which I usually do, so <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> I don't think redoing fights is bad, so you should just use different flaws characters switch up. True, true. I is like a actually free gacha. I am quite glad though that it is because, yeah, you don't really have to grind a lot on Runa. Maybe at the end, if you want really specific builds, you have to repeat some stages. Okay, okay, cool. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But for now, let's continue with Lob Corp. And then we'll go from there. So just correct me if the voice is a bit different. I have done another stream that I do voices in since. <laughs> so just just remind me if if the voice goes a bit. Just yeah, just be like Georgie, can you amend the voice, please? Say it in a nice, nice way though. Don't be like you shit. Do better. Because <laughs> I don't respond well that way. Right. Let's just check the volume. Okay. How's the voice? How's the music for you guys? Is it okay? Just let me know if I need to amend it. I will go back and read this in a minute. I just want to check you guys are happy with the volume of the background music. That will give some explanations for different damage work types. Still makes it right. Okay. Like the fact you weren't guaranteed everything since I built my decks around. No grinding mod is a good addition. Removes extra challenge of fighting the harder bosses. Ah, okay. Good for me. It's good. Okay, cool. Perfect. It's okay. Right, cool. Right. That's about the lat. Okay, I've turned it up to a point. Should be good. Okay. Four damage types of four horsemen. Yes, I remember someone saying this. Um, I think it's the lobotomy one. It's the lobotomy one. I need to I need to have a look. I I'm pretty sure it is. You don't sound like you love the city you live in. Do better. <laughs> I don't love it. I smash no. <laughs> I'm page leveling? Yeah, I think yeah, it's the lob court one, yeah. I thought it was, right, let's do this, right. Now I've got to remember what my Angela voice was. Oh man, okay, let's do it. In our world, the mind has lost everything. Its weight, its significance, now it is nothing. Everything advances, but the human mind is simply too slow and placid to catch up. Do I have this on fast speed? Why is it so quick? It's normal, why is this? It feels like it's so much faster in this video, what the hell? Okay, it's fine, I just need to read a bit faster. All the remains are the 26 singularities and those who are tied to them. Humankind has deserted its former beliefs, and now has little respect for the various pillars that had supported us. These days, no one ever dreams. Nobody ever earnestly believes in something or wishes for anything. The belief once strong within a certain woman is now obsolete and worthless, abandoned like an old music box. Everything has gone quiet as if nothing had happened in the first place. However, A couldn't stand that despicable silence. So what do you think happened to him? On a bright, sunny day with clear skies, he died. I was both the first witness of his death and one of the culprits in his murder. Wait, what? Wait, what? Last time you paused? No, I didn't pause last time. I just read through. What? Wait, since when has A been dead? I thought A was traveling. Am I on the right one? Yeah, because we did Gaborah Chesed. Where's that come from? That's come out of the fucking blue. What the f- What? I thought A was traveling. Did I get that wrong? A was traveling, right? The guy recording is gaining an increase in reading speed. God damn it. When the fuck did... No. 26 singularity. Yeah. Can someone remind me about that? She says it so casually. I'm just like, since when? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. You maybe you found it more. Okay. That's clear quickly. You truly did. What the frick? However, A has always existed here, watching you ever since you stepped inside. Oh. Oh, Okay. Sometimes the Sephiroth will ask me this. Why do we have to bear this pain? A machine should only exist as a tool for its specified work. Why do we have to know the cold agony of loss, the insidious poison of obsession, the soft light of wishing, the unbearable pain of despair, then the hope to embrace it all with open arms? I thought I could answer with anything, but not even I could answer that particular question. A machine must behave as a machine. 
that phrase was something A told me often. Perhaps A, the one who would know better than anyone about this fact, made us like this because it's all a stage play, no a puppet show for him. You seem to have no idea. Well, of course, there's no way for you to know. But now, it is time for you to know the answer. It's something I've always done. First as a hope, second through agony, third in pain, fourth for anxiety, fifth out of distrust, now nothing remains. <gasps> Commencing memory synchronization, what the fuck? What? Wait, wait, what? Wait. wait. <laughs> everything, everything just went like that. Instantly. What the fuck? <laughs> what? So each wing has one singularity and there are 26 districts. Okay. So, right. Okay. So what's this district singularity? You can see on the Limbus map, there's no Z district. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, how are the 26 though? Wait, how, wait. <laughs> now, now, now my brain's going, how many, how many letters are in the alphabet? There's 26 letters in the alphabet, isn't there? I don't know. I'm now afraid. <laughs> I'm now afraid. Law, get memory synced. Elijah. Oh, hello, Elijah. Who, who is, is this not Malkov? The tearful, oh. Right, so the tearful thing in K Corp was a singularity. Thank you. That's a perfect example. Okay, got it. Got it. Perfect. She said he was traveling. Yeah, so Z's not real. Open up, it's there, we don't know where the- Oh, so we don't know where it is? There's no Z. Oh, but they're most mistake. Oh, got it. Oh, I wanna, I wanna go to Z Corp. Where is it? <laughs> 25 districts with 26 wings. Oh. Hey, Roy, how you doing? Z go bye-bye? Interesting. Maybe there's another game. Okay, is, the, is, is this still the same voice? I'm guessing. Z is not the real leader. She's obviously Elijah. Okay, so same same voice. I should do the same voice. This is not a different character. I'm confused. <laughs> Z is in your heart. Oh, that's very wholesome for a lob <laughs> lob lob corp limbus reference. Z is not a real letter. What are you talking about? Take your pill, manager. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. I should. The same voice. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. Sorry, I'm quite busy. I still haven't finished even half of what I've written down in my notebook. Uh... <laughs> hey, I heard extraction experiments are going to be conducted. When I looked over the list of participants, I couldn't find my name on it. I mean, there's probably a ton of reasons behind it. Maybe I'm just not good enough for the experiment yet. But, may I join the experiment too? I've learned a lot here. I'm sure I can help you in some way. I'll be sure not to disappoint. Oh, Hello, manager! It's sad not to have enough talent, isn't it? Oh, alright! Fucking hell! <laughs> yes, it's sad. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm talentless. <laughs> Fucking hell. Same voice. Okay. So, my theory is District Z Singularity hides their nest in a pocket reality. Oh. I seem to have a lot of delay. There is a little bit of delay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's Zoom Corp. Only you can only video call it. I love that. It's amazing. Yeah, I'll let go from Do you realise what bit this is? Oh, nothing bad will happen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, really? Oh, I'm scared. If someone doesn't look back towards you, what does that mean? That they don't acknowledge you. That they don't even care about what expression you may be making that they feel no need to see what you're doing as they've already come to a conclusion. Have you ever clawed and scraped to the floor, writhing in pain? <laughs> it really does sound excruciating. But in reality, the moment I completely lost my fingernails, I felt nothing. You stare into the flesh where your fingernails used to be, and just before you lose consciousness, when you feel that you aren't yourself anymore, you start to laugh frantically, <laughs> even though it's not funny at all. And on the ground, you catch a glimpse of someone's shadow and their feet as they look down on you. Guess whose feet those were? When the person who just liked looking back so much finally turned around, everything was over. Did you see the fragments of despair from there? Or were you staring at the bits of my fingernails scattered on the floor? This 
So that was the exact moment I knew true helplessness. <laughs> Without you, I'd never have known the feeling. Thank you so much. Now, what about you, manager? Have you ever felt helpless to control anything? When unbearable things pour down from somewhere that is in your body or overwhelm you, it just feels so awful to be helpless, being out of control of yourself. <laughs> Come on, please tell me. So I can feel rewarded just a bit. Ooh, ooh. Okay, um, suffering leads to characters, leads to suffering, leads to suffering, leads to, let me guess, more suffering. Yeah, that was, that was really grim to say in that chirpy voice. <laughs> that felt so wrong. I was like, wow, <laughs> my fingernails are all over the floor. Yay. Like, uh, what the fuck? Oh God. I don't know what voice I was doing for A. I'll just do the, the British one. Elijah was impatient and her impatience caused many common mistakes. She once went on a long, winding filibuster where she needed to finish the experiment, but I don't remember the details. Whenever she was told that she wasn't ready yet, I could see the strong desire in her eyes. It was a craving, a bizarre obsession. If another person had been in my place, they might have turned around for the sound of her hasty footsteps. Kogito was something that she couldn't access as her level of authority, and the only task she was ordered to do was to re record the changes that occurred in the test subjects. Ooh! She was aware that the moment Kogito was absolutely not ready for human use. When I finally realised what was going on, half her teeth had fallen out and... Kill me. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Guys. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? I feel like this stream, we've just yeeted straight in. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's no steady growth. I feel like I've just been slapped really hard. Ugh. Oh God, okay. Oh, it feels so wrong to voice act it. Oh, I feel so sad. Oh, this is sad. This is really sad. Oh my God, Malcute, no. Ignore her? You can't do that. A happy family really is so true. It's a very normal thing in the city. In case you want to visual the fingernails on the floor part, great, thank you. I, I didn't really realize what it could look like, so yeah, ignore her times two. <gasps> that is absolutely abhorrent. You've got to be kidding me. Not once, twice. Oh God, okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to, oh God, I feel so wrong voice acting it. Oh, okay, I've just got to do it, it's fine. Kill me, please, C kill me. Times three. It was times three. It was times three. We ignored her times three. That is awful. Why? A. You a-hole. <laughs> a is an a-hole. It sucks here and it's just the beginning. Oh my god, this whole stream is going to be pain. I'm not prepared for this. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Illusion of choice. This game generally played over a span of several months. Imagine going home after a long day of work and then getting bitch slapped by this horror. I'm kind of glad I'm doing it this way because <laughs> I don't think I could take this. I'd be absolutely gutted. Yes, I'd now stop. Oh my god, stop. I've got to do another one. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, this isn't going to end well. Hod was already. Oh no, it's going straight into the other ones. Oh. So is that it? Is. is Ace voice can be described as sociopathic. Okay. I will go a bit more sociopathic when it sort of happens. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> we are cackling a G's shock and horror. <laughs> shit. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I'm presuming Mal... Malketh... So can I just ask, right? Because someone... I, I did see someone mention that this was their last cutscene. Is there something that's supposed to happen? Like, is there like a fight? Is it a boss battle? Is there something there? That's supposed to happen, or is that just the end of it? I don't like A very much. No, like I said, A hole. We distorting. Yeah, does something happen in game? Like, what is it that happens? Can I just ask for the clarification? Just because. Yeah, you do a boss fight. Okay, is it a boss fight against them? I really like the fact the choices ignore her, but repeat to emphasize the fact how dead she is and doing so. Wow, that's so sad. Ooh, a warning for Hod's part. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I will just mention this because there is a boss battle and a resolution and a, oh, a core meltdown. Right. Okay. So that cutscene plays after the boss fight. Right. Okay. So is it... Angela explains it. Right. Okay. 
sort of. Can she watch that? They have dialogue. Should I watch that? That feels like something I should see, right? It depends. For Malkuth, all your work, work orders get randomised. You can check the video of how, he, how each course suppression goes. Uh, yes, yeah, you should look at the video at a video of course suppression. Okay, let me see if I can find one. Let's change how the game works for a day. I mentioned earlier, okay. Boss of the game is special. They mess with the normal flow. More like boss survival. Oh, the course suppression encounters. Should I listen to the Meltdown music first? Right, this is right. I was going to say, is this... Okay, this is going to be one of those things. Right, okay. So, with the OSTs, what I did want to do, because I know each of the characters has one, I was going to do a video once I've done the entire story and listen to the OSTs and basically try to come to my own conclusions about it to basically kind of like, as like a general understanding of everything that's happened. But I was going to do it as a video, not in the stream. Would that be okay? Or would you rather me do it now? Because I was just going to wait till everything's done and then I can do it before Runa. So that's what I was going to do. It's more like challenges. You should s you see the fights. Scrooge, Scrooge abnormality order. Okay, let me see if I can find a video on core suppression. If not, what we'll try and do is I'll, like, if we're going to do a part three, I'll try and find one for that. But let me have a look. Lobotomy. Corporation core suppression. Let me have a look. Malkuth core suppression, no commentary. Okay, wait, this one. There we go. Right. I think I found one. Okay. There's no commentary on it, so I think we should be good. Is this kind of what it looks like, I'm guessing? I think this should be it. Uh, I would say see it now. It's pretty visually good. Hey, Everoth, how's it going? <laughs> I think you should wait till the next day. The music for the boss fight, do it later. Okay, do it later. Okay, cool. But yeah, you can skim through the course of and see the gimmick. You'd probably be better as a video. Yeah, I think I want to do the OSTs as a video. But this, there's a cutscene after the fight, so I think you should watch the fight and then the cutscene right afterwards. Yeah, because I don't think the cutscene's in the fight, but I think it's this. I guess when they say during the suppression is important. What they say during the suppression. I don't know if there's like, thing, because this, it says Malkuth core suppression. Yeah. Is this second warning? Yeah, second warning causes problems. It does, yeah. So I don't mind doing that as a video, though. Yes, let's go. Malkuth suppression, you literally have to take notes. Oh, God, really? <laughs> no way, you don't. Oh, what did you, let me see. Let me see you too, Everall. Also, Joyce, hello, how are you? <laughs> Hype second warning. Is this got second warning in it? Because if so, I might mute it while we watch it. I don't really know what to expect. Is this second war? Oh, to be fair, we might just listen to it. Yes. Maybe I'll turn it down. Watch random parts of it. Oh, that's true. Okay. So watching Course Passion uh, doesn't exactly get the feeling of actually playing it. No, that's true. That seems to be it. Okay. All right. Uh, always happens for suppressions. I think the meltdown music is copyrighted. So you get a special OST partway through each fight and it starts at second warning. Right. I don't think the normal, but second warning music though. A cheeky little skim. I don't think second warning is copyright. I've, I've heard, I've had quite a few people tell me it is. You can see visually when second warning starts up. Oh, really? First phase, is, oh. Yeah, you might not mute it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll go through it later. But yeah, let's have, a, let's have a little watch. So, so obviously this is how you set up your team. So let me get into the battle. Oh, it, oh no, it's even got the, li oh, it's got like the lyrics like that, like they do in for Millie's. Stop it. Oh, they have that, wait. Oh, oh my God. That is a tune. Oh, I want to listen to that whole song. Oh my God. Oh, they've, no way. They're not lyrics. It's just Malchus deranged ramblings. Oh, I see. Right, gym two to four minutes. Probably already passed the first phase, which will have the second warning. Okay. Um. Oh, it's unpredictable. Is this what you call truly something? I love that though, that they've got that. That's awesome. Oh, here we go. Yeah, level one. Oh, it looks so weird. The way it's like all like... It's so cool to see that they've got that early on. This is second warning. Can be seen in the control center. Oh, really? So where's the control center? Oh, the music's so eerie. 
Is this what you call a truly everything's all jumbled up, messed up, flustered? Wow. She scrambled commands. Oh god. That's Malkuth. This is Malkuth's OST, right? So I don't want to listen to any more of this because yeah, I want to do a video on all the OSTs when I sort of know a bit more. Ah, oh, this is dope. Controls the one at the top. Okay. Up here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, going through this lore has really made me want to play the game, but I just, I know that this is not a game to play on stream. It would just be way too chaotic. Even just doing this, <laughs> it's been really chaotic. Um, Scramble's your work, you are, and you have to figure out what does. There she is. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see you. See the tree looking thing at the top? Right, at the, right, so right up here. Let's have a look. Snow White's, oh, Snow White's apple. That looks like the other one that we have in Limbus. I do knew I didn't have any right to participate in the experiment. Oh. Hell no, look up streams are fun. Yeah, it's just, it, oh, I see that. Oh, right, because she is, so this is her true form. It's, she's this, right? I thought she was like more like square. Oh, so she must have been changed. Yeah, top middle, yeah, there. She even locks your commands, no. Yeah, local was focused, yeah. Well, it's also one of those where, like, I don't know if I would like it. Like, I like the idea of it, and, like, I love the I love the lore. It's so good, but, like, I just don't know if I'd like it. So I just, like, I wouldn't want to start it and then not want to finish it. Um, but at least this way I'm getting the lore. Yeah, so that's an... Oh, so that's an, that's the OG apple? Oh, that's cool. All the way at the top, the big orange node. Yeah, that's the central command, yeah. That's her having a meltdown. Right, that's meltdown form. Okay, so do you have to, like, fight? her get all wonky in the meltdowns oh i see there are a lot of fairy, fairy tale ones in this game which i love yeah it's amazing but limbus is the less convoluted game <laughs> yeah it really is <laughs> limbus is is very i don't want to say easy to stream but like it's so fun to stream like it's definitely not like you can like stop it and not get too complicated whereas like this i think you need like to focus so much you can zoom in there if you skipped near the end of the video oh, okay let me have a look I love the way it's all like set out though. It's so cool. So you have to complete the day under the challenge, right? You have to beat the day with our own fair conditions. Oh, oh, I feel bad. I feel really bad for her. Let me, oh there, yeah, I think, I think it is right at the end. Oh yeah, there's, yeah, there's, um, the yes odds room. Oh. There we go. In the end, they were bound with life. We only existed to express despair and ire. There you go. Oh. Oh yeah, here we go. There. There she is. Um, anyone remember the old man suppression? Oh. By the end of the game, the fights are optional, so doing them will get you the true ending. Oh, it's not a game you stream as a playthrough for story, but if you stream for challenge run. Right. Got it. Got it. Um, they applied a modifier. They tried to screw over the other day. Ooh. <laughs> oh God. You can go back to the main video now. Yeah. Yeah. So law wise, she just breaks and decides to ruin the facility with her power. Hence, um, her outpowers give orders by the strip. Well, it's weird though, because we were with, we were with Angela and then all of a sudden, so let me, let's, 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 let's do this one. So this is what plays afterwards. So this is, oh, wait, sorry. You can't say this is what plays afterwards then. Yeah. So yeah, watch the cutscene back. So this is, this is... Oh wait, right, so, so wait, this is before... Yeah. So this is before, and then this is, so then like, after this... So I'm guessing this is before the fight, maybe? Or is this all of it after the fight? YouTube end card moment? I didn't look, it's fine. I didn't look. So that plays before, and then this plays afterwards. So the cutscene comes first, they've not shown the after part yet. And then this bit plays afterwards. So that's before the meltdown. So is this after? Oh, this whole cutscene is before. Oh, why don't I don't have another one? I've just got yes odds. So this whole video is before the fight. Where's the after bit then? I don't have another bit on this playlist. Is there supposed to be? Another cutscene? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> so, so there must be... Oh, everything plays before. There may be a technical Malkuth 6. Is it later on? Oh, there is. Yeah, there's one here. Should it be after day 29? 
it's just all later on. I just have to wait. Okay, that's fine. Okay. As long as it's not out of order, that's absolutely fine. Okay, cool. No, 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 fine. Perfect. Oh, there it is. Cool. Okay. Everyone must melt down first. Oh, shit. Right. Okay. Okay, cool. It's in there. Yeah. Must be later. Absolutely fine then. Lovely. As long as, long as we have the right order. Cool. Okay, right. So next we've got Yesod. Oh, no. <laughs> all of them trigger at the same time. Wait, so Angela made our mem- So wait, so Angela made our memory go and then it plays immediately after the fight? Oh. Should I watch it now then? I reckon we're watching it now for better flow. Okay, all right, all right, we can watch it now. So we're on yes odd five, okay. Do, 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 do. So you don't get to see some of the other characters very much then before they melt down. Oh, she just synchronized memories. Oh, okay. So the upper layer just goes first. Okay, right. Let's do let's do the last one then. Not the same time. But right. Uh, how do it in order? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Why are we scrambling? It's okay. Just stick to the order. Go. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Don't try not to spam too much, please. But yeah, keep the keep the list in order. Oh god, right, okay, all right, okay. Flip an egg. Flip an egg. It's hard, it's hard. <laughs> just give me a sec. All right, let's just keep in order. Seems like chat having different opinions might be time for a poll. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Are we watching all the course questions? Apparently so. You always see the upper six before the middle five. Okay, the order exists. Yes, odd five first, flip an egg. Okay. Yesent. <laughs> Just yesent. <laughs> Just yesent. But it's gameplay order. It's the gameplay order? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's just do it in order. Let's just do it. It's in order for a reason. Let's just do it in order. That's just going to keep the peace, isn't it? And people can stop spamming no. Because, <laughs> my God. Um, right. That's fine. It's so long since expressions that I can't even remember. <laughs> it's all right, Brayden. Jeez. Just go in order. Let's just let's just go in order the playlist. I I just want to see it. You know, I'm not I'm not. You know, let's not make it a thing. Okay, all right. Let's just let's just watch it in order. That's fine. We'll just keep the peace. Basically, every character is six scenes, one meeting, two to five after you finish each of the quests, six after meltdown. Um, well, we can't force you to watch it in order. Well, to be fair, spamming no <laughs> quite a bit does sort of sort of persuade me a little bit that you guys might not want to see it that way. Um, but please try not to spam too much because otherwise my mods are going to have to start deleting comments. Um, if you remember last playlist was my character. That's true. But this playlist seems fine as well though. Yeah. Well, this one has, this one has everything in the order of the game. Whereas the last one, I think just had it in like order of like character. So this one actually puts it in like order a bit better of like how you see it in the game, which I think makes sense. That's fine. Let's just do the next one. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Do you really feel nothing about this? Try drinking some encephalin. Close your eyes and open them again. I am glad to see that you are not as feeble-minded as the other Separat. It is important to keep a clear mind in any situation. Gabriel, why are you scratching yourself so much? Gabriel? Seeing as we're meeting again, you must have completed your tasks, manager. I'd give you a compliment if I didn't have so much work to do. The information team has a task they must do periodically. You must have realized that there are some blanks in the abnormality records. Among the tremendous amount of information we gather, there are some that should remain off limits to the employees for security reasons. The names of the employees are one such thing. Any trace of them, what happened, their gruesome death, their desperate will to live, all of that has been stripped from the records on the false pretense of expunging information. There are no way for me to know what the criteria for stripping the records are. They are set by another department, not us. We only manipulate the information we receive per orders. Isn't that funny? We've degenerated into a department that destroys and manipulates information as ordered, and yet somehow we're still called the information team. Whenever I introduce myself as the separate of the information team, I sometimes feel something bubbling up inside me. Yes, sir, did you receive the documents to expunge? You will get a list of employees soon as well. Please do not forget to review it after you've finished expunging the documents. Thank you, Miklash. Miss Angela, what do you think it means to remember someone's name? This is a work you regularly do. Why are you so emotional about it today? 
Maybe names were marks atypical beings gave to each other to engrave each other upon their memories. Someone might have named you Angela following the same concept. Yes, Odd, if you happen to be too tired, please take a break. I knew you would say that. Referring to the employees by names not recommended here. When employees first enter the company, each one receives their own unique identification number. This is to allow the company to identify them using the minimum amount of personnel information. Personal information. We have their numbers in our do uh, data storage devices. Malkuth have never called the employees by their names ever since she started working here. Maybe she is the most ideal separate among all of us separate. This is not to say that Malkuth deserves to take all the pain as well. None of us do. What kind of poor taste is that to lock us inside metal bodies, throw us into an endless loop of days that just feel the same as yesterday? I'm talking to you. What's with that of oblivious expression? Heard you might be one of the architects responsible for our creation. The only thing I could do here is remember the names of a few forgotten employees and eternally despair, feeling nauseous from even a single breath of air. Have you had fun watching your guinea pigs run around in circles? Oh shit. See, I told you I've been running from the inside for a long time. Gabriel was more rational than anyone else. He was unmoved even after hearing about what happened to Elijah. Some said he lacked empathy, but nobody realized that his emotions were festering on the inside. Maybe he began falling apart from a long ago, ever since Carmen left this world. He slowly began, began, uh, became expressionless. He wouldn't allow himself to even par paltry joy. He couldn't, also couldn't stand having even the smallest part of his body exposed. We made a monster that was not supposed to exist in this world. We went too far to ever turn back. To not let what Elijah did be in vain. Instead of taking time to grieve, everyone knew they needed to utilize this result to the fullest. He tried to maintain a facade of level-headedness, but his attempts to remain rational slowly morphed into an obsession. He started to wear long-sleeved clothing to cover his neck. Not much later, he started to scratch himself harshly. We suggested he receive a complete medical examination to see whether he was contaminated or had an infection, but he refused. Holy shit, what is happening? Oh my god, what? Oh. Who's Carmen, <laughs> by the way? I misunderstood the monster line now. Until now. So they may, so what, what, what are they doing to him? I hate this image still. I fucking hate it. It's so well drawn though. Like you can definitely see the fear in his eyes. It's horrifying. It's actually horrifying. Oh, the we use the to avoid getting too attached or oh, meet a, yeah, like I said, a hole, <laughs> a, oh, is this a here? A is a more regretful sociopath than the evil scheming one. Okay. Company barbecue. <laughs> A, C, A never did anything wrong. <laughs> oh no, you know Carmen from Limbus? Carmen from Limbus? I mean, the name sounds super familiar. Dongrang spoke to her? All you know is that Dongrang spoke- Oh, okay. Oh. Because I knew they met- I knew I'd heard the name before. It sounded really familiar. Carmen is our light. Oh. These sieges are so good. They are really good. They had to keep him checked so he won't scratch himself to death. Oh, I see. Oh, Elijah's death really shook Gabriel more, more than th people thought. Oh. Mention Carmen is, is distortion. That must, yeah. That must miss Carmen. I th yeah, I thought it sounded familiar. Got name dropped by Dong Rang. Okay, okay. So, yes, odd. Also new Carmen. Okay. Got it. Let's not no, we don't need to talk too much about Carmen, but thank you for re reminding me where I'd heard it because I couldn't remember. Okay. So I'm a genius psychopath, but mentally broken. Oh God. Yeah, you'll find in due time. Should make more sense later since you're beginning to know about A. Yeah. Like I said, A whole. Because <laughs> it truly is. Oh, we've got to enforce the procedure. Okay. Cool. Health checkups were needed to prevent further damage. Persuasion became coercion, and coercion led to the use of physical force. He was tied and bound for the checkup, but he resisted so desperately that it was hard for us to watch him. Eventually, it turned out that he wasn't infected at all. Was that really fortunate, though? No, it wasn't. The examination did not resolve anything. He kept scratching himself so harshly, even worse than before. When I saw him last, he wasn't lucid or cognizant to any human speech, and his body was completely covered in scratches. No one has seen him since then. Oh! Holy shit! Okay, um, what? 
Okay, let me find the, let me go to my Discord. Let me total over here and sent something useful. La 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 la. Oh, amazing, thank you. So we're on, yes, odds. so I think it's this one. Perfect, let me pop it up. Thank you, Mikalash, you're amazing. Okay. Okay, we've got yes odds. Okay, oh shit, what the hell is that? Oh, sorry, I realized you guys can't see this. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God, this looks so sick. And then I'm like, you guys can't see what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> you guys can see. Okay, cool, right, here we're here, okay. Does this one have second thingy playing? Scratching yourself to the end is pretty brutal. That is a, con that's a condition though, isn't it? Um, I can't remember the name of it, but there is, there is a, um, isn't it like a psychological condition? Where like, I don't, there is a name, I can't remember the name for it, but it is where you scratch yourself, um, do I know, do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Wait, what? Don't take my GPU. The you're also of a second warning. Uh, wait, what? 144p gamer. Wait, what? Is, uh, what? Most likely, yes. Always, it does, it does at the beginning. Okay, yeah. But yeah, there is, it's always at the start. Okay, got it. What's 144p? <laughs> what? This one will melt your eyes. OCD. I think it, it could be something linked, but there, there is an actual, um, there is a name for it. I'd have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure there's an actual, yeah, it's psychological. It, it, there is a psychological condition. I'm pretty sure. I would need to have a look what it is, but it's basically, I think it's like where you think that you've got like something on your skin. And so like you scratch and you scratch and you scratch and you physically can't stop. Yeah, that's so sad. That's so sad. And I think it is, it is something more psychological. Oh. Um, you will see for yourself. Okay, get ready for that done. Is the resolution? Is that the resolution of my stream? Is it is it that bad? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> if if it if it is if the resolution of the stream is going really bad, um just refresh the Is it derma dermatillomania? Oh, that could be it. No, your stream is fine. Oh, okay. So you're making me panic. I was like, oh god. <laughs> I like, guess my stream quality got that bad. I was like, I know it's not the best sometimes, but you'll see whether Okay, cool, that's fine. Yeah, was it something crawling under the skin? It's something like that, yeah, where it's like, there's like something, yeah. Um, yes, I'd mentioned that he felt like there was something wrong with his skin when he looked at it. That's And that's why he always covered himself. Oh, not you. The stream is good. Okay, <laughs> cool. I was like, what? Okay. Oh, look at the little puppy. Oh my God, the puppy's so cute. What the fuck is that though? Oh, the puppy. I love this. Oh shit, okay. Oh, okay, the resolution truly went. Um, that's it, dermatillomania is a mental health condition where the person compulsively picks or scratches the skin, causing injuries or scarring. Yes, that is one, thank you. Thank you, Everoth, perfect. Oh my God, I see what you mean. The fuck is that? You will not be able to dis... Something. Okay, now I understand what you mean. <laughs> now I know it, that puppy is a demon. That puppy is a precious angel. Lies. Oh, you think it's cute? It is cute. It is cute. I don't know what you mean. It's adorable. I've got hiccups. Time to get bit crushed. Not be able to discern things properly. What did we do wrong? Oh, yes, Odd. Not my resolution. <laughs> I love yes, Odd's gimmick. Skip ahead for more. Yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a little skip ahead. Oh, it's bad, isn't it? Holy shit. This is like when my PC's having a moment. Flipping heck, this is a... Uh, yes, Odd, what are you doing, buddy? To tell you the truth, it's just... Oh, wait, so I want to read that. To tell you the truth, it's just that something. The impenetrable darkness is inexplicably lonely. My boy! My boy! Oh, yes, Odd, I feel so sad. I need to pick a favourite one. We've created... Not to be able to discern thing anything properly. I want to give him a hug. This is so sad. Do I know what a JPEG is? Uh, do you? Hi, hello, Rajuan, how's it going? This is the start, gets far worse. Oh, I love the music. Oh, I'm so excited to do my OST video. That's gonna be that's gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Ooh, yes, what is head information, so it destroys your ability to access good information and good quality. Yeah, sounds about right. It's like me trying to play any game that's like high quality. <laughs> it's like Elden Ring, this would just be my PC. Move here. You should know all the information. You should not be able to discern. Oh, I see. How comes the stream's muted? Because the music that's playing in it is A, copyrighted, and B, um, 
so yeah it's copyrighted music and also i want to do a video on character ost specifically once i know everything in the story so that i can work it out myself and make sure i have everything like in my head and work out like how that relates to the character so we're gonna do like a video on it um so i don't want to listen to it before that basically uh it gets worse cool do you remember everything is don't get reminded today <laughs> So a little bit, go a little bit forward. This is a long one, 18 minutes, flipping egg. Oh my God, it got worse. Oh, what the hell is, is this blood? Oh yes, yeah, Lord. Oh, oh buddy, are you okay? Oh shit, I don't think he's okay. The music's not copyrighted. Some, the, the second warning is. Happy Spooktober, geez, what well, hey Brendo. Thanks my dude, you too, how you doing, you okay? Do your stream is dropping frames and pixels. I know. There's nothing I can do about it. It's yes odd. Blame him. <laughs> yeah, sets of YouTube for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. It's truly is deep fried. Oh, it's such a bot though. Oh my god, what the hell is happening in this corner? Oh, this is horrifying. Yes, yeah, I was just deep frying the camera. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing all right. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. You got some nice plans for uh for um October. You got any? You got any spooky games? What a way to start spooky! Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we are technically starting it with a bit of a horror stream, bit of psychological horror. It truly has gone quite horrifying. It's it very apt for this month. Is a low res enjoyer. <laughs> Someone must be doing it manually. It does happen. It does happen. And like the problem is when like copyright gets claimed, you really have to figure out who's claiming them because if it's someone from the company or like someone that's made the music and you try and fight it and they don't like that, they can give you a strike on your channel, which is terrifying. So that's why people don't like fighting them. Whereas if it's just a rando, they probably are just doing it for the money. So it's really annoying. Resolution horror. I like it though. I heard it's the same slash SFX from... There's, there's a few, yeah. The game's getting censored. Yes, yeah, so it's just trying to protect us. That's what it is. <laughs> Try reading the Abno descriptions under Yesod. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. I want to see Yesod though. Is it, I hope it's going to zoom in at the end. I can't read anything right now. This is like me. Did you not see my marred rotting... I think that said flesh. Um, I'm being, oh, sober Brenda, that's great. At least from the drinks, so probably wholesome types of that attract myself with movies and games. Good for you, my dude, that's great. How are you, pal? I'm doing all right, thanks, Brenda, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm very busy at the minute, which is, which is nice. It's great, and they're good things, and I'm looking forward to them. Um, I'm actually, I might be going back to studying in January, which I'm super excited about. The course is great, hopefully I get on. But um, yeah, just making me super busy. Oh my god, how are you supposed to see anything? This is this is bad, yes on. Oh god, the music is already creepy. It's been a year, that's true. Oh my god, it has been a year since I was in Canada. Holy crap, that went fast. Oh wait. I was gonna say is that him, but I couldn't even tell if I tried. <laughs> Grant us love, is that what it says? What I was really looking at all this time. Oh, um you don't yeah <laughs> basically how many strikes are automated nobody looks uh peels and they clear after 30 days yeah that is true you don't you you memorize it oh i see that's the fun part you just don't you have to do it by memory i would fail at this is that him there now i see i've been wallowing oh now i see i've been wallowing in despair oh supposed to memorize Yes, I does not want you to know what a JPEG is. <laughs> if you have a bad scream quality, you just blame yes on for it. I had this when I lived in a shared house. Um, I used to try and stream from it on Wi-Fi, and I this is literally what my streams would look like, and I'd drop so many frames. I think once I dropped like over 18,000 frames in like a minute, it was my stream was just this is literally what my stream used to look like. It was so bad. Yes, I became a tree. He truly did. Um, granting his love is about a different mechanic. Oh, it's not related to Yesod. Okay. Okay. So why he need notes and a pen full of automy? Oh, there he is. So I was the one who couldn't see a single step ahead. Oh, oh, Yesod. Oh, that actually makes me sad. Oh, to be fair, you would have memorized the best work types. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I just wanted you to feel a bit of nostalgia. He truly did. Just so low quality. I know. Like, I'm used to my <laughs> streams being low quality, but not that bad. Ooh, the shaking. He was shook. There he is. 
I do love the designs though. I love the core suppression designs. They look absolutely sick. I'm so excited to listen to the music though. I'm very excited. Okay, let's continue. A nice report. They did very well. Congratulations. Log court for NES was the good old days. Even the end screen switched. I'm so sad. I might want to actually put it on this before I start reading this. <laughs> um, was away for a bit. Did you, what was you see his pain? We did see his pain and it actually hurt. I actually feel really sad for Yesod. One death. Pathetic. <laughs> Yes, my performance report, I can totally see. <laughs> I'm do curious why they turn into a tree. That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe it's... Oh, I don't know. My brain... Obviously, you know... I, I, I'm going to guess you guys know where my brain goes. My brain immediately goes to the branches. <laughs> um, Maybe it's meant to, like, represent that somehow. Or it's, like, some kind of, like, glitch that's, like, linking to the system that's linked to the branches i don't know it's it's the, the the branch tree metaphor yeah there's a lot of tree symbolism yeah like it must link somehow to that right we ever did stream love corpus so a lot of players trolling you that is what i wanted to avoid <laughs> we're already probably gonna get that in ruiner so we did get that a little bit in limbus but i i think we stopped that quite quickly so it was okay turn yourself into a tree oh that's a good guess yeah he was rooted to find the truth yeah, he couldn't leaf it alone. <laughs> that was good. Sorry, my dad jokes. <laughs> we don't know either, no. But yeah, there's a, you're right. There's a lot of tree symbolism in this in this game. Uh, the Kabbalah where Sephiroth came from is the tree of life, yeah. Tree sod. The tree of life or the tree of death. Chat, don't say anything, just smile. No, we, we need a little bit of discussion about it because I need to understand. I guess they could turn over a new leaf. Hey, that's good too. I like that. I like that. We're really branching out with these jokes. <laughs> oh, if only we would continue. Oh, on fire. <laughs> that joke's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Right, let's continue before I say any more. Oh. I think the tree are just their insides bursting out and the way they form turns on their personalities. So Malkuth reaching out in every direction to control the thing herself, for example. I see. The bows. Mm, his desire to leaf was lingering, but he couldn't have root himself. Hey! Kiara, that's great. Oh. Those put the puns are good though. Thank you. Thank you. I am just the dad <laughs> on the inside. Oh, would people say I'm the mother? No. No, I'm truly the, the weird aunt or just the dad. It's an interesting interpretation, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So how are your ETs? My ETs? Eyes? How are my eyes? They're okay, actually. I think because I didn't watch all 18, I think 18 minutes, I think we're good. But yeah, I'm I'm sad for Yesod, actually. I think Yesod's might be sadder than Malkuth's, but like Malkuth getting like abandoned to just like die slowly. Like, well, they're both kind of been abandoned in a way. Like, it's just sad. It's just actually making me really sad. That's a nice tree. I love trees. I do love trees. I guess we're just in a tree mood. <laughs> right, let's continue. Are you discovering the deep scars that are inflicted upon this place? Manager, there is something I haven't informed you of when we spoke for the first time. The Sephirot is, of course, wholeheartedly wanted to meet you. They admire you and follow you. However, at the same time, they earnestly yearn for you to be swallowed up in the resentment or curses. Please be careful with them. Well, you don't have to pay that fact too much heed if you wish. What I mean to say is you are free to go back to your daily routine. It's no big deal for me to fill their roles with some of our separat go mad. Though if you do, then you will lose something important forever. The seed that can break the cycle. Oh, there's something that can break the cycle? Right. Okay, right, before we get into um, Gamora. Um, uh, what is this seed? Seed of light. What is that? Is that a mode? Is that a mode? A is a genius analogy. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Our Lord A always has a reason for his choices. Oh, that got, that went. Okay. <laughs> Both are really tragic. It, it truly is. It's not the worst fate to just not know how cool the world is. It's, it's sad though, isn't it? It's sad. Kabura reference you can do the boss fight oh okay you can do boss fights anytime okay right this is the one where i've got to do a super low voice so you'll have to tell me if it isn't low enough you'll learn it later okay cool 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 limbus okay best girl okay we cannot save spoilers got you <laughs> i just love that you all just spam the smile <laughs> okay it's all right yeah try not to spoil too much there are mods that will delete out comments um 
Also, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, you're enjoying the voice acting, you're enjoying the theory, you're enjoying all this shit, don't forget to like the video and subscribe too. That would be great. Ow, my elbow. Subscribe and like the video because I just hurt my elbow. <laughs> the content. Ow, fuck. That fucking hurt. Oh, I was right in, the, you know, like when you hit, like right in there. Oh, ow. Right. Oh, you missed that. Sorry. When you finish every meltdown, it gives you a message that the seed of light is growing a bit. Oh, I wonder if the seed of light is going to end up being the the tree that then all the branches fall. You know, because each area has has the has the branch. Maybe maybe it ends up being that. I don't know. The golden bow. Oh, maybe that's the tree that grows, and then the golden bow is like each of the branches that are from this tree. Don't answer that question. <laughs> that could be. I, I might have just thought. I don't know. I'm gonna shut the fuck up because I keep I keep you know, questioning things in the nerve owl. Yeah, that fucking hurt. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Uh, just gonna copy and paste the smile. Okay. <laughs> Dante, it's time for the Gaborah voice again. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, lots of really busy job, job project mood streams. I, I probably need to get a few more uh, mods, to be honest. Especially because we've got uh, Library of Runa coming up and I'm now caught up with Limba. So, like, I'm going to be streaming it when you guys, like, ju just as you guys have finished playing it. So it's like... Ugh. Oh, a seed of light is a seed of light. Now I feel like my Verge explains things like this. I wish Verge would pop up and explain. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, right. Let me just practice my Gabura voice. Let me just get the first line. Okay, right. I was really low, wasn't it? Right, let me say this out. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, that task I gave you was pretty easy. Don't. Is it that low? Do I need to be lower? I can't remember. We really had to work at it last stream, didn't we? Really had to work on it last stream. Well, that task I gave you was pretty easy. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Not, not quite like that though. But yeah. But yeah, just let me know if that's low enough. I'll, I'll change it. I can't quite remember. We only did it like once, right at the end of the stream. The difficult spike is not vertical. It's a 90 degree angle. <laughs> just freaking bring horse vigilas to explain it. Oh, I wish you'd come back. <laughs> lower how am i gonna go lower holy crap yeah it's the gruff woman smoker voice which i don't have i don't have not quite low enough don't get too low if i heard your voice yeah yeah i think i can do it with some stuff yeah see when you're not a smoker it's hard to do a chain smoker's voice i'm not gonna lie i wish i had the vigilus voice is low and quite aggressive okay i'm excited to because she's voiced in Runa, isn't like aren't they like they're voiced like so I think that like like from what I from what I got told. So I'm excited to see like what the voices are for the characters in Runa, you know? Because yeah, I think some people were like, oh, like you're really close. So like yeah, I'm excited. You were doing good. Okay, cool. Uh, try mimic lion for Limbus. Lion. Oh, lion. I was like, wait, who's lion? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. He can do it. I. <laughs> I would love that. Oh, Corey. Hey, Missy, how you doing, by the way? Yeah, they're all voiced in Runa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm excited to see, like, how close I was. Yeah, but it's Korean voices, of course, yeah. Same one for Venti and Genshin. I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, uh, growling helps. Yeah. Okay, we'll give it a go. I'll try and do... I'll try... Yeah, Lion is a person that exists. Completely forgot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was right at the beginning. God, that feels... That was months ago. Right, I'll try and make it a bit growly if I can. Um, But yeah, we'll try. Okay. Okay. Well, that task I gave you was pretty easy, don't you think? Though, a couple of times you were too indecisive and passive. Next time you should. Oh shit, what was Chesshead's voice? Shit, I wasn't expecting Chesshead! May, you've completely thrown me! Well, Chesshead was, was the posh voice, wasn't it? I think so, I think that was the British one. Give her Don's voice? <laughs> I'd love it! <laughs> Hey, prognosis, how's it going? Tired as fuck, rang on my life. Oh no, was work really bad? Was, yeah, it was, was British. Okay. The usual, oh bless you. Oh no, hope you're okay. I'm quite tired too. Yeah, the fancy bit. I f yeah, that's it. Yeah, the posh British. Gabora, about this, oh, it was, it was like kind of like chilled though, wasn't it? Gabora, about this suppression plan you sent me. Don't you think the scale is a tad bit too grand? Was it that? Hong Lu tired, yeah, the fancy voice? Was, yeah, it was the British laid back, that's the one. The coffee mug, which I totally want. Does that exist and can I buy it? I will absolutely buy that. I would love that, that would be great. 
BBC British news report that's just woken up. News, Justin. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Okay. All right. Now move along if you've spat out what you needed to. Come on. You know a similar incident happened before. I'm the head of the welfare team after all, so I just felt I should point it out. Yeah, yeah, got it. How about you head back to your own department now and lap up that coffee you love so much? And another thing, some of my ego in my department seems to be malfunctioning. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it, right? Although, I'm... your recent suppression was strangely quick. I'll be sure to make it up to you. But if you press any further on this, those ego you value so much may be pointed at your head. Aye, aye. I'll be on my way then. Man, do I just have to draw the short stick? The companions I have are either hot-headed warm or some weird kids with unreadable minds. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, wait a second. Also, the music has gotten super loud for some reason. The yawning was perfect. Cool. What reference Chess said? This guy made a bunch of really good English voiceovers for him. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I mean, I probably won't need it because I think we're probably going to finish up, but it'd be cool to hear it if you wanted to get in the Discord. Love to hear it. That'd be great. Hot is here. Yes! Can we talk about ships, ships briefly? Always. Always. Ch go on. Chuck it in. We talked a little bit about it last time. I kind of am beginning to form some thoughts, um, but I think that it, it maybe Ruiner's going to help, you know? It's been a while since I came down to the middle layer. Long time no see, Chesed. Oh ho, are you here to see Gabora? Careful what you say. You may just end up with a hole in your head. Take care. Is that true, Gabora? Oh, get lost, Chesed. Hard, what brings you here? Um, it's about the suggestion you made involving the abnormality breach training. I feel it needs some adjusting. Go on. Well, if we were to engage on a head-on assault like you suggested, our employees would suffer heavy casualties around this section. I believe if we change the training plan like a more defensive stance here, the casualties would be lower. Does it seem alright? But then... Hmm? Aren't we being too nice to those abnormalities with this kind of response? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Forget it. Since you're the head of the training team, your opinion is final, right? I am. Well, as long as you're willing to... Do it. Oh, thank you. See you later. Hod. Uh-huh, yes? You forgot your report. I, I could have lost it. Phew, I thought you were going to shoot me in the head like Chess had said. Thanks again. Hod's too soft. If I were the head of the training team, I'd never act like her. Intriguing. The only thing I've got one thing to say about Hod. Hodlo. <laughs> Hess. Hess. Oh, that's it. It's Silent C, isn't it? Geb and Chesed is the most canon ship. Is it actually? I ship Gabor and Chesed. Oh, Hess. Oh, sorry. Is it Hesed? Hesed? Okay. Hesed so much. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I currently don't see it, but... I've also not, you know, I've also not, you know, been in it this time. Oh no, Hod, you, oh God, is Hod bad? Hod never change. <laughs> now this is the, oh, okay, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Hod never change. Hod's too wholesome. Hod is very wholesome. Hod is extra extraordinary wholesome. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, hey, are you listening to me? I yearn to help people. No, becoming a wing is not my goal. Oh? Well, everyone says that, but let me put it this way. What use are we wings if you can't fly? Oh, flying wings. Oh, oh, you sang. Sorry, I got excited. Sorry. Just make me think of wings. <laughs> Canto 4, I'm like, ah! <laughs> I don't know if I prefer this or cheese and beans. <laughs> Runa improves. Okay. Yeah, there's not really any romance in Lobcorp. Yeah, Ru I think Runa will help me decide, you know? It's not canon, but they have a lot of interactions and chemistry. Got it. Fly perfect wings. I'm like, same. I was like, fly perfect wings. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> my brain. What if we could reach the sky without wings? Wings, you sang reference. I know. Hello, Gia. Hello, how are you? Brings me to the mind that got us started. <laughs> Probably go with a more cheery voice. Okay. What if we could reach the sky without wings? What I mean is, if we grow the stalk straight up like a tree, we could reach the sky for sure, even if it would be a so slow climb. Can you feel it? The sunlight here is very warm. Sometimes I dream about photosynthesis, lying down comfortably with my eyes closed, just soaking it up. 
I close my eyes, back in, bask in the sunlight's warmth. You remember what a wing is? A wi- isn't- so, isn't a wing- no, wait, right, 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 right. Let's get my head around this again, right? Oh, God, because there's so many different names, because there's wings, there's branches, ideal voice, awesome. Right. Oh, that's actually perfect. Cool. Great. Sweet. Right. Oh, I want to say- no, right, because there's wings, there's branches, there's corpse. Okay, no, someone define it for me again, just to make sure I've got my head around it, because what I'm thinking, I've probably got it wrong. Oh dear. Well, that's actually perfect. Okay. We don't talk about this one. Oh god. Wait, what? Is this bad? Oh no. <laughs> this segment? Oh no. Not wing. Wing. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> Wait, is it bad? Wing. Oh, wings equals a corp. Okay, so they are the same thing. That's fine. That's what I was going to say. I was like, it's like each of the corporations. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. Is the corporation of the area. Yep. Yeah. And the area, is the area the branch? So there's 26 branches. Is that right? Just make sure I've got my head around it. So capitalized wing, which means it's a corporation. Flip a neck. Yeah. Wings are the corpse of the letter. Yeah. It's on the 26th. Wings are companies. Branches are the HQs. Oh, got you. Okay, that's fine. So wings are the companies. Corporations, the corpse name of the letter that oversee each one. Branches are what L Corp. Right. So, like what we went to at the first um, Limbus chapter. That was because it was like the branch of L Corp. Okay. And then there, the area is the district. No, that's fine. But that's a nest. <laughs> God, there's so many terms. Okay. So, the area is a dis district. And so, if it's in the wing, it's a nest. And then if it's not in that wing, it's a back street. Oh, there needs to be an actual encyclopedia yep okay it's very bird themed it's bird themed and tree themed which is interesting yeah it is isn't it it's like birds in trees fucking genius oh should we give a warning for hod's part right i will give a warning now not i don't know what's going to happen but obviously from the previous stream um there was some very sensitive um topics that were brought up so just to mention if you don't know about this game if you've not seen this before or if you have seen this before and you're um someone that is sorry someone who is a little bit um sensitive or can be triggered easily just to let you know there might be some themes and topics that are quite kind of dark in this section because hods have previously had a few bits that are, are very very dark uh, especially alluding to things like suicide or um drug abuse and things so just be very very careful please take care of yourselves um and yeah if you are particularly triggered just please 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 do not watch it or cut past hod scenes or something dante's notes your encyclopedia i need to make notes um yeah or read the project mood trigger warnings because to be fair there's a shitload of those so yeah yep just bring the warning page from limbus yep i yes the warnings are tad too late isn't it it's well if it's specifically for hod's part then no because we're about to do hod's part now especially if people are going Ugh. but if it's yeah if it's particularly bad yeah um put up the project moon trigger warnings okay wait let me let me find them yeah, just in case someone's watching the VOD back and, uh, let's pull this up. But to be fair, if you are looking at it, you normally would know what these are. Let me see if I can get a full thing. Yeah, here we go. Um, okay. Right, here we go. So these are the warnings that are most likely going to come up. There will be more because there is usually way more. But if you are triggered by any of these things, especially for hod scenes, just be very, very careful. Please take care of yourselves. Uh, this cutscene is, uh, is, is one in particular. Okay, yes. So please do watch out for these things. Okay, cool. Consider yourself warned. Please take care of yourselves. I don't want anyone to be upset or anything. Please take care of yourselves. Okay, clowns. Well, there probably are clowns in this game, but I've, well, we've seen one of the clowns, not in the cutscenes book because we looked it up, but um, yeah, still not seen any clowns in Limbus and they are there. They are there. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Limbus is a laundry list of content warnings uh, that mostly apply to the first two games. Yeah, the only game that I've seen that has just as many is uh, probably Fear and Hunger. <laughs> Fear and Hunger has so many. It's unreal. It's all waiting for cannibalism. <sighs> 
I feel like we've talked about cannibalism a lot in Limbus, but I don't think it's really come up that much. Uh, I think G's right, Hot Pie's a little bit more realistic and dark, so warning now is good. Yeah. Yep. Do not like clowns. No. No. They aren't there yet, but they will. They absolutely will come up. 100%. The only clown I see is you, manager. What? <laughs> The roast, the roast. Holy fuck. When I see clowns in Don's chapter, it does feel like something that would pop up, doesn't it? Uh what would you mean cheese chat? Holy fuck. <laughs> that's so mean. Rio, should I do you want? I kind of want someone that's gonna dress the clown, and I really want when they attack someone to have like the squeaking sound. Oh yeah, the chef ID, yeah, that was that was kind of cannibalism. Yeah, that's true. A carnival theme park, love it. And bug people, true. Yeah, so we kind of had a little bit. Hey Riku, hello. Where are we now? We're on day, oh, what day are we on? Day 28? Is it day 28? Day, yes, day 28. We're currently on day 28. Okay, we're gonna continue. Uh, but how are you doing though? I hope you're doing well. Mantras and clownies in the entire circus. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do this. Um, let's go back to the beginning. Emma, who's Emma? Don't worry, Hod. That's a very common side effect when you first take encephalin. It's just like a light hallucination. It'll disappear after two or three times, so don't worry about it too much. For me, it was an employee whose face had half melted, crawls over my feet and grabbed me by the shoulders, asking me why I let her die. That wasn't a hallucination or anything. Then what? Are you trying to say that the dead employees are suddenly coming back to life? You know, like unbelievable things happen here, so maybe it's possible for dead employees to come back. As if nothing happened, right? I'm not in any state to say this, but you don't look so too good. Why don't you skip today's meeting? I can't do that. We have an abnormality response training today. They need me to run the drill the, uh, drill properly. You're really something, huh? I don't think there's another separate here who cares about their employees as much as you do. Right? Look, Tiffany, I was right. I'm a good person. I'm a good Sephira. Hello, everyone. Today we will... Are you still trying to play the good Sephira? Be focusing on abnormality response training. How many times do I have to tell you? You're only a sad piece of rusty scrap metal putting on an act of being a good person. Now I want everyone to pay close attention here. The abnormality will suppress today needs to be handled a bit differently than the others. If you hoped that living such a lie would ease your consciousness, then that's really selfish. Starting now, I will ex be explaining the method I devised. Please listen carefully. At least the other separate are humble enough to admit that they're not perfect. Quiet! Oh, uh, sorry. Where were we? Excuse me, Miss Hard, I have a question. Yes, what is it? Do you think that this training will make any difference? I mean, against that longbird, it feels like whoever will die or live is predetermined, and there's nothing we can do to change it. Well, it should yield a better result than just doing nothing. At the very least, we can prepare a preventative measure rather than just wait helplessly to... It's all just about luck. We'd be better off just and more comfortable just simply accepting we can die at any moment while working. Just know this. You won't reach that paradise no matter what you do. I'm doing this all for you guys, even the counseling campaign. Now that you mention it, those compulsory counseling campaign is such a pain. We'd rather just have a break time instead. Why is our department the only one that has to deal with these programs? It will keep repeating itself. Live with eternal sorrow and remorse in the metal mass. Well, I... All of you would be dead now if I hadn't helped you. Why aren't you thanking me? Do you want me to get rid of you like Malkuth does before you even make the littlest complaint? Don't you say that I'm the bad one here. Are you finally admitting to your awful nature? <laughs> Tiffany, why are you doing this to me? I am not Tiffany, look at me. Can't you even distinguish your own voice anymore? Yes, you were still having that sweet nightmare. When I read the article detailing Michelle's suicide, it was just our experiment was starting to show some progress. Michelle was the youngest among us. She was a timid and innocent employee. It made her an easy target. Maybe it was her fate to be used as a pawn, the wings were alert to us, or the head would watch over us constantly. You likely didn't know things would go the way they did. You never have thought that puny kid like you would bring about our demise. You never have believed that the situation would end up so much worse than your intentions. 
you probably tried to comfort yourself in the end, telling yourself that you did the best you could, that in this world, in that moment, there wasn't any option for you. But Carmen was the person who was trying to change this world, the world you resigned yourself to. If we meet again in hell, I'll fi will I finally be able to forgive you? Crumple up the newspaper. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, that's so sad, Hod! Damn. Oh, damn, that's really sad. Oh, that's really fucking sad. Oh, no. Oh, that's awful. That is really awful. I feel so bad for Hod. They're all- these are all really sad. Like, it- like, with you- with Hod, though, it- like, it's- it's even more tragic because, like, the- It's, like, even more tragic because- Hod, like, we're in her, like, AI form. So, because that's what the gist of what the hell she does. Oh. Did it? Oh. It mentioned that Hod was... Oh, wait, did it? Oh, did I miss that bit? Did it say it at the end? Wait. Let me read this again. She timid and innocent employee, made her an easy target. Maybe it was her fate to be used to the po oh pawn of the wings that were alert to us all, the head of that would watch over us constantly. Oh, I see. Okay, likely didn't know things would go the way they did. Right. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. So she basically betrayed them because she was like manipulated and like used because she did, but she didn't realize like what she did, and then yeah, it all got a bit much. Hod was a rat. Oh, you get more context of what she did later on. Right, yeah, she got used as a pawn. Okay. But it kind of sounds like she kind of got manipulated that way. Hod was just scared and naive, yeah. Sounds like she definitely got very manipulated. And that, yeah, she didn't do it. Maybe she didn't, Maybe she thought she was doing, like, a good thing. Because she, she seems like... And it would make sense with her character that she wants to try to do the best that she can to help people. So it does kind of seem like... Yeah, I want to help as much as I can. Yeah, see, like, it seems like she was trying to do it and help. Imagine doing Fractured Railway with level 15 teams. Is that what, like, this is? Oh, God. I really hope not. Okay, so at least we can see... Oh, there you go, Snow White's Apple. So this was the original version? That's so cool. Oh, spider bud? Oh, little spiders on the floor. Cute. Okay. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh. Oh, this is awful. Um, oh, no worries, Kieran. No worries. I hope you got home okay. Hod reduces all your stats. I see. So she worsens your agents. They hope to be a better person. Yeah. Oh, the music's so sad. In terms of vibe, I'm the only one who cares about them. Oh. See, either that, like, you know, she, she thought that she was doing good and obviously she, you know, she was obviously bringing the downfall of the wings and whether she knew that she was doing that or not i don't know but i wonder if um when she's come back as an ai that's why she's just wanted to help people oh how come nobody th the uh, the fact that like it's all thankless is really sad yeah the red eyes ego i see red eyes open that's so cool oh i just feel bad for hod i'm the only one who cares about them i'm the only one who cares how come nobody thanks me Oh, I see. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Um, a lot of people hate on some characters because they do battle sus things, but I, only, I always feel bad for them. Even A or Angela, I feel more un understandably unfortunate than evil. I think with a lot of them, like a lot of the characters, because I think that like if you, when you like, with a lot of these characters' actions, it seems like it's more out of necessity rather than like desperation for the world that they're in to try and fix things rather than necessarily being evil like they're not trying to do it to be evil they're trying to do it because they kind of have to or they feel that they have to for example even like even if you go back to limbus with like dong rang yes a lot of the stuff that he did was bad oh shit wow that's fucking terrifying however um you can kind of understand some of his actions and it's it's yeah it is sad it's just a lot of characters in this game. Just very tragic. Our employees are suffering. See, things just won't work out. Aww. Hot tries to do best, but sadly she didn't, but she barely realised until then. 
Bold is awesome. <laughs> I want to see which one that one is. Train, my beloved. <laughs> but yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, wow, yeah. She's about to say she makes it really difficult. to See, she's even doing similar to what Yesod did. You can't really see much. Benek. Oh. I want to see... There. Oh, I'm just ignoring this. Oh, bless. Oh. Process of understanding. I feel, I just feel sad. <laughs> it just makes me sad because Hod, Hod was such a sweetheart. But also I think that like, the the weird thing about like, her and Netsack, like I like the friendship they have, but I don't like the fact it's become, they're using like Enkephalon to cope. And I think that's really sad. You can see the Soda Shrimp Boys. I have seen them before. I do like them. It's the that causes you to become more bold. <laughs> I love that so much. That's great. Um, she makes it look like an old film reel. Oh. Do this for now, and we see what we mean. Badongrang is not that different from A. Okay. Okay. Oh god, are we having the cow coming back? Is the cow appearing again? Be honest with me, man. You're not coming to these meetings with me for praise, are you? Aren't you sick and tired of this? You'll do something great tomorrow yet again, though it won't be anything at all that great. Miss Angela and the other Sephiroth will shower you with compliments. We'll have another accident in my department, a couple will fall down and die, some will go nuts and a pile of them will get injuries they'll never recover from. Hod will try and cheer me up, Yesod will lecture me about what regulations I didn't follow, Malkoth will try and encourage me lively as usual, let's try harder tomorrow. Nobody will say to my face that it's my fault, but it'll be clear as day that I'm responsible for all of it, surely. My day always repeats like that, starts with death, ends with death. Every employee here regularly receives a small dose of a certain drug. Did you know? It helps them become desensitized to everything. Just think about it. If your good old lunch maid found dead, torn into thousands of pieces, who in the world would be able to clean up his dead body without a single drop of emotion? Could you blame them? Would you call them cowards for depending on drugs? Everyone's just trying to escape from this reality in their own ways. They might look and pretend to be okay, but nobody really is. I keep thinking about how I can off myself. Oh, I know it's like a metaphor death versus hypothetical concept. I heard injecting substances like encephalin into machines will slowly but surely rust them. Then, maybe I could chug a whole bottle into my body. Give myself irreversible damage. Funny, I just injected myself with way more encephalin than I usually do. Yet my mind is clearer than ever. Hell, I feel completely lucid right now. If I would open my eyes again, maybe it'll be somewhere without you, those other separate and all that Angela. It hasn't been fun. Let's never meet again. Oh. We began our research on Cogito in earnest. The most urgent issue that prevailed at the time was the correct dosage. I tried to persuade people. I told them we have to proceed with the experiment in order to save Carmen and the others. Everyone fell silent when I asked for volunteers. Then one man quietly raised his hand. It was Giovanni, who had kept himself to himself for most of his time here. Giovanni was one of the patients from Carmen's company. I heard they had known each other since childhood. There is no such thing as a noble sacrifice. The end is always miserable, no matter how justifiable the cause it may be for. My statement in this experiment could bring back Carmen must have been the strongest motivation that drove him to volunteer. An experiment to find the proper dosage of a drug is not something that can be done in just a trial or two. I've never talked with him much. We had nothing in common other than our acquaintance with Carmen. Cogito emanates a boundary of human, and repeated experiments will leave an indelible mark. Oh! Bro, no! This is so fucking sad. I can't. Oh my god. Hell yeah, medical mal malpractice. So when someone chungs egg cavallin, do they literally melt? Oh, dude. Yeah, we saw the yes odds one. Yes. And Shrek and Dante, absolutely not. I'm not coming with she or not be named an A. Ooh. Inject. Co I don't want to. I don't want to. Whenever I'm feeling down, I indulge in a bit of Enkephalin. Next is my favorite of the top sacrifice. He's going to snore our move once you get to the drug escapism out of the way. Yeah, I think in general, like, Netzak, weirdly enough, is like probably one of the more realistically written characters in this situation like if you were just like a normal person that was put into this situation and you were just living the day by day by day like the same again and again and again and again and again like you would get to this point and you would try and look for escapism and you would try to look for something to change your day and that's probably why you got along well so so well with Hod because Hod 
was beginning to feel very similarly and was just someone that was trying to help and as clearly as his character um before tried to help and obviously it unfortunately led to um the the drug overdose like he sort of probably relates to hod in the sense of like hod's trying to help but there's nothing they can do and you know they can try and comfort themselves as well so cogito is not the same as encephalin so so cogito is lobotomies right so cogito doesn't currently exist in does it not currently exist in limbus i'm guessing so encephalin is a neurotransmitter opioid but cogito is a singularity oh i don't think i was supposed to read that okay <laughs> okay got you right let me let's have a look at the course suppression okay i've got to stop reading chats first <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm really making the <laughs> my mods work hard today sorry about that right let me let me find it okay this one okay so this should be net sacks course suppression let's have a look cogito will be explained later okay it was not a bad person just one dying from the side okay god i love this music it's so cool has been has not been mentioned in limbus okay not seen in limbus though but we'll see why okay okay yeah because that's gonna say it kind of sounds like carmen sort of died so it would carmen seems to have meant something to all of them it's sinking oh Oh, I see. So it's kind of put like a hazy sort of filter on, right? As if they're in like a daze. Right, got you. So where is, let me see if I can spot it. Oh, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this hurts my eyes. Oh, that's like extreme of all forms of healing. Oh, geez. Ah, during that, that's called suppression only for only facility healing works and it slowed down. I see. You listen to the themes of the separate? No, I'm going to do a separate video on it when i understand when i finish the story so i'm gonna make a video you weren't the person i put my trust in in terms of healing but every meltdown level every agent gets oh i see especially yes odds themes yeah well I i'm gonna do a separate video on it once i've like gone through all the story so i can like try to figure out and understand what it means why would you want to con continue prolonging these something no one actually is safe here oh i feel so bad yeah, the gimmick is no healing. Okay, I'm trying to see if I can spot him. He should be up there, I think. Nobody's safe here. Safety team. Sense of guilt. Oh. Oh, I just feel so sad for him. I just want to give him a hug. I want to give him all a bit of a hug. Like, this just sucks. Like, not, not a single one of these characters is evil. Do you know what I mean? Like, none of them are bad. Like, you know... It, they're just they're just all in a very sad situation i i just think angela's manipulated them into this situation and he's manipulating them and he's manipulating this there he is oh oh he does look like a tree oh. i've told perk though it's all easy oh i see you seen the rabbit protocol no yeah he's safety guy so lack of healing meltdown is annoying but compared to hods it's a joke so hods was really tough i'm guessing Justica spotted. His course pressure was really easy. I was just try not trying to do work that makes agents receive too much damage. Uh, okay. But then to be fair, that's kind of in line with Netzak. Like, he's pretty chill, isn't he? Hello, hi time. How's it going? You're a little bit late for some of the stuff, but it's okay. You're okay. How are you doing? Uh, well, not all right, eh? <laughs> yeah, a hole. More like. We'll see. I might change my mind by the end, but I doubt it. Because um, it's just making me sad. I want to cry i'm just like oh these poor characters oh we don't talk about hard i don't talk about any of them one of the best parts of project moon world is the humanity and so yes i feel like the characters are really written so well oh magical girl looks cool they're really written so well in this universe like extraordinarily oh there he is oh oh that sack yeah, you can talk about them, but the mechanics as long as it's not super spoilery. Yes, that is fine. Hardsworth is kind of insane since it can save quite a lot of love points. Oh, okay. Dear Lord, I forgive them for not, they do not see the magnificence. <laughs> yeah, mostly just debuff changes about how you handle things. In game, you normally have a uh, team per area. And if they're all debuffed, you got to come up with a plan or overlevel them. Oh, okay. Hods is the fourth hardest. Oh, God. Hod and one of the other stuffs are kind of evil. I mean, betrayal is obviously evil. Yeah, but it depends what they're betraying, though. 
because that's the problem is that like if you've got a corporation that is inherently evil and someone betrays that organization for a good reason reason that technically would make them good so it depends if we class this corporate corporation as evil or not because i think they're clearly doing good things but a lot of people are dying also a lot of the employees are on drugs and that you know that clearly it's not being run in you know for the, for the universe it's yeah it's clearly not being run in the safest way so ugh. you know i won't spoil the specifics since we want to delete them but each separate has a line for the character conclusion after the suppression net sacks has the best okay yeah they enable each other in the worst ways possible yeah and that's kind of the problem is that when you have two characters that are relatively similar they they kind of yeah, they will sort of enable each other, which is sad. The betrayals did not help. I can tell, no, but they, they might have thought it helped. So this is the this is the interesting thing about this game and morality is that like it's always been questioned, which is just so cool. Right, let's uh, let's continue. Okay, posh British man, let's do it. Well, it seems you did all right. Looks like you're not as useless as they say. Try not to overdo it, though. Okay, manager, you've been accomplished quite a few things already. What you've already gotten through will have lengthened the lives of our employees by at least some degree. So, you should hopefully be satisfied now. It's not that I can't see from your point of view. You came to Lobotomy Corporation and you probably want to put forth your best effort to mould this place into something better. But this place is just like a cup of coffee gone cold ages ago. I get that it's a strange comparison, but it's how it is for me. It would be better off, off for all of us in the end if I were able to at least feign our noble and benevolent posture, now wouldn't it? The same goes for you, manager. I said it before, there's no need to invest your emotions and effort into such drivel. I'll ignore that. Alright, alright, suit yourself, Mr. Passionate. I'll say that I'm curious how long that fire in your heart will last. I'll get going now, I'm actually quite busy even though I seem relaxed. Lady Angela, please have a look at this. I spent the whole night researching an efficient method to improve the welfare of our employees. <laughs> That's funny. Just look who's talking. Oh. Oh, to work in an experiment with my favourite junior. I feel unstoppable, like a tiger given wings. Don't be so humble. You could have gone to any wing you wanted. But you still chose to come here. Is it because of your trust in me? Just you wait. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. Oh, look at this. Everyone's subconsciousness leads straight to death. Everyone is forcefully locking away their own light and potential. And here, this is the treatment I've told you about. The treatment for the soul. Trust me, we've made a worthy first step. People will gather around us soon enough. I sincerely welcome you to this place. <laughs> Forgot about his stuff. Hello, sir. Oh. Oh my god, we've gone back to Malketh. Oh, all <laughs> over the place. No worries, Nova. Have a good one. Uh, I've got about this stuff. Uh, the fun fact, fun detail of welfare department's guidelines specify the goal is to save company resources, not explicitly save lives. Oh, it's hard net sack as a pair on the street of light. But then being a pair is intentional. Oh, I got it. We see the facility with the cognition filter, which the employees don't have. Yeah, I can imagine there's a nightmare coming true. I wouldn't mind if I had a filter on. Yeah, Malkuth. So this is after the boss scene. So we must now be getting all the boss ones. Yeah, not Malkuth, Elijah. Yeah, technically it's Elijah. This after his suppression. <gasps> okay. Hello, A hey, sir. I'm really, really glad to join this team. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is... I'll try my best to be helpful to the team. Oh, I was writing a report. Where did it get off to? Um... <laughs> Nothing could be achieved through passion alone. It was obvious what mistakes and patience could cause, so we need to take our time. The situation wasn't bright enough for me to remember everyone's name, or personally respond to meaningless gestures. It was only after a very long time that I realised giving praise once in a while might have been a good idea. Oh, oh! <laughs> Is everything alright? You're so silly. <laughs> I think you confuse us for humans from time to time. I feel like I had a real dream for the first time in a while. <laughs> the other Sephiroth told me that I damaged the facility a lot. Uh, <laughs> have you ever felt it, manager? That feeling of sailing in the ocean without a map or any kind of guidance. The feeling of groping blindly through a vast darkness. 
It feels like I'm on an island in that fast ocean. I work in the control team. Nobody knows how much pressure it is to be in a position to command everyone else until they've truly tried it for themselves. I'm sure you know how it feels, manager. Everything starts tumbling down on top of you when you start thinking you might not be able to handle it. Have you ever looked into the eyes of a dying employee? Don't look away from them, saying that there's nothing you can do for them. Don't just be sorry for the dying sacrifices. Don't blame yourself thinking that you could have done better. Only after you confront those moments as they are, will you be able to see the other things. I saw you overcome unavoidable trials, those of which probably originated from me. To be honest, I wasn't sure you would make it. Am I being too forward? <laughs> we can't change the past, I know. I don't expect you to be a shining beacon or a lighthouse in the vast ocean, or that this place will suddenly become all peaceful and warm. But maybe we can just try to wait, right? We'll take it all in those horrible moments. Though I want you to be the one to bear the suffering, manager. Like we are now. Oh, that hurts me. Oh, that. Oh, go. Oh, bless. That's really box form unlocked. The music was amazing, though. I loved it. Oh, the OST gives me strength. Oh, see, though, it's nice, though, because it was like, it was like, I guess if that's the last time we're going to see them, it was kind of like them saying what we should do to help support the employees to make things better. Germinating. Oh. Oh, I didn't read all that. Okay. The OST gives me strength. Wholesome. Well, it kind of was a bit wholesome. It was a little bit wholesome. But yeah, we got we got the true form. Oh, Does that mean we've seen past the filter then? Did Lucy like gains 10% thanks to the will to stand up straight? Oh, I see. Right, the will to stand up straight. So does that mean we can now see past the filter? So I'm guessing the filter's come off, right? The cognition filter? So is that what it's going to happen? Yeah, after that, she never looks human again in the game. Oh, but... Mm. Not exactly last time you see him, but the last part in their development. Got it. G, can you handle more of these? You can take a break. Of it. It's okay. I'm good. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm I'm okay. I need to know. Like, I'd rather just know. <laughs> okay. Plus, I'm going to have to get used to this because Live of Runa, I have a feeling, is not going to be a, a cakewalk. <laughs> okay. Only on Malkuth. Oh, only on Malkuth? Okay. Interesting why the filter makes you see her as you think of her so it represents understanding who and really what she is right even in game the messages show the real bodies after you finish the quests it's almost have challenges and tribulations that would somehow make someone stronger or drive them to live a better life yeah yeah and like that like wise wisdom oh the special quote though wow kind of chose to let us see her the real her i guess oh i feel sad <laughs> yes i never expected them to be restored but it appears i was wrong this time I attempted to tell you that it was reckless, however it wasn't such a big loss on our end. I realized that a large quantity of energy was refined during the process of restoring that Sephira. If you wish to know why such an occurrence passed, well, the day will come when you find out. Alright. Gabura will be back soon. Manager, if it's alright with you, could you pass my words along? Gabura, she's... she's strangely obsessed with suppression, wouldn't you say? Any casualty to employees during the suppression process, she entirely disregards it. Lady Angela is perfectly aware, but she conveniently turns a blind eye to it. Gabura is great at handling the abnormalities when they breach. It's as if she was born for this job. So I suppose a few extra dead employees is considered a reasonable trade-off. But you see, as a manager, you should know that massacring abnormalities is not our only priority. Well, I don't know if Gabura will listen to you, but I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a go. I saw Chesed leaving. What nonsense did he ramble on this time? Be honest with me, I can see everything. Let me warn you. Don't act as if you know everything. I've been here for a long time. I've seen much more than you have. Damn. Experiment subject 0934 will be running a simple test before we administer the chemicals. Uh, Gabor, the machine with the soul. Wonderful creation of Lobotomy Corporation. What does it mean to have a soul? It means one may truly have worth. It's the center of our faith and venerable Lord A believes in. I participated in this experiment because I trust in him. 
I don't know if I have a soul. If I'm disassembled, will there be a soul inside of me? Well, it can easily be determined just by talking with you. A soul cannot be seen, but it can be felt. I will be reborn as if as I confront my own soul. Mankind and the world will be changed soon. Trust in A, for he is our saviour who shall lead us all. Oh. So, you're Miss Gabora. I heard a lot about you from Christopher. They say you have a real soul. Our venerable A will really is remarkable. Don't pay attention to those who are disrespectful. They do not know your true worth. Oh, meet Gilly, our daughter. Our daughter. <laughs> She's kind and sweet. I've missed a bit because the gay these these cutscenes I swear are going just a little bit faster than than the last ones were. Might just pour it. A softer voice. Oh, because she's a bit happier back then. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Got it. If this is before she started smoking. Got it. It's a lot cult in the company. Great, great. It's a cult. Oh, we all know how cults go. Canto three flashback. <laughs> we all know how cults go in this game. Oh, me Gilly, our daughter. She's kind and sweet, just like you. Does this child also have a soul? Is that, shall I go lower? Does this child also have a soul, then? Like that? Basically Sandra, oh. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> she's a lot kinder right now, okay. Got it. Okay, I'll just kind of do like a slightly higher voice, it's fine. That sounds good, okay. You can see she doesn't have face cards. She doesn't. She doesn't. This is definitely a flashback. Fair enough. Of course. A soul is something every living creature has. It's the essence of, all, of us all, yet not known to many. This world only believes in things that can be seen with the eye. It's a sad belief that will eventually lead everyone to destruction. The company was a cult first. Cool. Miss Angela, is that a monster? That is what we call an abnormality, Gaborah. How is it different from monsters? Monsters are in themselves repulsive, terrible creatures of the core and start of their existence. However, abnormalities originate from humans. Then why does that abnormality have Mr. Christopher's watch? And why does it make sounds different from mimicking Mr. Christopher's word, voice? You see, Gabor, that's because abnormalities originated from them. It's not like they materialize all of a sudden and come into existence from nowhere. Do abnormalities eat humans? Is it mimicking Mr. Christopher like that because it devoured him? I do not understand. That is a complicated thing to explain, Gabora. What's certain is that this did not happen because of someone's vice or malice, and that the shape you perceive as a monster certainly carries the will of the man you call Christopher. Wait, so they're becoming abnormalities because they're choosing to, not because they're like having a nothing there? What do you mean? What do you mean? These, yeah, this abnormalities, yeah. So they're cho oh, a lot of messages disappeared? That's weird. Oh, nothing, no, don't worry. Okay, okay. There is, there are mods here, by the way, like deleting out spoilers. <laughs> just in case, just in case. Maybe there's, oh, so do we see nothing there? I've got no idea. Shrug. Right, so yeah, so norm, you've received voicemail. Hello. So normally, um, obviously normally abnormalities occur, well, well, that was an exception. Yeah, so basically there are, these ones are occurring. Just nothing there. Not the voicemail line. I'm so confused. What do you mean? What? what? Stop, stop smiling at me. <laughs> I'm so confused. Just there's actually nothing there. The timeline doesn't match. Oh, I see. There's nothing to see. I'm beyond confused. <laughs> what? What are you on about? I'm so confused. I'm so beyond confused. So back then. Oh, we don't have distortion yet. Oh, don't tell me read down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna get explained. Okay, thank you, me clash. Okay, that's fine. The way of describing abnormalities really makes me think of witches from Madoka Magica. This is common, not in common. Oh, interesting. The distortion didn't exist yet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so, I love you. I'm so confused. Help! I'm like, what? Stop smiling at me. So right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The distor so distortion doesn't exist. Oh, chat confused more. We did a good job. Thanks, guys. Okay. Have you played Persona? No. Because, but, I have, uh, but I have done a bit in my community bit asking for game recommendations. So if you'd recommend it, please do. Have played the Shin Megami Tensei games, though, and I love those games. So, yeah. Nothing there is an abnormality. Oh! <laughs> okay, thank you. Flipping heck. 
distortion only happens after log corp ends got it because so distortion is usually um the, is, distortion's the one like with like the chicken man and stuff isn't it distortion's where like they have like the overload of emotions isn't it and then like so like like with dong rang with the chicken dude you know like how we think that some of you know how we think yeah so is is that what it is persona is too long yeah but yeah heck yeah Shin Megami, i love shin megami tensei it's so good i love you hello goodbye <laughs> everyone loves pranky stream with that <laughs> it's like what is happening um oh is that an aberration seeing would mention specific animality which does a little better uh, don't worry, we can see the first distortion in. The head is advised me not to continue this message any further. Oh my god, oh my god. Distortion would be explained in Library of Runa. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, this is, yes, that is how we distort. Okay. Yes, because we think that, because like, for example, I'm like, Ishmael is probably going to distort in Canto 5. Things like shit like that. Got it. So we don't have that yet. Okay, but this dude's become an abnormality. But we don't, but for some reason in a, Paused like he wanted to okay cool awesome but dis distortion is completely different persona 3 remake my beloved i know i kind of want to play it it's not quite good it looks good so far but yeah no um no no, no. the persona thing is because i mentioned this in the stream yesterday i'm going to be finishing my playthrough of fear and hunger so if any of you guys like fear and hunger i am going to be finishing my playthrough of that game just heads up and then i'm asking for other game recommendations because i want to start not not streams but i want to start doing playthroughs of games so persona is one that a lot of people have recommended but i'm just gonna wait like getting more game options and then i'm gonna do a poll but so far i think the ones i've been recommended the most are persona um lies of p what was the other one trails like one of the games of the trail series tales one of the tales of games like tales will rise and there was another game oh this the fate remnant uh samurai game that's just come out as well fate samurai remnant so those are the ones it's kind of looking like it might be at the moment but yeah one two abnos look similar they're aberrations of each other oh kind of like a spin-off <laughs> like like you know like a like a similar one like a like in the species they're like another one rain world oh yes rain world that was another one that was there thank you yep got quite a few comments so i need to have a look yeah i think a few people liked that one actually funga 2 potentially potentially i'll see how my playthrough goes of funga 1 because funga 1 is hard enough as it is <laughs> i don't know if i want to do it again with funga 2 quite yet um distortion detectives after lob corp and during ruiner oh okay um rain world is so good i, I, I haven't played it have you played least of the painful no but i have been recommended the soundtrack for that game not the trail series oh why why is it not good aberrations are basically subspecies of abnormalities you know that makes sense put it in that term and i'm gonna get it perfect not necessarily every time but some abnormalities are just related love rome world i'm playing rome world and watching this oh really oh pathologic i have heard of um if you like fear and hunger i do like fear and hunger it just depends on how difficult it is it would be nice to play one of the other games on my list um especially if it's like not super long game, but especially if it's like, yeah. Sea of Stars. Yeah, that game does look amazing. Yeah, Pathologic. Oh, Pathologic 2. It's very long. Oh, I see. I see. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do the entire Trail series. I'd probably just do like one game from the Trail series that was recommended. Lisa is an amazing game series. Oh, okay. Why do so many... Why do we have so many Apple-based app notes? Probably linking to the tree. You have to think about it. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of imagery with trees, branches, birds, nests. Apples grow on trees. That's probably why. Maybe it's relating to like Eden. You know, like the the um, because obviously with Adam and Eve, and obviously there's a lot of religious imagery in this. Adam and Eve, she ate the apple, which was she was tempted to by the serpent, and that brought evil into the world. So maybe it's to do with that. Just a guess. <laughs> Apples have a lot of symbol symbolization, yeah. Especially with all the religious imagery. I am not playing Sekiro. <laughs> I cannot parry for shit. <laughs> Just a heads up. Um, so that is probably not going to happen. We need some other fruits that grow on trees. Yeah, tree, yeah. The gold and the golden apple. There we go. Yeah, and we have wings like on birds, yeah. Fairies, which a lot of time are in forests. An apple a day keeps A away. <laughs> oh that's oh man but yeah canto three inquisitors are like nt ego corrosion if you want some mess up if you look at visual novels oh interesting 
But yeah, so we shall see. We shall see. But yeah, so, but I obviously needs to do Fear and Hunger first. So, Near Automata, that is another one on my list. That is true. And it would actually link into a couple of games because they've crossed over. Where's the bananas? Yeah, here we go. We have sidetracked really hard. Yeah, we have. Right, anyway. <laughs> Sekiro is a rhythm game disguised as souls like. I would die so hard. I forgot about the video. <laughs> Abnormalities and distortions are very similar but different. For example, distortions are personal based, but abnormalities are more broad and abstract. Yep, yep. Because I was yeah, but I was gonna say because like I would have thought this is a distortion, but it's not. So, hmm. Let's not talk about the forest yet. Play Okami. Oh, I played that game growing up on PS2. Oh, that's a throwback. Oh, that was a beautiful game. So I have already played it, but it's a beautiful game. Right, let's continue because we have really yeah, near with punishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Mo there are some really messed up visual novels at 18 plus yeah it's already bad enough with fear and hunger try <laughs> trying to sort of hide things on that so i think i'm good <laughs> near and near automata i played the original near not the one with the brother and the sister the one with the dad and the daughter on ps3 loved that fucking game it was incredible imagery Mwah. so yeah i would be so down to play the second one reverse 999 yes i want to do a video on that I do want to do a video on that fiery because as well, full English voice acting with genuine accents. I do want to listen because I have heard this, which is awesome. Oh, Gabor asks you to deliberately like, high, high throughout abnos. Interesting. I wonder why. Mm. Okay. A stands for Apple. A stands, yeah, could do. Could do. They might be named Apple. Right, let's continue because we've managed to really get off, off track. Um, let me just go back. Excuse me, Tippereth. Why does the experiment log include a step where Mrs. Isbell sent to the chamber DIO1? Why should we place her anywhere near that horrific monster? I don't know, Gabora. You know she isn't known for explaining the purpose of every experiment to us. I think I heard that it's to rigorously determine the loss of humanity, but I don't really get what it means. That's definitely going to end up hurting Mrs. Isabel. I should tell Miss Angela to stop it. Gabora, maybe you should just keep quiet about it. I've seen other machines question their orders, and Miss Angela would reset us if she we disobeyed her. Please, if you're feeling anger, I suggest that you rather embrace that anger and move on. Wouldn't that be better than to lose your memory and exist as a lifeless puppet, being ashamed of the soul you got to bear? What do you think the ending to that story is? Where did Christopher's wife and his daughter Gilly disappear to? I won't ever know either. Hard to say if it's fortunate or unfortunate, but the experiment was not under my responsibility. All I know is that the old blanket Gilly had was the only thing to come out of that monster's chamber. Most people wouldn't even talk to us, since machines weren't worth putting their minds to. But Christopher and Isabel, they told me I was worthy of something. They looked past my exterior and saw what was inside of me, something I wasn't even aware of. Those monsters were obliged to call abnormalities have killed many people since then. And yet those things never die. It's not fair. Why? Why do we have to treat them nicely? Don't pay any heed to the employees in front of you. When an abnormality shows up, their lives will be the least of your worries. Since it's clear that those monsters feel pain, I'll dish out as much pain as possible. That's the only reason why I'm standing here. Don't ever patronize me again. Oh shit, alright. Crap. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Asbestos, where I must see her. Oh, she's cool. I, I, that'd be awesome. Um, VN's on the table. Paranormal site is good if you're down for a horror... Um, visual novel not oh i do like a good horror visual novel if you're in the discord please put my um please put uh, recommendations in the game suggestion section or in the community bit on my channel at the moment put game suggestions in there please because i will use those in the future once i finish the game i'll like pick another one from that list so pop them in there it's a good place one month one month question mark um Sir, what what does that mean, Minister? Oh, one day thirty. Oh, one month. Got it. That's why emissions are kill based. Oh, because she wants to cause pain to them. Got it. Got you. It's a very nice forest. Where the hell's this? Why haven't we, why haven't we been here before? Imagine for a whole month. Woo! <laughs> ah, in this place, the sunlight is truly warm. Maybe I was a tree in the past life. Hmm. Think of a former life as the life of my soul lived before being born into the current form you see now. Isn't this fun to just think about? <laughs> my next life? Hmm, I would want to be a person with a beautiful voice, like the wisest person in the world. 
Then, everyone would pay more attention to what I would- what I say. No, maybe that's too much to ask. Especially with all the abilities I already have. <laughs> hmm? And what about you? Who or what would you want to become? What kind of thought is that? <laughs> Look at this here. A medicine extracted from the human subconsciousness. A form made from the formless concept. Isn't it fascinating? You see, this will become a seed of sorts. Since we've discovered an incurable disease, it would only be fair to discover a cure for it, don't you think? Oh my fucking god, is that Angela? Is that Angela's soul? Because she was saying about having the most wisest... The wisest voice in the world. <laughs> well, what is the name? Oh my god. I'm scared. Hey, what have you created? <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh fuck. Holy shit. This is not good. This is not good. Can we go back to day one? <laughs> Can we just stay there, please? <sighs> oh god. Most less are pretty much damage checks. Oh god, I've never hated a smiley face more. I'm gonna ban that one day. <laughs> All information! That is gonna be banned one day. Let me think. I wonder if- I wonder if this person is clearly someone that means a lot to A, and then maybe A created Angela in their image, and maybe put their soul in them? I'm not sure. This is a theory. Do not confirm. Do not confirm. And then put their soul in them, or like tried to, but it didn't work. Um, and then... Yeah. And then they've got a bit nuts. P.O. Wilder, I never stop. You can always come back to day one. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> no, don't ban them. <laughs> one day it's going. Thing is, thing is the Lob Corp you're incentivized to. Uh, back to the memory repository. Reset to day one. Just start again. Okay, we're on yes odd. Okay, this is, this is the after. I heard about Elijah. I'm sorry. I guess now everyone should know that there are consequences to forcefully entering a laboratory with restricted access. Also, you were very careless not to put the supply room key back in its proper place. A game theory! You may think I'm being too strict, but I can't help it. I'm not saying anything false. We should set up a time for when keys must be returned to prevent people like you from causing this again. I wore this to prevent chemicals from splashing on my body. Don't worry, I'm just a little tired. No need to show concern. I'll go prepare for the upcoming experiment. Oh, Wounds have a way of revealing themselves, and even for those who wish to keep them concealed. For Gabriel, it was the change in his clothing. Maybe it was easier on his mind to conclude that Elijah's death was caused by a violation of the rules. He tried harder to stick to his principles. He tried to maintain his objectivity. But perhaps his excessive rationality was what destroyed him. His earnest hope not to see anyone else die couldn't reach me. No, there is no point in lying anymore. I pretended that I didn't hear his desperate cry. <sighs> There's no need to ask if I'm doing alright. I heard about what you and I did yesterday. I felt like it was the first time I lost myself. It was not quite pleasant, but it was not as terrible as I expected it to be either. Rather, I feel relieved. Not to say that all the hatred that surrounds me is completely washed away. I'll still see that rotting hallucination and sometimes I'll feel disgusted and have an unbearable anger towards you. However, if there's one aspect that has changed, it is that I can be in as much despair as I want to now. Someday, a hope will painfully grow out of the rotten wound. What you gave to us was a seed of hope. Ooh! Ooh! It seems you're also on the way to embracing your painful past. It's always the beginning that's difficult, and your outfit still isn't up to the company standard. I suppose I should seriously consider having penalty points apply even to the manager. Oh yes, Lord! You liars! You liars! You absolute liars! You lot of liars! You lot of freaking lying to me! Look! Cl You're lying! <laughs> Oh, so look at the box. It's like wrapped up. Oh, <laughs> this. Ew. So the quote is rationality to maintain discretion. Discretion. Yes, old scene tape. Also done a research. She sasses you. Oh, boss buffs are the real reasons to go to day one. Once you get back to stronger in the future, you need that for extra. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm, I'm first one of day 46. I've reset to day one yet, but I'm ready. Oh, I see. Tape's body. We only said that point. Oh, I guess so. 
Oh, we never lie. Only misinformed. It's good how how each meltdown correlates characters. For Malkuth, you need to, you just need to like her to take notes. Like yes, odd for him. You just try to remember your nuggets. Thank gear. For Hod, you need to train them as much as possible for her event. And with next, you need to be as careful as possible without the ability to heal. But now we've got them both. Oh, oh. I mean, like even the way he's like he's like covering his arms. Like even like the posture is like just so closed off. Oh, this hurts. Oh my god. This is so sad. And even just like Yesod's story, it like really like because he like lost someone even as an AI, he like lost someone again that he cared about. Oh god, this 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 hurts. This sucks. You've done it yet again. Lady Angela must have showered you with praise for your work, right? Your efforts will contribute to shaping this place into something better. He speaks with a sarcastic voice of dignity. Such a glorious yet boring platitude. I myself had a burning passion in the past. Be responsible for a whole department. How charming is that? I haven't even acquired a taste for coffee back then. Should I say I developed that taste after learning the bitterness of life? Or rather, I didn't feel like sleeping anymore. Of course, none of the Sephirot need to sleep at all, but it is for the mood, you know? One time, I even insisted on managing the abnormalities myself. I thought that only allowing employees on the field was plain ridiculous. It seems pretty absurd to look back on it now. You must be asking yourself why I've become like this. Your guess is as good as mine. Lady Angela, please have a look at this. I spent a whole night researching an efficient method to improve the welfare of our employees. Chess said, what did you write up this time? I told you this will change nothing. But please, just look it over. This does have a statistically proven impact, and it costs even less. This will be beneficial for everyone. Listen, Chess said. No matter how strongly you insist, using machines in place of human employees will never happen. And why is that? I've explained it to you before. It wouldn't replace humans entirely. Simply those to take place in dangerous jobs. It's clear that it will benefit everyone. The casualties caused by abnormalities will be lowered too. How many times do I have to repeat myself, no, the first time, and no yet again? Return to your post and finish your work. I'll never give up on this. I swear to you that you will like the plan in the end. I'll keep developing and furthering it, and I'll continue to show you again and again, no matter how many times I have to. Chess said, regarding that incident where the escaped abnormality wiped out all eight of your team, a few of our employees have made the suggestion to temporarily close down that part of the corridor. There are body parts that have still have yet to be disposed of. All right, I'll order it to be blocked and have them take detours. Manager, you heard what she said, right? I need to get going. Told you, I'm busy. It'll be all right. Hey now, don't give me a look like that. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Surely that abnormality had knocked them out before disintegrating them. I'm... yeah, I'm sure it was a painless death. Jessard! Oh! Ooh! What is happening? Agony and rage mix, blending together in mist. One couldn't determine if the smoke was responsible for the madness or for the cries of agony sprued forth the smoke. Are you researching machines now? That's great! I can really see what a jack of all trades can do! To be frank, I thought I was pretty great too. But now, watching you makes me think I was terribly full of myself. I can't remember what voice I did for me. Would it be alright if I helped you? I think I would make a serviceable assistant. It's good that you're up and passionate again. It's an honour to take part in this project with a scholar I respect. The smoke war? Is something the matter? Raggle, where are you? Are you okay right now? The truth is, you were actually not okay at all, were you? If a ray of sunlight breaks your heart and collapses your mind with longing and nostalgia, and seeing plants outside evokes an unknown rage tearing down your rational thought, then we have no choice but to stay underground. Let us start anew, the corporation that mourns her. Gregor is cutting apple right now. Wait, oh! Gregor and a certain gr grade 9 fixer are there too? Who? What? So wait, oh, so what's the lead? <laughs> I need to start reading chat! God damn! <laughs> I need to just start reading chat! You might recognize this scenery for certain flashbacks and limbs. It did look actually very familiar. It did look really familiar. Oh shit. Oh mate. Lol. <laughs> look at troll. Mods are doing a great job. Mods are doing a great job. I'm just being- I'm just reading too fast. It's okay. Chat, you were saying too much. Yes, guys, please. 
careful with the spoilies, especially with Limba spoilies. Story Ninja. <laughs> PM fans are very excitable. So that was the war that part Greg was part of. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. But yes, please do not mention things I've not seen. And please do not mention spoilers for Library of Runa. Please do not do it. Um, mods, if someone is doing it repeatedly, I don't like to do this, but you are okay to time people out. That is okay. Um, I do give you permission to do that if people are repeatedly spoiling after being told to stop spoiling. So yes, just please keep an eye out. I don't like to do it, but it ruins the fun for everyone. So let's try to keep the spoilers down. Mods, we are working overtime. They do. Should just ban at first sight. Well, this is the thing. I don't want to ban people unless they're doing it like deliberately. It's people are getting excited and they want to talk about it. And I completely understand. I'm the same. I'm one of those people. I get really into things. And I get really excited and I don't want to spoil for people, but like I like to talk about it. I think people are just getting a bit ahead of themselves. So timing out is fine. Unless someone is deliberately being like, no, I'm going to keep spoiling. Then I think that's fair enough. But I think that, um, yeah, I think timing out's okay if people keep doing it um but yeah people are to control themselves yeah i think i like i said i think people just get very excitable and i also think that from what i've seen there aren't a lot of streams that do a lot of project moon content or like cover lots of project moon content so like i guess people don't always really get the chance to chat if you do want to chat about spoilers by the way just to give you a heads up there, I do have a Discord, and in the Discord there is a whole Limbus section where you can talk about spoilers and talk about people talk about it with people that have played the game. Please do join the Discord and do it in there if you, you know, if you want to talk about spoilers because that is the perfect place to do it. <laughs> Just a heads up. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I wish about the <laughs> future Limbus plot. Oh God, no. <laughs> but it's okay mods are doing an amazing job i i may i may just need to get a few more mods i might look at i might look at putting it out again to get a couple more mods because my mods are doing an amazing job um ebby got spoiled as a very critical loss oh no it's it is tough though it's very tough yeah yeah it is really tough it's also my fault like i also read the chat quite quickly and i also am one of those streamers where like i read quickly so like it's also up to me to maybe not read chat quite as quickly as i do so it's you know it's okay um but yeah it, it does happen but yeah i think i think what i'll do is i will especially before ruiner because i am if i get spoiled in ruiner i'm gonna be fuming because i am going into it blind so like i do not want to get spoiled for that game i think i'll put the mod thing up again and try and get some more mods for ruiner and just make sure we're covered and i think in that one it's going to be a case of like you've been warned if you do start spoiling you'll get a timeout and if you keep spoiling it will be a ban i don't want to do it but if you're going to spoil i think we're going to have to get a bit harsh on it but especially with ruiner because i do not want to get spoiled in ruiner i'm going to be fuming <laughs> so yeah so i think that's what we'll do but yeah it's not your fault i know but like also as well like i have to give the mods a chance to delete the spoilers too so i'll just try to be a little bit slower with reading the chat which ain't great because i love reading chat that's one of the things i love so yeah runa is something you don't want to be spoiled if i get spoiled runa i'm gonna be furious i have i will not be happy <laughs> at all with that person spoilers need to be censored that's what that's what the discord's for though you can literally spoiler in the discord so you don't need to worry about it hope you can experience things fresh yeah that's the goal you need more mods for ruiner yeah i'll put the thing out again we'll, we'll do it yeah i've got i've got a chance because we're not going to start streaming ruiner straight away um i'm probably going to aim for beginning of november start um so yeah so we're not so I, i'm not going to leap straight into it after this because yeah maybe just interact a little less with chat yeah this is the thing i don't like to do that though because i like to chat with chat and i like to chat about these things and uh, like for example like this stream this is what it's for it's about talking about spoilers and figuring stuff out but like if you're about to spoil something that i haven't i'm about to find out there's no point in doing that you know um we have with theorizing stuff i know but that's just my style <laughs> i love a good theory i'm a little theory person i'm like Ooh. um but yeah so it's it's tough um if you spoil the plot <laughs> but yeah okay let's continue anyway but yeah so we, we've discussed what we're going to do about spoilers and stuff so yeah but i just want to say my mods you do do an incredible job i really do appreciate the work that the mods do seriously thank you very very much though i really really do appreciate it try making it subscriber only that should at least lessen the chance of it um, 
I guess so. I'll have a think about it. I'll have a think about it. Cause I also don't want to force people to have to subscribe if they want to watch my content, I guess, or like interact. Cause some people, when you first go into a stream, you want to chat with the streamer a bit first to get to know them. So some people might not feel comfortable subscribing to like stay if they want to like chat with the streamer. I don't know, I'll have a think about it. It's a, it's a good suggestion though. Um, but I also am coming from like being a Twitch streamer. So like, it's very different on Twitch. So I, I don't know what the best thing to do. Mid November is the Limbus chapter five. Start Runa early November. It won't be long till the new Limbus story drops. No, that's true. Yeah, I know. Well, the other option is then leave it till after Canto five, but then we're talking about like nearly two months probably. So it's a while. It's very flattering, G. Me Clash, you do an amazing job. You do an amazing job. A hundred percent. It's already, already subscribe only. It's not. <laughs> It's not. Uh, tell that to every single streamer who streamed the game. Runa is hard to spoil. <laughs> yeah. Just don't spoil, yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at the mods. We clashed that black. Yay. <laughs> Some people in streamers, um, I know have their chats sub only. Yeah. I think we should go back to watching the videos. Yeah, we can. let's go back to watching them anyway. But yeah, so let's continue anyways. Do you believe that there is a truly inexcusable behavior? Nobody is perfect. If we realize that in forgiving others, your enemy didn't deserve forgiveness, but rather that you needed peace, would things be better? What? What? Who, what? Oh, is this? Is th oh wait, is this hot? It is hot. <laughs> it's just like, is this hot? Oh! <laughs> what a cry! Oh God! Do you want to finish it? Then you Canto Five. We're not gonna be able to finish Runa by the end of Canto 5. There's not a chance. Not a chance. Anyway, back to Hod. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, do you recommend any chat and spoiling things Runa? Give him two, three stride limit. True. Yeah, that is true. I think maybe they could be muted. Yeah, that's a good point. Small Hod. So sweet. Oh. <laughs> not Hod, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. Oh, Shren. She does look like Shren, actually. Are you sure you can really join our experiment in such an unstable situation? Michelle, let me cut to the chase. We are performing experiments that go directly against the head's ideals. If your beloved parents or your precious friends tried to coax you, are you confident that you'd be able to refuse them? She wasn't able to say anything to my brow beating. Carmen broke the silence instead. Don't be too harsh on her. She's amazing to be here at such a young age. Just like everyone else, Michelle liked Carmen. There was not trickery or a show. She wasn't the manipulative sort of person who'd keep such a facade either. I should have made her give the answer she avoided speaking, no matter what. Oh God! Did Michelle receive what she wanted? I don't know. Did she accomplish her purpose by trampling on us and Carmen? I'll never know. Do I have any right to bear hatred towards her? The answer was no. I was no different from her. To be honest, I never wanted you to die in misery like that nasty tabloid article gossiped. Oh, were you able to successfully face yourself, manager? When I awoke to find myself here, I thought I could, this could be my second chance. I thought I could redeem myself and liberate myself from my mistakes. What I did can never be undone. A sunken pebble can never float to the surface again. I wanted to be a kind person. I wanted to show everyone that I might be okay here somehow. Was I truly being considerate of others? Silly me, <laughs> there's no room for something like that here. I was a hypocrite, all those nice acts were for myself. I'll keep trying to be a better person even now. It may be precious, and some people may hate me for that, but as long as my efforts can save a person's life or give a person the cons consolidation they need, I will live on with that pride as a stepping stone. So manager, let's keep trying together in this in interminable hell. Oh, I want to cry. Look, it's Carmen. Carmen reveal. Pat the small hod. The dangers of not gatekeeping. True. Fair warning. Some of the dial dialogue's broken. Some need mods to fix bu bugs. Okay. A, a has a had her pegged as a rat. She mo the moment she entered. I wouldn't. I, I think that's a. I, I don't want to say it's like a harsh way of saying it, but I think that's a bit of like a. I think A made their assumptions about her pretty quickly that she was quite a weak person, and that like if she was like she would she would be like the weak link. Like if if there was pressure put on her from an outside source, she would break. So like that she's not a very strong person. I think that that was the assumption that A made, and I think that unfortunately she was. I think. 
yes fair enough i think yes she is a rat but like i think saying it that way is a bit harsh because i think that it was likely that she just was scared and didn't know what to do and yeah that's why it's sad the hope to be a better person is hard oh question michelle reminds me of the goblet of fire scene with dumbledore <laughs> which one <laughs> That's such a random reference. I love it. Carmen Corporation from the Botany Corporation. I wonder if is C Carmen? <laughs> is all I'm wondering at this point. Anyway, Michelle's right, Michelle. Hmm. I wonder because I, yeah, I don't. I don't see it being a malicious thing at all. But at least I'm not a physical representation of characters' pasts. Oh, so today Shiloh is hard. Got it. Okay, so they're like representative. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Yeah. So hiring her in, obviously. Carmen was the type of person that wanted to support the people, whereas A was more like looking for people, like looking at her going, she's not going to last long. Yeah, plus she's young. Yeah. He maybe could have persuaded her to leave or something. Absolutely. I think that it was more that Carmen was the one that sort of pressured to keep her there. Okay, next. While humanity prospered with its advanced civilization and technology, it was not aware of its impending suicide as a species. They needed a hero, but ended up beheading said hero with their own hands. A lot of things happened, and a lot of things changed. A changed himself from a healer to a creator. Oh, A. Sorry. I was like, a changed himself. I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, right implies that she enjoyed them. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, she was more of a weak link. I, no, I agree. Let me just pull that back. A, a lot... Oh, a lot of things happened, a lot of things changed. A changed himself from a healer to a creator. The old promises he had made with her sustained him ever- Sorry. Evanescently? I think that's what that says. Oh god. There's a bit more. Okay. But in a world without her, they ultimately became obsolete. Various sins sprung up from his arrogance one by one, and A changed very slowly. He became enchanted by the shadows he had created. A plan to discover the disease of mankind became a relic of the past. He became a skeptical man, including himself. As A started looking for something that would guide him without turning against him. The conclusion was very simple. While vile humans could not be trusted, the answer lay in machines. Machines which A loathed deeply became essential to him. Perhaps A wanted to have wings that would allow him to escape from the hellish inferno he had trapped himself in to reach the heavens. Angelos. That was how I was born. Oh! Angelos! Ooh. If Carmen was here, she'd laugh so hard at seeing the two of us talking like this. I mean, we've never really talked to each other before. After all, I was here because I trusted Carmen, not you. I hope this will bring Carmen back to life. <laughs> we couldn't save her. It was a result that I had been expecting from the very start. I couldn't answer his last words because I didn't want to desolate the only hope he had left. That was my selfishness, believing that he would at least be happy in a fleeting dream he could not wake from, lying in restless sleep. Oh, So, I totally failed on that encephalon experiment of mine, seeing as I'm facing you right now. I'll have to check out another way next time. Don't worry, I'm just kidding. Don't peep a word of this to Miss Angela or the other separat. They'd have a field day. I hope treatment is needed for a while because my parts were full of encephalon. It'll probably be tough bit painful too. To be honest, I didn't want to wake up ever again. It's been a while since I've had such a long sleep. But somewhere deep in my flickering consciousness, someone called out to me. That familiar yet unfamiliar voice said this. No, you cannot. Here, you must ask my permission for anything, even for death. And then you saved me. Open my eyes once again here where we stand, sadly. This place will never be safe. It's impossible even if everyone tries. Well, there is something to get out of all this. It's to try and live. Even though life is full of pain, if I have to find and hold on to even the tiniest speck of possibility, if that's what you and the voice wish for, I can't help but give it a shot at living up to your hopes now, can I? Oh, Nazak! From the get-go, I had no respect for you, you know that. But for the first time, I think that maybe it was me who called you. You came to ruin me, but also save me. Oh, no! I think we're both in similar situation. We're both caught up in the karma of the past. I'm not the one who has changed. It's you, manager. You're the one who's finally starting to see clearly. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, 
I love him. Oh my god. Netsack. Oh. <laughs> oh my heart. That genuinely fucking hurts. The fearlessness to keep on living. I love him. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart. That's actually so sad. That's so sad. Monster energy, which is oh see, I've got relentless today. So not not it. Give Nets a napkin. <laughs> oh yeah, the will to stand up straight. Monster energy on his chest. Oh my god. Wasn't there a place where it was illegal to die? Oh I don't know. He is leaking a little bit, yeah, but that's because he's got a load of Enkephalon in him, so. We'll see what happens. But oh wow, he's such a great character. It feels like the Yi Sang speech for me. Do you know what, Pat Pond? That's actually a great comparison. I would agree. I would say that like that's a kind of very similar journey where like he's come out of the other end of it and he's like he's like he originally wanted to die so he could be free and now he's actually found something to try and live for and he's gonna try. And I'm just like oh, <laughs> oh my heart. At least he can at least clean his casing. Well yeah, but he's just he's just shown us. Just give him a minute. He's leaking. He's full of encephalin. He's gotta he's gotta he's gotta have a minute, you know? Wow. Oh, I don't know which one's my fave. I do love Netsack though. Oh my god. My heart. I'm actually genuinely like, Ugh. Okay. Let's continue. Are we getting close? Where how much do we have left? Where are we? Oh, we still got quite a lot left. Oh, oh we got all the way to day 50. Okay, sweet. <laughs> oh god, this could be three streams. Oh geez. Okay. Let's see how we get on. You just like me for real. Oh man. I love it. Oh. Let me go back. Are you hoping to turn back time for the things you've longed for? After all this, even if you turn back the clock, do you really think your regrets can be so easily washed away as if nothing happened? I want to go home. Sister, we probably aren't going to go back to our old house anymore. Try to think of this place as your new home. How can you even call this place home? It's too different from our real home and there is no mom. Well, what if we said Carmen was our new mom then? No! This isn't the same at all! Let me go home, please! Oh god. Enoch, why do you keep trying to participate in those weird experiments? You know we don't have to! Besides, Carmen told us we didn't have to worry about anything here too. Oh my god. Of course, it'd be really fun to spend time with you here without a care in the world. Sometimes I imagine a future like that. It would be a very happy one. But how would we be able to find meaning in our lives there? Oh my god, this is Tipperet 1 and 2. There are children abandoned in the outskirts who are dying every day. We were only able to live on thanks to the unexpected turn of events. Settling for simple comfort in this place is not what I was born to do. And it shouldn't be either. Your words are too hard for me. Why do you have so many thoughts on your mind? They say too much thinking might make you a weird person. <sighs> You know, Lisa, I think I've always been sad. I never loved my own life for even a second. How nice would it be to live in a happy world next time? Enoch, are you hurt? No, it doesn't hurt one bit. Please don't be sad. I know something good will happen next time. It seems you're awake. You are in Lobotomy Corporation and I am the one who woke you. The both of you are Tiberet. You will be working as my assistant, helping me with amazing work from here on out. Why do we have the same name? Because there is no point in distinguishing between you two. Hi, nice to meet you, Tipperette. Oh my god. I keep making silly mistakes, Tipperette. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'm sure you'll be fine on your own pretty soon. Oh god. Oh god. We made it so far. The other Sephiroth wouldn't dream of working this fast. We might even be better partners than we thought. Yeah, I think so too. I wonder why do we exist here? Why do you worry about that? We're part of the Central Command Department and we're sitting on a mountain of work to do. We just need to focus on the task at hand. We're radically different from the normal machines. I think about you and you think about me. We both ponder about things, feel pain, and recognize our own existence. There must be some reason for it. Be careful, Tipperette. If Miss Angela finds out you're wondering about things like that, she won't be happy about it. That's a very deep thinking child. Lady Angela, what will happen to Tipperette? Apart from the fact that his condition is abnormal, his excessive questioning will affect the manager's duties as well. Since this behavior is unacceptable under any circumstances, I'll have to reset him to the default status now. Don't worry, you'll be alright. You are simply going back to your first day at the company. 
But Lady Angela, Tipperet has spent so much time with me. You're really starting to act like a child now, Tipperet. Why don't you say your goodbyes then? Though you two will meet again soon anyway. Tipperet! Tipperet, I'm sorry, Tipperet! Why are you crying, Tipperet? I'm sorry! I couldn't do anything for you! Please don't be sad. I know something good will happen next time. Yeah. You're here. Sometimes I spend my time here. It makes me think about a lot of things. Ooh. Ooh, this music's cool. Tipred always looked at the world one step ahead of me. He was seeing his own world that I will never come to know. We were always next to each other, but in reality, we were never truly together. Do you know that feeling of missing someone, even though they're standing right beside you? I don't care at all about the meaning or purpose of existence that Tipret talked about. I just wanted the two of us to happily stay here together. That was all. But this place won't allow us to even have that small luxury. There are countless of Tipret's dead bodies piled up here, can't you see? I'm standing here stepping on their remains. Trampling over all the memories, reminiscences, and times I spent with Tipret. I'm standing on the top of it right now, but I still don't get it. I still can't reach the world Tipret saw. I sing the song of our hometown and mourn for Tipret, even though this will never reach him. Care to join me? Tipret, what are you doing here? I'm just reminiscing on old memories. What memories? The good old days when we were together. You're right, we had lots of fun together. Come back to me soon, Tipperet. I'll be reading the rest of the report. I will. Ooh! You can replace the machine and transfer the key memories all you want, but that still won't bring the Tipperet I knew. Does that really matter, though? Tipperet will continue to smile at you, and he'll spend time with you just like before. Kindly refrain from bringing up such wasteful matters, Tipperet. It's completely meaningless here. This music is so eerie. Oh my god. I don't really like you. The new manager would always have some kind of influence on Tipperet, and that would eventually lead to yet another breakdown. It will be the same, time and time again. We will discard Tipperet again and again, and he will stray further and further from what he used to be. What I'm scared of most is seeing Tipperet burn to a husk, worn down from all those overloads and resets. From now, he can at least look normal and talk with me, pretending to feel nostalgia for the old memories that were forcefully added back. But he's been getting more and more unstable, as a matter of fact. We're simply pumping electricity into a machine that's already teetering to keep it running. You can make as many copies as you want of his body, but he only has one soul. His one and only soul, and look what we've done to it. You, let me ask you a favor. You've been good at doing favors for me so far. You should be able to manage this one. Could you get rid of Tepret permanently? Angela would say that there's a reason for the two of us working here together. She'd say that we are two yet one. But I can handle the central command department all by myself. I proved myself a long time ago. Please let Tipret rest in peace. If I were alone from the beginning, before it gets any worse. I can't respond. Oh my god. Why aren't you saying anything? In fact, Lady Angela doesn't care about us at all. Whether there's one Tipret or two, whether there's one just become a moving piece of useless scrap for whatever reason, or if one were overloaded and dumped on top of countless other discarded Tipret, left to melt in the storage, she wouldn't care. But you're different, you're supposed to be different. Well, that's a rough favor, yeah. There were many abandoned children in the outskirts. These children were one of many end results of the countless conflicts among the wings within the city. Aside from disease and hunger, the most frightening enemy for the children were the ones referred to as sweepers. Sweepers? The sweepers usually preyed upon the children, but sometimes they would accompany them. Both were worst case scenarios for the children. One fixer of ours was exploring the outskirts and came across those children. We could easily guess why she bothers to report her findings to us. We also figured that she had spent quite a bit of time agonizing over whether to report it or not. Carmen personally asked her to bring the children here. To take two children into the city from the outskirts required an extremely complicated procedure, but no one complained. The two children didn't look like siblings, but they depended on each other even more than siblings by blood do. The girl was easily frightened and wouldn't open up very much to us. However, the boy started to show interest in our experiment. I saw it in his eyes. He had already seen and experienced so much of this world's despair and misfortune. His eyes no longer looked like those of a child. Please allow me to participate in the experiment, he said. 
Carmen spent many nights thinking about his earnest request. Then finally, we... Approved his participation. Where did we want to go while holding a child's hand? Oh shit, wait, I think that was the wrong voice. Oh no, it wasn't. Oops, sweepers are very dangerous, so they're new. What? Oh. Where do we want to go while holding a child's hand? You should have been the one to die. Yeah, I should have died. Lisa's vicious mumbling had no weight to it, but I knew one thing. I knew Carmen's answer was sincere. Ever since that day, her wound quietly deepened. Oh, so he died? Oh, that's so sad. So the sweepers, do they kill the children? Are they like, um, what's that movie called? You know, like, is it Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Where like, they like go and like, it's like, I can't remember what they're called now, but they pick up children, don't they? Should we take a look at the Indigo Noon to celebrate Sweeper Awareness Day? What is that? Sweeper's in its ordeal. It's a creature similar to a robot, but it kills people and steals their corpses. Oh, but it does that with kids? Fucking hell, that's dark. Jeez. That is very dark. Sweepers just kill everything on sight. My God. But they appear, appear as an ordeal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, but it's in Ruina. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right. Right. Got it. They sweep the children. Okay. Got you. But basically the kill. Okay. They're an ordeal in this game, but not just kids. Okay. Perfect. Let's Let's stop there. Oh god, yeah, I'm glad they wrecked on that liver. Flippin' heck, that's dark. Oh god. Ugh, that is horrible. Give a tank of red mass on their back. Ugh. Okay, yeah, cool. Jeez Louise, that is dark. I was hard to watch, especially Lisa and Carmen's lines at the end. Oh, it's sad. It's just fucking hell. This game is just fucking sad. Oh. Especially imagine plugging in like. 100 plus hours into it and this is what's happened oh god i remember you eh you were the person with a warm smile hey why did you never go to meet even though you created it but hey surely you already know did you put it on all that work for just a simple vending machine that dispenses soda at the press of a button at the very least you should give it a name I just wanted to say I like your insight in videos. By the way, off topic, we're looking forward to more One Piece. Hey, Vanuka, thank you so much for the dono. That's so appreciated. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that you enjoyed my videos. Yes, more One Piece soon. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be starting watching it by the end of the year. I'm very excited about it. But thank you so much for the dono. That's so appreciated. And thank you for coming in and say hello. Hello to you too. I hope you're having a great day. Um, Rip that one line. I think it's implied that they take the kids to become one of them. Oh, oh God. That's... Oh, 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 okay, so that was, that was Tiff's core. Okay, wait, so I, so I need to do the core suppression. Okay, all oh, right, okay, thank you. So that's, so I need to do Tiff's, do I have that in the Discord? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so that's the last one, okay. Let me bring up Tiff's core suppression, okay. Sorry, I didn't get that. <laughs> I did not get that from that, right. That makes sense. Oh my god, 26 minutes long? Flipping heck! Tiff! Is this one quite hard? Are you actually watching? Are you actually fighting Tiff though? Oh god, the music, I forgot. Ooh. Are you actually fighting Tiff though? Or are you fighting like which Tiff Breath? Good night now. Good night, Banuka. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. And thank you for the donor. That's so kind. Okay. Oh. I do not remember Tiff's gimmick. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't visually doesn't look any different. Welcome to your first mandatory midnight ordeal. Oh, okay. So Tiff isn't hard, but it's long, but it's easy. Okay. There's no gimmick. So you're fighting. So it is the female Tiff, though, that you're fighting, I'm guessing. You have to survive a midnight ordeal. Oh. D oh, whoa. What is that? Oh, God. Look at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Wait. Hers doesn't. Oh, wait. What? Wait. Is that Tiff there? Why? It looks like a cross. Wait, what? It looks. Is, is this Tiff here? Tiff's gimmick was removing meltdown immunity. Oh, okay. Go deep into the day. Usually never let it get that far. Oh, right. Okay. The last full day. Interesting. The one This one made me mad because sometimes I had small brain and got my good employees killed. Oh, no. Dang. No, she's it's she's on the top most. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, what the hell is this? It looks like a cross. She's on the top floor. Okay, let's see if it goes around. Let me, let me see if I can spot it. 
Oh, here? What the fuck is that? Jeez, that doesn't... Well, that doesn't look like a tree. More of a bush. That's so weird. Yeah, that definitely isn't a tree this time. Yeah, you don't get to walk through Sentry's Force. You to go to 10pm. Ah, okay. The lady, but she'll show next. Okay. Yeah, so Tiff's this one. Yeah, not a tree this time. Oh, I wonder if that's just the upper separa that are the tree and everyone and the rest of them are going to be different. You can just see... The, oh, wait. I, well, I want to see some of the quotes. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the quote. I like seeing the quotes because I feel like it gives me an insight into the character. So I want to see... Where the frick are the quotes? There is a lack of quotation. The quotes were coming up before. The song's just sad. Oh, she's on the pile of the other tips. Oh, so she's the one at the top on the pile. Got ya. Where? Oh, there's... I, I, oh, here you go. Don't stand there looking... Oh, there. Oh, never mind. She just looked like a tree. Never mind. Yeah, there's the roots. Okay, never mind. Been there looking at me. Don't stand there looking at me with something. Ooh. I feel like I need to find, like, a thing that'll tell me, like, all of the quotes. Forsaken murder. Oh, wait. This song, Tipperette Sturge. Every containment unit is something. That's a cool design, though. I like it. I think they're mo modded out. No, there is some. There's just they're not as they're not coming up as frequently as the other ones. Or whoever's made this video is really doing a good job at dodging them. This I hope this performance of the song will appease our soul. Oh, oh wait, there was another one. Appease our soul. This song to Brett. Okay, see if there's any more. Don't think so. The struggle at the climax. That is top of the mountain of corpse of the, of, the, of its brother. Departments whose bosses complete meltdown immunity. Tiff removes that and forces you to go to max meltdown level, which means surviving an extra long day, but it's easy enough. Okay. All the quotes are on the wiki. Okay, cool. I'll include that in the... Um... Oh, damn. Okay. I'll include that on the uh, the video where I look at the OSTs. I think I'll include them because I think that'll, that'll give an insight. All right, let's have a look. Oh, there it is. There, spider bird. That's so cool. Okay. Let's see. The fuck is that? Ooh. Here we go. Is this really worth it? Oh. Okay. Person getting the midnight ordeal. Yeah. Take a look at the midnight. When the midnight... That's one of the midnight ordeals. The thing that rotates later around. Oh. Okay. Okay. Getting green one. Never saw a red dusk ordeal. Oh. What could, oh, the fight the midnight. That's green midnight? This? Shit. Okay. Well, there you go. They, they, that's what that is. I don't know what... The, what it, that looks crazy. So wait, if anyone stood there, did they just get hit by that? Every containment unit is under my reign. Ooh. I hope this performance and song will appease you. Midnight was a hell. <laughs> that looked proper nasty. I'm not going to lie. I've just realised. I've I switched it back. Wait a minute. <laughs> there. <laughs> this thing. This is it. It's the big laser. That's just yeeting everyone. Song to press Sturge. Basically kills anyone? No! Oh, that's rough. But Green Mind Knight's the least dangerous one. Flipping heck. That is kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. That is kind of terrifying. Okay, right, let's continue. Right, we're on day 33 now. Okay, that's... Yeah, so we've... Yeah, we've still done it right. Okay, perfect. Um, You need to move everyone in a way, just not get hit. That is terrifying. God, Midnight Deal is the reason we do not recommend <laughs> That is why I <laughs> got you. Okay. Oh, I always hate God Delusion. Oh. If you do your management right, the abnormalities probably aren't going to breach. There's no combat or deal. Solve that problem by throwing enemies at you anyway. Bloody hell. Oof. Jeez. All right. Okay, let's continue. So we're on day 33. No worries, Riku. I remember you, eh? You were a person with a warm smile. Hey, why did you never go to meet it even though you created it? Hey, saying something. But hey, surely you already know. Did you put in all that work for just a simple vending machine that dispenses soda at the press of a button? At the very least, you should give it a name. There is nothing I can do even if you put on an expression like that. It's an unspoken rule that the creator names the creation. Don't dump your job on someone else. You're the designer. Go ahead and tell the machine its name. There, the door over there. Oh, didn't give it a name. Oh, whoa! 
Is there? Ooh, ooh! Is this? Is this the bunny? This is Heathcliff has a skin based on this, right? Is is this from? Are they from another another corporation? Is this? Is this the one? Is this? Is this what it's based on? I hope so. Rabbit Heathcliff. Yeah, Arcourt Rabbit. Yay! I recognised it. Perfect. I didn't know it's from Arcourt, but yeah. <laughs> Hello, rabbit lady. What's the voice for rabbit lady? Do we have a voice or can I just do whatever I want? Ah, go! <laughs> rabbit, woo! Rabbit! <laughs> okay, cool. These are a gameplay mechanic. Oh, really? It's time to graze. <laughs> it's time to graze. Okay, perfect. Any any particular voice or can I just do whatever I want? What should we do? Okay, I've not seen this cutscene yet. Oh, have you hit where you've got to in the game? Uh, think W. She's just this vile. Oh, really? She's a, she has a voice, but that's for another time. Oh, I presumed this was her speaking right now. It's time for do like Otis's voice. Cocky, arrogant, and playful. Okay, give her the voice of a hamster. <laughs> Sassy and done with it kind of voice. Okay, like W and Arknights. Well, see, my W and Arknights though is a bit more like. Okay, wait. Uh, cheery, feral, and smug. <laughs> I love. I love it. I love it. That's amazing. A more serious Don. Okay. Let me, let me see. Okay. Listen, I know Lobotomy Corporation is an important client. Like that? Is that? Do I need a bit more smug? Listen, I know Lobotomy Corporation is an important client. Do what voice you want. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Less held out. Okay. So I'm playing like doing a similar impression to Rabbit Heath. That is not going to happen. That is not gonna happen. Uh, no worries, no worries, I'll wait. no worries, no worries, catch you later. Listen, I know Lobotomy Corporation is an important client. Yeah, good, yeah. Okay, more Tom West. Okay, uh, the second, okay. She talks pretty fast. I mean, I can do that. <laughs> Voice under a helmet. Oh shit. Normally I'd have like a glass. I don't really have anything today. I don't have anything I can, um, that's not gonna work because that's what that's for. I don't think I've got anything I can really use today. I don't, yeah, sometimes I'd like put something on, but I don't think I can, wait, maybe I can. I can kind of mold. Listen, I know Lobotomy, Lobotomy Corporation is an important client. Listen, I know Lobotomy Corporation is an important client. How's that? Don't worry about the helmet muffling. Oh, a seven minute cutscene? Holy shit. We're gonna have a part three. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Don't worry. Okay. Does was this okay? Or do I need shall I leave it? Hand? No hand. Just use your shirt. Well, no, well oh yeah, I could do it that way. Listen, I know it doesn't really muffle it. Doesn't really muffle it. Yeah. Imagine a really angry rabbit. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Cool. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> this is what happens when you get a lag. If you want, you can muffle the voice. Hand does the job. Also, she's more like singing smug. Okay. No portable mask. I actually don't know where that's gone. I don't know where it is. Used to be, okay, that's fine. I'll just do the voice normally. I need Kazu here to tell me if my W impression is spawn because I don't trust myself. Part four, we keep detouring. I know. <laughs> Let's go. Listen, I know Lobotomy Corporation is an important client and all, but don't you guys renew the contract too often? This place is so grimy. It's like a dungeon. I always get a bad vibe. Please hold on for a moment, Rabin Captain. We need to explain what we're doing here to the manager. Oh, he still doesn't know who I am? Go on and explain it quickly then. This must be the first time you'll participate in a meeting with an outside party manager. As was mentioned a few times prior, our company has initiated contracts with some of the other wings for sustainable development and business opportunities. It is my job to renew those contracts with our associate wings when the moment arises. All that is needed from you is to be our token manager and present yourself in that role. I shall handle the rest of the formalities and procedures. Pfft, associate wing? What's with that boring introduction? You may feel free to provide a more detailed information at a later time in private Mio. For now, let us start the meeting. Speaking of, would you be so kind as to remove your helmet, at least for the duration of the meeting? You're kidding. The helmet is the whole identity of the rabbits. Well, fine. Oh shit, it is W! Holy crap! Holy shit, that is W! What the f- That's literally W! <laughs> what the hell? Just freaking put the- the- <laughs> Holy crap! What the hell? <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, I was not expecting that. This is now my canon Arknights crossover. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna have to send this screenshot to Kazu and be like, uh, turns out W's in <laughs> this game. <laughs> this theme's called Crime Lord. I love this theme. It's awesome. My gosh. Arthur Roach, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Let me take a screenshot. <laughs> there we go. I'll have to send that to Kazu. <laughs> it was made by a really interesting. Mio predates W. Don't say anything. <laughs> it's fine. They're similar. They're kind of similar. I love how her hair resembles rabbit's ears. It's cute, isn't it? It's uh, the design's really cute. Not roachy enough, yeah. Like obviously with the other ones, there's more and there's the side things on, yeah. Which game was first? This one, I think. I think so. I gotta brief the content of the contract from my end, right? I mean, ugh, I'm sick of reading this out over and over. You can just look at the contract for a whole damn thing. Do I really have to say it one more time? As I informed you prior, it's part of the formal procedure. I myself have to specify whether or not you agree to the terms again. Still as strict as ever, aren't you? <laughs> Allow me to explain our services first. Company R will provide military support and protection from all external th company threats to Company L. Every branch of Lobotomy Corporation will be included under the term Company L. However, there will be certain exceptions where a branch may not be considered under the designation. Well, I say exceptions, but we're willing to let it slide unless it involves the head or the eye. Company L will provide the energy Company R needs to maintain its operation. This renewal process also includes a prerequisite that evokes, evokes a mutual and continual agreement between Company W and Company L. And let's see, Company L will provide all specialized ammunition utilized for the killing of abnormalities. All rabbit team members will have their memories erased after the completion of their missions. There will be no questions or concerns raised about the peculiarity of the facilities and purposes of this location. And finally, I, as the captain of the Rabin team, will deploy my team following Company R guidelines and assume the role of command for operations taking place in this facility. That should be everything. Look through the ring contract for the finer details. There has been no change in the agreement with Company W. Along with that, the renewal period will be one year, just as before. Yeah, sure, it's one year for you, but okay then. On a side note, can you please do something about the teleporter to make the process a bit smoother? Feels like my body's been taken apart piece by piece and thrown out the window. I am afraid you will need to ask Company W about that. It's out of our control. Hmm, Gabora, why do you have such an expression? Why are little bunnies being let out of their cages and dispatched here of all places? You must really not know a thing if you're looking down on the rabbits. It's already been concluded that the rabbits are the most fit for honorable task of slaughtering in this place. <laughs> the rhinos would most certainly smash this entire place beyond the recognition of rhinos. And the reindeer, with the exception of the machines that work here, would cause irreversible damage to Mr. Manager over there. <laughs> Miss Angela made it explicitly clear not to hurt or affect the manager. I'm sorry, but... I understand all the references! <laughs> it makes me happy! Rhino Mersol! Reindeer Ishmael! <laughs> I love it. You can see how Corp Heath does in Limbus. You'll know how powerful the, the mercs are you hire. Uh, to be fair, I've got him. So he does do very well. So it makes sense. Hate W Corp. Hate W Corp. She got me whacked. <laughs> we don't talk about. I love interconnected. It's so cool. It's so cool. Like when you know the references, it's awesome. <laughs> We always pay special attention to our client's requests. I'm not talking about your damn rhino or deer. I'm saying that we can handle our own problems. We don't need any outsiders to interfere. What's that? What can you do with that flimsy tin body of yours, huh? You seem much weaker than us now, can't you see that? If you were like how you once were back in the day, then maybe it'd be a different story. <laughs> But look at you now. As soon as you set foot into the back streets, you'll be torn limb from limb by those sweepers. <laughs> the old days when you shredded everything before you into a red mist is now lost to the past. Things have changed. You should realize that. If I wanted to, I could tear up a tiny rabbit like you in seconds. Please, everyone, we need to focus on the topic at hand. Gabora, our agreement with the rabbit team is to help us be prepared for the worst. Case scenario that would be beyond our own abilities. I'm certain that you have learned from this from your own experiences with previous suppressions. The combat skills of the mercenaries sent to us by a company are on par with those other wings. We can handle our problems in our own perfectly fine. I can prov prove it right here, right now if you want. 
I have complied the statistics. The amount of data is too vast for any person to calculate, with my exception, of course. The reason I continue with, to contract the rabbits is that the risk of involving outsiders pales to the potential of our worst-case scenarios. They're worth every penny. However, the rabbits will not intervene with general suppression. Please calm down and analyze the situation reasonably, Gura. That should be all for renewing our contract. Gabora is the one in charge of the basic suppression process. So if you need any advice or help regarding combat, just ask her. Well, that's gonna, not gonna go well, is it? I'm afraid I don't have a single itty bitty question for you. We rabbits have our own way of handling things. Nor do I have anything left to say to you filthy animals. You've done your business. How about you just bunny hop away now? <laughs> Jeez, you're being so harsh to a fellow native of the back streets. You wouldn't happen to be mad at me because I made fun of you earlier, are you? Don't act like you know me. I'm not in the mood for your stupid game, so just shut up. <laughs> I get it now. You're mad because you feel we interrupt your fight, aren't you? Yeah, I don't need any help from the likes of you. Well, it's not like we're here to for a greater cause or some ulterior motive. We just drop by quickly when we're called and vanish without a trace just the same as when it's time. I thought you were just like me, finding joy in the slaughter. But as it turns out, you're just crazy. A complete wacko. We are the rabbits who hop around following orders to find fresh patches of grass, but you're different. You used to know who you were supposed to fight, who your enemy was. You wouldn't believe how shocked I was to find you. I never expected to see the fabled hero like, well, this, and in a drab basement, too. The hero I remember was someone who wasn't afraid of shedding blood to prote protect others with all our might. Please don't tame the fond memories I have of you. All the abnormalities have broken out. Everyone here is done for. Dead? All of them? Probably. There won't be any survivors left. Abnormalities aren't something we can handle on our own. You're in danger too, ma'am. You best escape now. Gabora, I'm going to take a part in an experiment pretty soon. We'll probably see each other again, but just in case, I want to say one thing. Please take good care of Isabel and my little gilly while I'm gone. Are abnormalities able to feel human emotion when confronted with a person of close relation? What choice would they make when faced with such a situation? The experiments seem to have yielded the expected results. Excuse me, Lady Angela, what shall I do with these? There's a blanket and a few feeding bottles left. I have gotten all the results I need from this experiment. The owners are no more, so you can simply discard them. Hey, hey! Did you just sit down or what? I really should be going. Well, I don't think next week we will be on such calm waters. The rabbits will leave now. I'm definitely not the hero. Never have been, and never will be. Um, a what? <laughs> Holy shit! What? Um, uh, huh? Rabbit protocol solves problems, but can eat your entire energy bar as a cost? What is it? Is it just... What, is it like a move that is used in the gameplay? Is that what it is? Rabbit protocol, we get to see multiple rabbits raise the grass. Ah. Please don't end stream before the last Gabora scene. I'll try not to. When is the last Gabora scene? How close are we? Uh, Gabora 5, Gabora 6. Oh, to be fair, we might be all right. <laughs> we may not. We'll, we'll see how we get on. I'll try. I'll try. I'm going to have to hurry. Um, search it up. Rabbit protocol. Okay, wait. Okay. I might, I might, though, if we keep doing this. <laughs> We keep doing this. Oh. Right, rabbit protocol lob corp. Let's have a look. Uh, nothing there versus rabbit protocol. Is that the wait? Which one? Uh, any? This one maybe? I don't know. This one? That look kind of looks like it's using it. Rabbit's meant for suppressing things your agents can handle. Rabbit protocol versus nothing there. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Ooh, nothing. Oh, there, there, nothing there. Okay. Oh, wait, here you go. Yeah, most replayed. Here we go. Oh, damn. Oh, geez. Nothing there is really doing a number on him. Flipping heck. Oh, is these the rabbits? Oh, damn. There's loads of them. Oh. 
Oh, this is cool. Holy shit. They are absolutely annihilating. Oh, look how much... Is that how much health it has? Ooh. Oh, wait. Is this second... Th this is second warning, isn't it? God damn it. I'll have to turn the music off. That's such a shame. Wait, I can turn it down, actually. Wait. Keep it up a little bit. <laughs> I want to listen to it a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, shit. It popped. Ew. Oh, it's become a big thing. We'll get, it should be okay at this volume. It's very, very, very low. You summon them in the department and they sh get shot off from everything else. The gun, everything, and the kill, whatever it is. Oh my god, they're getting killed. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, there's loads of... Right, so they, they basically bring them in when, like, abnormalities get out of control. So you can use them then. Is one of the worst in the game. It, it's, got, it's got so much health. This thing has so much freaking health. Top category. Oh, I got right. Got it. Whoa, there was a, there was a, oh my God. Wait, is that the electric centipede thing? I hate that thing. That thing is the, in the mirror. Oh my God. In the, in the railway at the minute, that freaking centipede drives me nuts. Oh, there's more. Wow. Oh, nearly got him. Oh, why is it saying hello? Is that in the song? Flipping heck. Oh my god, there's more. Wow, this thing ain't... Oh, they got it. Damn. Swarm of rabbits. It's true. There's flipping loads of them. Bloody hell. The raid boss. Oh, okay. This guy is very fleshy. Flipping heck. Complete the mission. We forget everything. Oh, and then they forget everything that they've done. Oh, wow. They steal the area of your choosing friend. Anything from entering or leaving. And they kill any employees inside as well. Right, that's nothing there. Oh, I see. It's coming from nothing there. Human. I know, I was going to say, it sounded really realistic. I was like, the hell is that? That was terrifying. That was cool, though. Oh, it's so cool seeing it. It's so cool seeing that, because obviously that's in Limbus, too. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's awesome. I think it's funny, because most of lefts have nasty mechanics or abilities, but it's just really strong and hard to kill. It's basically a mimic. Right, it's clearly sentient attempts to mimic humans. Oh, so it's like one of those things where like if like a door was shut, it could like mimic a human voice to make you think that it's like a human and then you open it and then you get murdered. Got it. Love that. That's dope. Tries to be a person. That's so cool. That's awesome. The third most powerful. I want to ask what the most powerful is, but I have a feeling that's going to be a spoiler. So I'm not going to ask. Okay, let's continue. Oh, oh, oh God. Okay, they're like, I thought they were dead. I was like, who, who is it? That scared the shit out of me then. I thought they were dead. So this is Carmen, basically. This person is Carmen, okay. I got scared. You can converse with them. Cute. Yeah, the movie, The Thing. I love that movie. I love that movie. Remember they were Christopher and his family? Oh, I see. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it's like The Thing. Oh, the devs didn't give nothing there a death animation because they thought no one could ever kill it. Well, get the rabbits out when you're fine. <laughs> Just wants to be human. That's sad. Okay. Ease up your tension and just close your eyes. Yes, like that. Make yourself as comfortable as possible so that your mind finds itself comfortable too. It tickles, no? <laughs> but just wait. Now fade away without a trace. Feel the water and air during the different seasons inside a different dream and a different body, forgetting and remembering everything. You've already become something. I don't know what it is, but I've already left for somewhere long ago. Please don't look for me. I will no longer be able to teach you. Oh. What? Mr. A, please. I just want to be part of the Kajito experiment. I'm already, I can prove it. The particles scatter across the floor, sparkling in the light. Kill me, please. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Just as you commanded, I've written up the job application form for our corporation. The reception is good. Everyone thinks that it's a new employment method that does not concentrate on just one's abilities. The number of applicants is projected to meet the initial calculation. The experiments are almost complete. We will soon hire people according to the order of priority you've stated. I've also arranged for a meeting with Time Track. Are you thinking about those who have left you? That's just size down, phase two. Seems you're holding up all right. 
Today wasn't the best day. Incidents happened one after another, and I'm a bit took it out from it. It's a good thing, then, that everyone has such clear-cut assigned roles. It makes it easy for them to be faithful to their task with no unnecessary complex contemplation or distraction. Lady Angela does a very good job at keeping everyone in check in her play. Any time someone tries to rid themselves of their assigned role, well, she becomes completely merciless. I myself have learned well that I have a predetermined role to play. Whether one likes it or not, they have been cast into it already. Given that, I've made up my mind to simply wait. Wait for what, you may ask? All things must come to an end. So I'll be waiting for her plan to finally come to a close. Has she realised yet? No. Lady Angela, I found something strange in the documents. This record shows that the containment unit's lock failure was what allowed the abnormality to escape. Yet to my knowledge, that door was fine for the entire day, nor was there any sign of malfunction. And one with authority over the locking mechanisms of the containment unit doors is you, Lady Angela. Angela, please tell me why did you do it? You have to know how many employees under my department died that day. Such a bright one, Chess has said. I knew you would find out, but this is a little quicker than I anticipated. What do you mean by that? Thanks to your excellent effort, your department's escape ratio has been low these days. You're a capable Sef Sephira, I will give you that. I've never said this to anyone, and I don't need to either, but... Abnormalities create more energy through killing people. How could that be? You have written several reports and papers about importing machinery to replace the human workforce that must handle dangerous tasks, no? If soulless, most, if soulless team machines were replaced those employees, then yes, the casualty rate would shop, drop, uh, drop sharply. However, that would drastically reduce our rate of energy production. Lobotomy Corporation operates a massive business. Tasks include meeting the energy supply quota, production of electricity for the city, and business relationships with our various stakeholders, <sighs> stakeholders such as the other wings. We refine energy via the most efficient method available and make a profit. That is the only thing we need to take into account. That's just... How could you be so cruel? Hess said, Any employee who works here is extremely lucky to be hired into one of the wings. Many people fight for a job here every day. There will always be someone to take the place of the dead. What's right do you have to take away their fortune? Huh. I understand that you're a smart one, Hesad. However, why won't you use that intelligence for something more meaningful? It seems you've taken quite a shock to this. But I warned you before, nothing will change from how it is now. Did you think I was joking around denying you? How about you try drinking a warm cup of coffee instead of wasting your time like this? You should savor your relatively high position, better than what the employees go through. Do not forget that we have one singular objective. Owen oh, Hesed. I am the best artificial intelligence that this place have, has, I never clumsily leave trails of evidence behind. So did you enjoy your little detective game? I fucking knew it. Shh. Oh, oh, you sneaky bitch. Oh, oh, absolutely the frick not. Damn. Robots can grow hair? Those are just holographic. No, it wasn't a joke. My, my cat is better than everything is better than Angela. Evil. Evil. Vatey. Oh my God. Hello. Vatey. I did something today. You're going to be very proud of me. Can you guess what it was? <laughs> so sitting around, she's putting the caffeine. Well, yeah, I was, but I think maybe she's putting something in the coffee. Is she putting something into the coffee to deliberately maybe make Hesed not quite as intelligent as they were before? Maybe encephalin, distract them a bit. Something's definitely in the coffee, 100%. Angela equals devil. Yeah, there is defo something in the coffee. He was not cheesed to hear that. No, no. Angela didn't give a damn about what Hesed <laughs> thought. Oh, I really need not to milk these jokes. <laughs> Angela do nothing wrong. Rude. Does it involve bears? No. It's something that you've been nagging me to do every time <laughs> you usually come into a stream. Angela is so kind. <laughs> Angela. Oh, <laughs> rude. I did something, Vaty. Spiking coffee. I don't think robots can consume coffee. Nah. Coffee is just coffee. She just uses good old emotional damage. They hate to see a girl boss winning. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> oh, man. Do you know exactly cup noodles? You'll have to wait and see on Sunday. <laughs> Ooh. And did nothing wrong. Then neither does A. No, A, A, A also does shit wrong. 
Angela did nothing wrong. She's just doing a job minus the empathy. <sighs> Cannot see her. <sighs> we'll have to see. Angela did some wrong. <laughs> she definitely did some wrong. Oh, Angela is the kind heart machine. Everything did ev everyone did everything wrong. I hate the sea. I live in same. Do you know exactly? Did you know that we don't exactly exist like we appear? I wonder how I look from your point of view. I bet it's something distasteful and incapable. Something I would have hated in the past. Let me know when it's time. Good morning, X. Based on your reaction, it seems like the synchronization is complete. I can now tell what moment you're reminiscing by just looking at your expression. I also happen to know that the process always ends with the same expression and tears. You're a prisoner. You locked yourself inside this prison without bars. However, the key has always been in your hands. My role was to correct you whenever you made a wrong decision. Now, I'm quite tired of it. Oh shit, she's glaring at me. I don't understand why you chose to repeat this cycle, nor do I know what kind of results you hope to achieve while slowly killing yourself. Frankly, I don't really wish to know. But in this moment, while you hold the fragments of when you once were A, I would be ever so glad if you stopped this cycle now. I should change my greeting as well. It was getting tedious. Hello, a new A. I give you a warm welcome back to your lobotomy corporation. Fuck, we're A. Are you, are you we're fuck, we're A? We're the A-hole. I'm an A-hole. We're A? So for, so the, so, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, tit. I knew, I knew we were going to be something. I knew we were going to, obviously we were somehow linked. But I didn't quite think we were A. Okay, what? Memory synchronization, right. Shit in hell. The connection between A and X and the player is so amazingly implemented the game. I can write paragraphs about it. I wish it were possible without spoilers. <laughs> it's cool. It's very, very cool. Yes, yeah, so X is A. We're the A-hole. <laughs> Welcome home, A. You so we got memory wiped. Right, you're A, good person. We're, we're not. We don't know. It's They don't know it's A. We are A-hole. <laughs> lobotomy right it makes sense now because our memory is being reset like when like the old lobotomy like things that they used to do uh back in the day where they'd shove that like needle into your nose uh, isn't it that's my course question of the character development for both a, a and separa rewatch and see all the foreshadowing oh man so it was a all along your a cult leader wow i never knew we're getting halfway <laughs> We're halfway there. <laughs> Among Us. I like getting a lobotomy. So A was, you could say, Among Us this whole time. Apparently, yeah. Shit, okay. I mean, I was beginning... To, yeah, I... Okay. Did they ever say if we're the original A or a clone or something? I can't remember. Well, they said that A got killed. So I'm presuming... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Should have read that. Sorry. But I'm presuming that we... Yeah. We're... So we are A, but we're not A at the same time with the player X, and X and A are not the same person. Do we maybe have the soul of A inside of us, potentially? Like these robots? Oh shit, are we a robot? Don't answer my question. Don't answer my question, because that's going to be spoilers. But I'm just wondering if we have like the soul of A inside us. Oh shit. Because that would make sense with the reboots, because the old AIs were getting rebooted, like the Sephirots were getting rebooted and having memory wipes and go back to the beginning and remembering things. So I wonder if we're the same, hence why we can have the memory synchronization. Don't answer my questions. Don't. I might be completely wrong, but oh my god. I'm a little bit scared. Ugh. Maybe your A is nobody. Ugh. Ugh, don't like the noise. Okay. Shit in hell. Oh, we're back to these two. <laughs> oh god. Fucking hell. That's a heavy philosophical question. Okay, cool. We're going to end up we're going to end up having to do a part 3. <laughs> percent we've still got freaking loads to do look how much we've got to cut i've still got loads oh god okay maybe we'll get maybe we'll get to like day uh where should we go to i was gonna say day 40 is still gonna take too long okay all right all right okay we'll go for a little bit longer um where's the best point we could stop at for the next time uh We'll keep we'll keep going a little bit longer. Maybe we'll do like day thirty seven. Yeah, maybe we'll do do day thirty seven and maybe stop at day thirty eight. Oh, that's where that last Gamora one it what is. Cause that, yeah, and then we'll say because some of these are really long at the end. These ones at the end are super long. Oh, I can't even. Some of these are quite long. Ooh, okay, 
I say day 45, that's, I'm not going to do that in half an hour. There's not a chance. Maybe there'll be a part four. <laughs> Some characters' intros are, so are soon. Maybe see the bottom lady? Who's the bottom lady? What? Canto 5 will come out before we finish this. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We're definitely going to. It's fine. It's okay. Go to Gabora 5 and Chesed. Uh, okay, yeah. We could Gabora 5 and Chesed 5. And then... I'm presuming that's going to be their things, though. And, although Chesed 5 super long as well. Yeah, that's going to... Okay. To be fair, if we do it now... Maybe we'll do Gabora 5. I'm presuming that'll be when we're going to do the course suppression. Maybe we'll watch that course suppression and then we'll stop there and then pick up at Chesed 6. Maybe we'll do that. The last Gaboras, that's going to take me way too long. Like, Chesed is 10 minutes alone. I don't want to I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush through. Do you know what I mean? Okay, let, let's just keep going for half an hour and I'll see how far I get. And then, yeah, soon to meet Hokma. Yeah, just hit play, yeah. Yeah, let, let's let's just go a little bit longer and then we'll see how we get up to. Oh, gonna meet the last three separate for a few questions. Okay, let's let's see. Stop in the middle. Yeah, we'll just stop right here. <laughs> okay. Because to be fair, it's not going to be in the next week. So I've already planned the rest of my streams for this week. So it's going to have to be next week, which is fine. Uh, but it's going to have to be next week that I do this, the other stream. Or it could even be the week afterwards if, if I really want to drag it out. <laughs> I not realise how long these cutscenes were. No, they've really lengthened. Yeah, Geb 5 and Sup is good. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Oh, is always, are they play at the same time? So you have to watch them back to back. Do you not do the fights between? No Hokuma balls. We'll have to save Hokuma for next time. X is much closer to the player than A. X behaves the same as the players because we control it. X is the same thing as player, but now X and player have A's memories. God, that's confusing. <laughs> Don't make us A. But it's like we're watching a movie. Okay. Enoch, have you ever heard of the nest? I hear they throw a festival every single day there. I want to dance, Enoch. <laughs> I want to stomp my feet and let happiness take over my body. Lisa, if you take a bit of time to look around here, it's quite nice too. But we aren't allowed to go anywhere. Carmen just wants to keep us confined here. She's a good person. I hope you'll open up to her soon. I don't want to get to know anyone else. All I want is to be with you. I can't promise to be next to you forever. There's a lot of things that I've been mulling over for quite some time, and I thought I might find some answers for them here. Some of my thoughts may be so absurd that the answers to them might not exist at all. Or even if it's the answers that do exist, they might vanish too soon. But in the process of searching for those answers, I will be able to cast off my shell. Then I can fly away at last, leaving my heavy body behind. Sometimes I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know where you want to go, but promise that you'll take me with you, Enoch? <laughs> oh, A is here, so I guess we gotta go now. It's gonna get dark and cold soon. Let's head inside. Yeah, soon. Soon cold days will come. Even though I never thought of them as family or as something that I needed to care for, I made it my job to bring the children back home to ease Carmen's busy schedule. I see them. Those young kids running towards me. Those children who survived the outskirts. The two we saved. Oh, I'm crying! I thought I could do it all on my own. I wanted to show Tipperet how mature I'd become when he got back one day. But there was no end to the disappointment and Tipreth never got any better. I couldn't stand the silence without an answer. So I thought... I thought that I'd rather... That I'd rather hide my disgusting guilt I was so used to as if the feelings never existed in the first place. But whenever I see Tipreth's em empty smile, my heart feels as if it was being covered in dark ash while shattered into a million pieces. I knew Tipreth could never go back to how he used to be. I was aware that we could never return to the happy days we spent together. But I was about to abandon Tipreth just because it was too hard for me to endure. All while knowing that he was the one who suffered the most. Tipreth, are you done with all your busy work? <sighs> We're going to be late. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. Please hurry, Lisa. <gasps> <coughs> right, my name was Lisa once. Tipret doesn't remember his name anymore, but from time to time he calls me by my cast-off name. What did Tipret want out of all of this, even after sacrificing himself? What was he waiting for, even when he was being discarded? Was it all worth it to him? I don't know. 
I've never, ever held any expectations in my life. But I'll try counting on you now. I want to believe that there's a reason for every sacrifice that was made, and to know that eventually everything will be okay. Oh my, oh my heart! B stands for bunghole. <laughs> Because you haven't got it yet. A is the first letter of his name. No, his actual name. I, I, yeah, I kind of, I kind of got that. I appreciate it. C is Carmen. I thought C might be Carmen. Well, I thought A could be Angela. So I was like, ooh. Different lesson, like, yes. The expectation for the meaning of existence. Oh, the bow. Oh. Wow. That's sad. That one, that one really hurts. Because obviously they're children. And like, as well, like, Enoch clearly sacrificed himself. But we don't know... Why? I'm presuming it was to save Lisa in some way, but yeah. And obviously we didn't know what they went through and they were on the streets for a long time. It, oh God, that one is, that one is heartbreaking. That sucks. X stands for xylophone. That's definitely their name. I had wanted to free myself from the pain, but I realized it was impossible. It was only recently that I found my answer. It is that I have to accept the pain as something I've borne from the beginning. Then I can be set free. Manager, if you are suffering too, just take in the pain and accept it. You don't have to keep changing things if it's too hard for you. I know you want to keep pressing on in any way possible. You felt lost and scared for the present, so all you could do is blindly trace along the way through the dark. I admired such determination at first, but now you look so pathetic. How long do you think you can keep this up? Will you ever make it to the end? I don't know, Angela. I don't know. B stands for Mr. Beast, Defo. It's nice to see you again, eh? I hope you enjoyed your trip. Did you know that a lot has been happening while you've been gone? God, this music is amazing. Honestly, it wasn't so hard to keep the company running while you were absent. If you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask them. I will answer them without hesitation. What's happening outside? The head and the eye still watch us through their arbiters and gaze gazes. The wings are still flapping towards their sun, not realizing their feathers are of wax. Icarus. Our other company branches still provide a steady supply of energy without major incidents so far. In the back streets, the likes of sweepers and fixers live out their lives tangled in vomit and waste, unraveling their sickening tales. Those who live in the outskirts are still crying out to break into the city. Meanwhile, those within the city are throwing their lives away, just to be part of the wings. Yes, the world hasn't changed at all since you left, peaceful as ever. Once in a while, I will take a moment to look outside. The world still remains so stagnant and unchanged. It's as if the flow of time here were futile yet not. Even impatience wanes away. How many cycles have we gone through so far? How many times have we repeated this script before? It's natural for you to be curious, but numbers are of little importance to us. Let's just say the number is far too vast to ruminate on. Moving forward, what's going to happen? There are still numerous tasks you must do. Things that no one else can. Unfortunately, we don't have much time left. The sands of the hourglass will begin flowing to the bottom soon, a countdown. As you have already experienced, there have been many countdowns in our world. Spurred for both destruction and new beginnings. It seems I tend to smile more frequently during these moments. Oh yes, let's just say the smile is because I'm so happy to see you again. There are still things you haven't realized yet. Let me give you a little hint. For what reason did you go through all the trouble of making this monstrous and horrifying prison? In time, I hope you will be able to find the answer to that on your own. I cannot help you with it, otherwise this place would lose its meaning as a prison. Soon you will meet with all the separat of the lower layer, those who play the crucial role in the headquarters of Lobotomy Corporation. I don't think you need any sort of explanation regarding them. However, let's make one thing clear. They have truly missed you while you were gone. Ooh, mate. Ooh, dude. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm presuming this is the lower layer. What the fuck is this place? Oh, these look like the talismans, kind of. What the hell are these? Well, we've seen... Wait, we did kind of see one of these before in um, uh, Tibereth's course expression. There was like a big tablet. We could stop here and be perfect. Oh. Interesting. The lady. Mommy. Bottom layer, here we go. The place where everyone knows your name. Oh. Well, annoyingly, I could still go for about 25 minutes. So, I think we should at least maybe do this. Well, I think we, we, I think we should do the plan, which is go to... 
Gabora five. I think that's fair. And then do the course pressure and then we'll stop there. But at least getting teased a bit on what this is about is good. Her voice is stoic yet sadistic. She will explain them, I believe. Okay. Best girl who does nothing wrong. Interesting. When does the company stop? There's a canon voice, but head canon is a French heavy German accent. That would be cool if I could do that accent, but I can't, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, Gabora five is good. Okay. Um right so stoic yet sadistic go for another three hours i can't i've got i've got plans i can't i can't do that unfortunately i wish i could but i can't because this is great and we're not gonna be able to do this for a week so i'm like Ugh. um right so what <laughs> 24 hour love course at that point i should stream the game no don't separate jeb and chesa do you need to watch them back to back yeah but i need to do the core suppression anyway so we might as well and then just leave it there get five goes canonically after chat has had five? Oh. She's calcit but more sinister? Tea lady? Oh, a tea lady. Okay. Um oh what accent? What kind of accent should I do? American, English, too refined for you kind of voice, also airy. Mm. I kinda wanna make it something a bit different because I've got a lot of American accents. She's philosophical yet stoic. Don't trust us arrogant above it all unflinching british okay you don't get a chance to do gabora's meltdown for hezed's cutscene five because gebin always play it one after the other so they can't be separated and oh i see okay okay we'll just do british okay that's fine kind of don't want to make it posh you've returned mm. how about that voice is very surprising but i don't want to ruminate on any further heavy londoner accent I don't, I don't know. A posh English. We've got a lot of posh English. I kind of want to make it a bit more just like a, a normal English. You know, not posh. Posh English is normal English, but... Okay, I'll make it kind of... You've returned. So, did you have fun with your little journey while I was locked up here? Don't worry, I'm not mad with you. Oh, Sorrow, you see, finally I've come to respect you, for I know you will never depart. It's difficult to perceive the flow of time here. Therefore, this eternity has saved me. Have you seen the turbid streams of enormous river that cross the whole city? If you arrive downstream after the raging rapids and serpentine current, you will see a meadow that is enormously broad, also tranquil. That land is bathed with all kinds of mud, sand, trash, and the residuals that have come from the upstream. What is encored by the upstream or midstream finally ends up here, downstream, to bear all the residual. Res sorry. To bear all the residues, that's one. To bear all the residues that to pile up, one would need a strong back that doesn't break easily. I have faced many wells here. I have to draw water every single day, but it seems that the water level never lowers. What is a well? The well is so deep that it would be a hollow affair to reckon its depths. And it is the fountain relic of all humanity that has existed from the ancient times. The water from the well had never flown outside ever. There had only been the small ripples that permeated from the leaves that fall for the winds. Maybe it was an act of generosity towards those that are thirsty, so they may sate themselves. Imagine it was you who made the bucket, but you left the duty of drawing water with the bucket to another. Don't ask for my name. Bina isn't the name of a person. It's a sad name of the place where one finds many graves. Oh, the graves! I'm the one who draws the water. Why have you come here and what do you wish for me to draw? Oh, oh, that's cool. Who else likes tea? I love a good couple of tea. Oh, Georgie will suffer with these word salads. Have already a little bit. Yeah, good. The extraction music. It's a nod. Yeah, it's really eerie. So is this, so, yeah, because you can kind of see like water in the background like here. So is that like water? Because like I've seen in like when I've watched some like, um, um, uh, like dramas and stuff and animes and stuff before um in some cultures they sort of like take water and they pour it over the over the gravestones is it linked to that by any chance or is that something that's very specific culturally and i'm being a little bit unknowledgeable there is there a link with the water and the graves or am i thinking of something different because if i am i do apologize but i'm just trying to make the link it's perfectly comprehensible it's just me not being good at words uh with all translation literally incomprehensible Oh, I see. This is the depths of Lobcorp. So these are the graves of the people. That sounds cool, but I don't know, probably overthinking cool theory. Oh, okay. Um, no. Okay, that's fine. Remember Golden Bows? Isn't that just cleaning? No. Okay, that's fine. Well, no, I think I've seen it somewhere, but I don't know where. 
I'll have to look it up. That's something completely different. Okay, thank you. That's fine. Um, that's really interesting. But Bina is Bina. Oh, okay. Because I didn't know whether or not she was kind of like the gravekeeper. Oh, yeah, we clean gravestones with water from a well and a shaku. Oh, is that? Yeah. I did wonder if it was some, if it meant kind of something like that, that maybe she's kind of like the person that sort of like takes care of them all. But yeah, no, you missed nothing. Bina is just batshit and saying, okay. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. But fair enough, because she's like, I have to draw water every single day. But I wonder if I thought it was maybe to do with that. But it's all very metaphorical. Fair enough. I just thought it was maybe linked to that. Eating time, but what are you having? Bina's cutscenes are like major lore dumps that take forever to get fully explained. Fair enough, right. Is like gaslighting you. Got ya. Okay. We love our philosophical gothic hag. <laughs> oh my god. It's just a metaphor. Right, okay, she's referring to the human mind. Okay. So she's in, traction, in charge of extraction department, not the grave department. Okay, fair enough. Basement grandma. <laughs> she's like the white sage that knows everything and speaks in riddles. Oh, this character. Okay, got you. Basically, Mark Evan, when you own someone, you finish the game. Okay. Oh, read Mac. All right. What is a, uh, what does it mean to draw water? Our labor is bringing the water that is deep within the well to the outside. You never know what the bucket contains when it rises up from the eternal darkness, but I always draw the water with a pulley come what may. You must always stay cautious so that you don't fall into the well. Maybe it was an act of generosity towards those that are thirsty, so that they may sate themselves. It was you who made the bucket. Oh, I like Bina. Can I... Oh, we've got a character designed for B, and they're super cute. Oh, B. Oh. Also, can I just say I actually quite like the voice I did for Bina. <laughs> I like that one. I feel like it's a nice tone. Hag, our beloved. <laughs> oh yes, book it. But Bina and Roshi in the same charge of the same plan. The conversation would be unconscionable. Not for long. No. <laughs> Welcome, A. Eh? I miss you dearly. I have been waiting for you ever since the very first day I started working here. Do you remember this, Ocean? You said that this place is where everything from all rivers and streams will eventually settle. Oh shit, okay. Oh, who is this? Hello! Oh, oh, look at this place! Oh my god, this place looks so fucking cool. Look at the design! Oh, oh my god, sorry. This looks like something out of like Bayonetta or like Devil May Cry. Oh! Voice for Bina was 10 out of 10. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> Bina voice was great. Thanks. Our gay boyfriend. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Who, who this? <laughs> it's the same guy. Is this B but old? Oh, so this is B but older. Okay. Got you. Hockama balls. Oh, okay. Is this what you guys meant? Is stern, right? Okay, but I'll I'll make them a little bit. Why are you all calling him Hockema balls? <laughs> so sad that Carmen died. It is sad that Carmen died. Stern and aged. Well, we'll just I'll just do an old voice. Hocker is like your disproven grandpa. Amazing. I don't have a disproven grandpa, so I'd love one. Is that a biblically accurate angel in the background? It's kind of. Like, usually biblic biblically accurate angels have eyes instead of clocks, but now the clock metaphor is making me wonder if this is somehow linked to Dante, um, because obviously clocks, you know, clocks. So I'm just like, um, but yeah, so now I'm just curious, but there's a lot of clocks in the background. So ooh, I'm wondering what these are, but they, those are the wings. How many are there? Is there six? Is that seraphim? I might be getting that wrong. Two at the top, two there, two there. Seraphim might have eight. I might have got that wrong. It's a biblically accurate clock. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't get the joke either. I'm too scared. Fair. But it's, it's a meme. Okay. Um, but yeah, it looks cool though. But yeah, number four. There's like, I don't know what these are meant to be. They kind of look like rockets, but I don't think that's what they're meant to be. Aside from the meeting like an hour ago and I've finally caught up. Yay, hey, beta squid. How's it going? Be gone. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll just do like an old voice. Like, we're just going to go for Gandalf. Um, the biblically accurate seraphim looks like that clock. It does. Apart from, I think usually it's an eyeball, not a clock. It's a very familiar giant clock in the background. Uh, this is why I'm scared. Ooh, okay. I might just do like, as such, at the lowest layers, everything stinks. I'll just kind of do that. What do you think of this heaven? Painted laboriously white with plaster. I knew you would come here soon. 
please think of it as my welcoming gift to you. I figured that what you long to see may have been something other than what I have become now. Time is like a scythe, relentlessly attempts to trim, divide, and cleave in twain the claps together the hands of those you love. Everyone I had loved is now gone, leaving me a tied on man behind. Please do not blame yourself. Back then were the brightest moments of my life. The only thing I regret to this day is that I was too scared. I ran away without keeping my abiding promise to you till the very end. However, you eventually found me and helped me to fulfill my promise here. How can I ever be more thankful than I am right now? You're just too kind to me, kind to the very end. Oh. Stinks? Think we? Gandalf? <laughs> wishes he could. <laughs> she did a poll earlier, she will. I will, but it, it's probably not going to be today because we're going to end up doing a part three. So. I keep on calling you A, but I think you and our A might have become separate entities now. From the moment you began to have new memories, you both started to walk different paths. I must wonder how the memories separated you from A. Well, even if you two have differences, it is still important for you to witness this place through A's eyes. Why do we repeat this eternal cycle, enduring endless suffering? What's at the very end of the line? What kind of world was it that he saw? The answers to these questions are what you must know. However, the choices you make are up to you, not him. As a consequence of those choices, you may lose it all, or you may gain everything. I'm not trying to control you, I just try to support you, that is my role here. Plus, I have seen many other exes who made it this far, and witnessed the innumerable amount of efforts and failures they made. Now you are here, scrabbling over it all and climbing up. Of course, I have kept all their data in my head, but it is not my place to share it with you. A machine has its own work to do. That is what you, or A, once said to me. Oh, right. We've reached Gaborah 5. So, Lord Corp needs a bath. Oh, so, are we going to leave it here? Or are we going to do... Because I, I can either just do Gaborah 5, and I, I guess I could do Chesshead 5 together if we just do them now, and then I'll finish after that. But we'd have to, we'd have to look at their course pressions next stream. So, do we just do that? Do it plus core suppression. I know, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do all of them. I mean, I could, I could do it very quickly, um, and then we could do the rest of the next stream, and then do the abnormalities. I guess that'd probably be the way of doing it. It's still quite a lot. Of it's one of the coolest suppressions in the game. So either that or end at Chesshead Five. Yeah, either do Cheb Five. I should, do I, why did I call it? Ch I'm doing their ship name, Geb and Chesed, at the same time. Or stop here because they're not meant to be split up. It'll take away a lot from the tension. Um, please do Gaborah's core at least quickly. Only Gaborah needs. Oh god! <laughs> also, when A B W N, we'll do it next stream. This plus the suppression, both no suppression. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of different answers here. Um, okay, right. I tell you what, we will do a quick one minute poll. No. No, let's not do that. Let's just... Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's just do Gaborah 5, Chesshead 5, both as course pressions, and then we'll end the stream there. Let's do that, because I, I can do that quickly. We can do that. So well, let's just do them both. We'll do both course pressions. I think they're in my Discord, and then we'll end it there. Yeah, and we'll do the next stream. Yeah, let's just, do, let's just do them both together, and then we'll do both the course pressions, and then we will end it there. But yeah, just because if I do a poll, we're just going to be here, and instead I could just be doing this. Okay, maybe it's actually better to wait. But no, it'll be okay. We'll do because then we can leave it there, and we'll just do it all together, and then it's good. And then we'll yeah, let's do it. I can I can be it's fine. I'll be a little bit late. It's all good. It's all good. I said I'd push till eight, so if I needed to, but I just I don't want to be super over. She's spoiling us. No, 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 not at all, not at all. You guys are spoiling me. You might have noticed, but we've never had this kind of situation before. Those monsters were supposed to be slumbering away, but now they woke up all of a sudden. There's no need to focus on what caused this. All that matters is that we solve the problem at hand. Let me add a few words before we jump into battle today. I don't need cowards in my department. You should not let complacency waver your mind when you confront the monsters. You must arm yourselves with anger and pure anger alone to crush those monstrous bastards. If you object to any of this, I suggest you transfer departments immediately. All oh, the music! 
I won't squeeze out a tear or mourn over you perishing without even your name being left behind. If you want your body and mind to stay comfortable, I'll kindly drag your ass over to the pathetic welfare team so you can chicken scratch your dishonorable name on the waiting list for department transfers. There's a good reason why my department has far fewer employees than any other. However, I want you to keep in mind that this also means only the best have gathered here. Meeting over. We'll talk more when the situation has been sorted out. Miss Gabor, I think your mainframe has sustained too much damage. Maybe we should suspend the suppression operation for now. Tipereth is investigating the cause of this situation right now, so we should be able to figure out it out pretty soon. I don't need a break. I can still fight. But in your condition... Shut up. I said I can still fight. Oh. I thought Tessa was first because give context for hers since chronologically first. No, Gabor is first. Let's just do it this way because it's it's in it's in order. It's okay. We'll just we'll just do it this way. We'll just follow it. <laughs> Have you considered doing a part two to eager reaction, Limbus? That's true, actually. Uh, no, I hadn't actually considered that beta. I could do that. We could do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Urban night. Oh, I like the song though. Oh, here we go. Oh, beta. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-one ego damage. Seventeen employee. Sorry. Seventeen employees dead and counting. And your body needs five or six parts replaced and repaired. It's not thrilling to look after a machine who behaves like a child in a temper tantrum. However, the Sephiroth of the middle layer apparently could not keep you on a leash, so here I am. You! Oh, poor little thing, look at yourself. There was a time when I had a pinch of admiration for that fire in your eyes. But even now, that is, that is smothered even with iron madness. It is such a shame that both of us are locked up in this dungeon. However, I did not bend over or break my back at the very least. I imagine we will no longer have to face off with our lives at stake and be at each other's throats, like in the past, but... I will say this for you, pitiful thing. Stare directly into the object of your anger. The edge of a blade that has lost its way will be unthankably blunt, but there will be nothing but the void to slash, no matter how much the blade has sharpened. I hope you don't think I get some kind of satisfaction out of this, seeing my once earnest rival now looking as pathetic as a dog. I have decency, you know. Cutting, slashing, throttling, trampling, destroying. Sometimes I remember the faces of those who showed me true kindness. If I could get the smallest taste of revenge upon those monsters who saw their smiles, their happiness, their future, my sword and spear would never stop their flurry. I see people dying in my blurred vision. They're always torn apart by monsters. Those dying faces differ from time to time. Sometimes they're strangers, sometimes ones I dearly miss, and sometimes I see Christopher or Miss Isabel. Whoever they were, I'm filled with agony for them. Looking at my paralyzed leg and my severed arm, I scream and curse my weak body in a fit of rage. Then I black out. I'm so sick of this darkness. It is impossible to fight with such low manpower. I cannot approve your proposal. Please reconsider. Why should I approve an operation that will so clearly end in failure? If manpower is the issue, I can make up for it. If they're too weak, I'll make up for that too. There's nothing in the rules against a separate utilizing ego too. If you so wish, then I won't stop you. A, fam a familiar grip, the right way in practice form. This feeling is so distinct that it pulls me right back into the right path, away from the straying to wander, just like a road sign. I completely lose track of time when I wield my weapons. It was kind of funny to see Tipperhead and Chet Hesse with bewildered faces when they witnessed me return from the battle covered in blood. No matter how hard I stab and break those monsters, they will recover sooner or later. Some of them wail and others scream. In battle, I also fracture and break some of my components, but those are soon replaced and repaired. What a perfect little hell just for me. Missing your arm? Here it is. Think of it as a respectful gesture to a fellow warrior to leave you with one of your arms intact. I doubt she expected this, a tragedy she would bring here caused by oh so great ideology of hers. I don't know if it will ease your pain, but this happens quite often, more often than you may think. This is no less common than, say, a little seedling getting trampled to death. I must admit that you're quite the tough sprout, however. You even managed to thwart my plans a little. I never expected you would kill two claws, stop all the monsters and finally come to face me and give me a fair fight. By the way, about those monsters, I cannot deny that they're astonishing things. Even after plowing through a hallway of your friends, they never softened or nor tired. 
It seems you aren't much different from them now that I ponder on it. All right, then. If you can still manage to hold a weapon and stand up with your own two feet, then come. Come at me. I don't know who that is, so I don't know. I will not be broken. If I can't get rid of these damn monsters, I'll destroy the whole company myself instead. Oh my god, the music's amazing. Then finally my aimless wrath can crumble within and rest beneath the earth forever. Among many of the fixers of the back street, she was one of the few who could go toe to toe with the head of the claw. She was called the Red Mist among the back streets. Denizens. That was the name she earned, protecting us from all kinds of threats and maneuvers from the outside. Michelle's betrayal led to the eye to the den where we hid in, and then the head mercilessly threw the claws at us. Instead of dealing with the Red Mist directly, the ever cutting head unleashed an unstable abnormality to slaughter us. The abnormalities were out of control, tearing apart our comrades who screamed in agony. All the while, the claws sniffed out their prey and snatched it. The whole situation was beyond what she could handle by herself, but she gave it everything she had to protect us. Oh my god! She lost an eye, one of her arms was severed, and she had numerous deep scars all over her body she could no longer heal from. Yet she didn't give up. And eventually, her efforts saved B and I from death. Collect her corpse? Oh my fucking god! So this is what Hod's betrayal led to. It led the claw to find us? That kind of looked the red mist ring a bell. It does ring a bell, but I, is it, when was it mentioned? Is that, that was meant, oh, when was it, it was, wasn't it mentioned in the context of like the current active groups? Sounds very familiar. But the cooler Verge, oh, I'd love to see a fight with them and Verge, holy crap. I'm guessing, were they a, were they a colour fixer? Was she like a colour, colour fixer? The cadaver demonstrated the horrendous, unbearable situation she went through. The red gaze? Red is... Oh, Vigilis inherited her colour? Oh, I see. Oh, so, the, oh, so there's only like one colour of that? F oh, I see. I thought like there were just different... Yeah, so she was a colour fixer, yeah. Right, but there's only one of each? Oh. Right, so the new fixer holds the- so she was the previous- she was Verge, Verge's predecessor. Oh! Damn! Right, was the red right, okay. Um, but... So- oh, I see. About fixers and- yeah, they do mention it in, in Limbus. I don't know if they mentioned it- it sounded really familiar. But maybe it's the claw that was- there was something mentioned about the claws, I'm sure that was mentioned in Limbus. I might be wrong, but I thought there was something mentioned about like, like an active group or something. So every colour fixer is a unique. So there's one red, uh, one black, and there was another colour. One... I don't know what the other one was. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. They use less common colours, though. Yeah. So so Vigilis is currently the red. Red is the strongest one. Got ya. But they got defeated by whoever that was. I mean, that kind of looked like... So th they got defeated by this person. They look... That, that isn't... Is that them? Is that B? Yeah, that's Bina. Right, so they got defeated by whoever Bina was, also became part of the company. Interesting. How the... Okay. Interesting. Okay. Virgil sucks better. Virgil is an angel and I will hear no slander. <laughs> Who could that be? Well, I think that's Bina. <laughs> so, ooh. Virgil will get destroyed by Geb. Flipping X. So, however, so this person must be insanely powerful. Damn. Nothing is known about the claws. Okay. Fair enough. Wasn't Damien a colour? I don't think Damien's a colour, no. Damien's not a fixer, is he? I don't think so. Give more context, okay. Collect her corpse. So this is... right. Um, oh. After a long time had passed, her eyes opened again. However, her anger that had lost its focus dragged her down deep into the bottom. We had to reboot her many, many times. Shit. Right, question. Do I do the core suppression now? Are we doing it? Should we do it now? Because I'm guessing you do the course. Because do you do the fights or do you do the fight after both? Past Bina, yeah. Damien is. Yeah, I was gonna say Damien isn't a fixer. No, Damien's not. Damien's just blue, but Damien is just Damien. Damien is a mystery. Who knows? But yeah, do we do core suppression now? Yeah. Okay. Let me grab it. Okay. 
Makes sense, because then we're kind of keeping it together, aren't we? Right, uh, duh, 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 duh. chess heads, here we go. Nope, that's the wrong one. Gabora, it's the second one I need. Oh, so you've, oh, you've popped it this way in here. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I think this is Gabora's. 29 minutes, flipping heck. Okay, bloody hell. <laughs> it's a long, this one's a long one. Okay. Right. Let's see. Uh, show me how to actually... Sorry, I missed what that said. Show me how to actually something. This doesn't sound like... Show me to actually actually wield ego. Oh, let me show you how to actually wield ego. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if Vigilis ever wields ego. That's what I want to see. All the music. Wait. Wait, this is different. Oh, replace any body part even if it gets cut off. Oh, rewatch the video when the day starts. Oh, do you mean here? Oh, here? This? Go to the start? Oh, I see. Okay, watch it from here. Oh! Okay. Hello? <laughs> I'm just like, is anything gonna move? Hello? Oh, it's, is it just loading? Music is, the music is second warning, okay. I'm hoping we don't get claimed. It'll be alright. Or it won't, but... Ooh! Ooh, wait, the red! Oh, the way the red's coming in! Oh. Oh. Moving everyone around. Oh, they named someone Tiffany, Oh. The red mist makes her return. Oh, read the start of day description. Uh, the red mist makes her return. Is it in a minute? It's bad loading times. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, was that Gabor over there? Oh, the oh the music is pretty dope actually. The music is nice. Fake. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Like, oh, uh, is she down there? I'm no longer weak like I used to be. I can replace any body part, even if it gets cut off and I can be something. Is she over here? No, that's not her. Where is she? Out of pain. Yeah, suppression is a real boss fight. Oh, God. Survive the red mist. That's terrifying. That's so cool, though, that she's like Vigilus's predecessor. That's amazing. Yeah, I've roided up Red Mist. Oh, so you actually have to fight her? Little Red Riding Hood mercenary? Oh, that's cool. Whoa, that's so cool. What a cool idea. I like that one. Child of the Galaxy? Sick. Yeah, I want to I see where she is. She's running over there. She's running over here. Wait. Oh, God. Wait, so she's at... Oh, there. Oh, the Red Mist? No. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, that's awesome. So she's got she's got the spider one. That's the spider one, right? So she's got spider and what's that one? Is that the one that we saw the abnormality we looked at last stream? Nuggets run! <laughs> no memorizing can save you. <laughs> I love that. Penitence? Yeah. The legend. This is so cool. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, I really want to see like Vigilis. Oh, I want to see Vigilis so much. She used her own ego against you. Holy crap, that's cool. Skull bro. Yeah, the skull one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so she's using the spider and the skull. Oh, yeah, Ryoshi's red eyes. Oh god, and she changes weapon. Everyone's just shiting it. Even the Abno's shiting it. <laughs> she's an Aleph. She's on tip the white point. No, she's an Aleph. Haru, run! <laughs> No, Haru, don't do this. We need the rabbits. Oh, she's taking some damage though. Penitent's red eyes get blown to pieces. The road of gold opens. Interesting, what? The road of, the road of gold opens? Is, is that a golden bow? What does that mean? Oh, whoa, she's reappeared. Stop it. Oh, she's now got like a shooty weapon. Stop it, this is sick. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is actually sick. What the hell? Who, for me, who failed to protect them. Oh, this might be my favorite one so far. This is probably my favorite one so far. Harry Sweep. The rabbits in the fight have different dialogue. Oh, I see. 
two different potential with conditions to defeat her. Got it. Gold rush. Yeah, she's on a rush. Oh, the music is sick. She's telegraphing her egos. There. Oh yeah, so she swapped back again. I'm no longer weak. Okay, let me let me go forward a little bit. Okay. This is I, I like the fact that like she's actually like using an ego. In that that's so cool. Oh god, here's the mist. Ugh. But I love that. It's called Best Girl for a Reason. Oof, I'm just like, hello, cool dog, how's it going? How are you? We're just looking at the core cool suppression for this character. Was this her music? Ooh, it's about, oh my god, what the hell has she done? Ugh. That is creepy. How much missed this morning? Morning. Um, we 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 are finishing up very shortly. Uh, we're currently on Gabora's core suppression. Oh god, there. What is that? Oh, look at the sword. Oh, that's her sword, right? So we're just looking at Gabora's at the moment. Oh my god, this poor this poor person. Oh god, Haru, <laughs> kick off Haru. Let's go. Oh, she's got different weapons now. Yeah, yeah. We're using Yugo far better than any of our agents. Yeah. Oh, that's so sick. I just, I love the fact that she's actually like something you can fight in this. I think that's great. It fits so well to character. That's so cool. Blade. Mimicry. And the fact that she can just swap between the egos so quickly. It's kind of ter terrifying. Whoa. Oh, this looks like a room of death. Nothing will remain. The sword is from... Th oh, it's nothing there. Stop it. You're kidding me. So she's using a super freaking OP sword as well. She those you get you when the phase change. Oh god! Haru! <laughs> this Haru is like their best character. Holy crap. Pop off! Oh, they're using Spider Sword as well, actually. Oh my god, the amount of health that she has. Mimicry's from the thing there. Got it. She's wielding a Zayn level weapon at an Aleph level. Oh my god! That is terrifying. So is this one of the hardest ones? They're getting there with the health, but flipping heck. Hey, by the way, they're still going as normal. So you've oh got the amount of dead, dead characters. Just two weapons. That's not red eyes. Oh, is it not? I thought this looked like the spiders on the on the end of this sword. Not not her sword. This Haru sword. But I'm I'm something different then. Her, her outfit is the go to. Flipping heck. The nugget is not using the spider. Oh, I see. Okay. Fair enough. What's she using then? Oh, is it is it the bird one? Players controlling Haru to dodge attacks, which is awesome. They're doing a very good job. But Haru has stayed. It's called Twilight. It's another ego. Okay. It's one of the five, five hardest challenges in the game. Oh, she's popped up again. Oh, she's got spears. She's a scythe, another Aleph level weapon that can basically cut souls out of random minds. She's the hardest. Yeah, it's not the spider. Okay. Flipping neck. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, wow, she's got like a hammer thing. Whoa. Oh my God, that weapon is sick. I need, oh my God, I need, I need Rodius to have that weapon. <laughs> I need Rodius to have that weapon. Holy crap. Smiler, welcome to Justice the Hard Level. Flipping heck. Oh, I love this weapon. I want Rodia to have this. Oh, imagine Rodia with this whole skin. I need it. She just, that was, was that rabbit team? This phase, three phases? Ugh. Was that Rabbit Squad? Did Rabbit Squad come in? I didn't see them. The Apocalypse Bird Sword? Oh, maybe. Two after Egos? Realizing how the video has trained his facility no wonder he keeps pausing. Yeah. Mountain. Oh, I can see, I, yeah, I can see Rodia. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, either Rodia or Ishmael would be super cool as this. I would love Rodia though. That'd be great. God, what's happening in that room? Ooh. Oh. Just chilling in the room. Yes, yeah, she whipped them out. That was the rabbit just being blown up. Oh my God. I can't believe Rabbit Squad got wiped out. <laughs> she, she'll be laughing now at me. She'll be like, ha 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 ha, bitch. She's nearly got her though. Okay, let's, let's go a bit forward. There's four phrases. Flippin' heck. What? Oh. Wait. Is this... Where's the defeat? Oh. 
I don't know where the defeaty bit is. Wait, this is different from the other videos. Let me find it. Oh, damn! Oh, they've got like a spam version! Oh, shit, they got it. Oh, I'm breaking. I won't drop my sword even if I turn to dust. Wow. You skipped the last phase. I really think Gregor with this one. That would be cool. Oh, did I, did I miss it? Oh, here. Is this last phase? It's just not enough. It just isn't enough. Yeah, because then they've all just come in and spam attacked her. Flipping heck. Trying to see where she appears. The mob. You went past it. So this is this bit. Oh, here. Oh, damn. Okay. The monsters always kill people. Greg would be so cool. Oh, the voice. Oh. The voice is so creepy. Last phase is dangerous. Players usually finish last phase very quick or break the break loose. Greg would be insanely cool. Yeah. This would be such a cool one to have in Limbus. I would really like that, that in Limbus. That'd be dope. Oh, the oh man. No worries, Vatey. No worries. I'm gonna be finishing up shortly anyway. Night. Change the phase whenever a health bar drops to zero. I see. I'm just not capable enough. And there we go. Flip it, that's loud. Ow. And then everyone just very quickly spam attacks. I'm breaking right on my sword even if I turn to dust. This was the coolest one. This was 100% the coolest one so far. I really liked this one. That was such a cool course suppression. Very cool. I liked that one a lot. That was dope. Right, let's do let's do Hesed's and then we'll watch Hesed's course suppression and then we'll leave it there for today. The voice was an abner called the woman facing the wall. I hated that. <laughs> it was so creepy. Gebbles are heels. Ugh. Right, this one's quite long, so. The ego sound, sound of nugget stack, yeah. It truly does. It's 3k HP per phase, four phases, 12k HP, flipping heck. Wow, that one's rough. But, you know, makes sense. So maybe Gregor could get red mist. I would love that. I would love that so much. She's got the entire facility jumping on her. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I'm super worried about it. It looks daunting. You should be worried about it. <laughs> that was terrifying. Good luck. Oh, the classic death ball at the end. Yeah, right. See this one. It's quiet, isn't it? Take a good long look at this silence. Manager, have you ever gotten up early to walk the streets at the crack of dawn? I think this moment right now is equivalent to that dawn in the outside world. The abnormalities are currently in tor torpor due to the heightening of Quillpoth and deterrence during off hours. Meanwhile, the employees are stealing themselves when fate decides whatever will happen to them. When the level of deterrence is weakened, the powers of the suppressed origins will soon wake them. It's always so hard to believe that a place as quiet as this will just as soon be engulfed by pandemonium. How nice it would be to keep this tranquility. How many times do we have to fail? How much more must we be accustomed to the darkness to finally encounter the light? Good morning, Hassad, sir. Ah, yes, good morning, buddy. Good luck with your duty, as always. Mr. Tessad, I've been thinking, and I feel that I truly am lucky to be assigned to the welfare team. Just getting into Lobotomy Corporation was really competitive, but being assigned to this team is like a miracle. You know brown nosing won't gain you anything. Just think of it as flattery, sir. There really is no one who cares more about their employees like you do, Asset, sir. I mean, just look at the department on the other side of our lair. Nah, that's not necessarily true. I just want to say, I appreciate you and the many things you do, sir. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll be going now, Asset, sir. Aye aye, go get yourself ready for the day. For many days I consoled myself by saying I wasn't doing that bad for a separa. I never put my employees on the verge of death like a certain red-clad miss someone did, and I managed to be flexible with various situations most of the time. Getting mad at someone for breaking a rule or two, or agreeing with someone who claimed to make this a place better. When I take a step back and look at it all, I just can't help but think, what's the point of it all? Of course, I hoped to send them off in some peace as they were just meant to die anyways. Meanwhile, I was hiding the biggest lie of all out inside, yet I've been playing the role of the good leader knowing that it was all a falsehood. Lady Angela knew this too, 
She knew that I would never be the great man who exposed every little secret of this place to the employees and try to overthrow the system and plot. Well, I mean, I just wanted to avoid pushing her buttons. Working as the head of the welfare department, I actually never cared about the welfare of our employees at all. I was so afraid. Angela stopped any seedling of doubt or inquiry about the nature of this place by killing off employees indirectly. Then I eventually decided to cover my eyes and ears. And Miss Lady Angela with her affairs, without questioning them. Oh, fuck. God, made me jump. Hey, I said we have an emergency. You have the status report, right? The abnormalities have gone out of control. I don't know what happened, but we need to retake control of the situation right now. I thought you didn't want to speak with me. What's gone into you, Gaborah? You're able to control the deterrence, aren't you? We need to increase the level of Quillapath deterrence right now. Angel will call the rabbits if the rest of the abnormalities aren't suppressed. I want to wrap things up on my side of the facility. But, Gaborah, no one is allowed to touch the controller of the Quillapoth deterrence without Lady Angela's explicit approval. You know that. So you don't want to do it. You little coward. Do you really think you can just get over every situation by going through the motions? I hope you continue to run till the day you die, succumbing to your fears like the servile bastard you are. Choke on those sugar-coated words your employees feed you. It's been quite a while since I've been grabbed by the collar. <laughs> I said. You knew I was coming, didn't you? Seems you knew me all too well. Perhaps you are the who understands me most among our separate. Weaken the Kulak path deterrence, Chess, I said. What do you have up your sleeve this time, ma'am? Do you want to ask for reasons again, after all this time? Gabora and the other employees are fighting right now. You know that, right? Indeed, Gabora is. Sorry, this is quite humorous for, to me. I didn't know you would talk about Gabora. You should know. You've seen her for yourself. Gabora has failed to control her enmity and has now lost her way. What I'm saying is, she is not fighting for some grand ideology. She should know best how she stands. Everyone has their own battle in this place. But I can't seem to shake off this feeling that I'm the only one who just observes the situation from afar, not taking any action. I thought you enjoyed those kind of things, I said. Taking in a cup of coffee, enjoying the peaceful day, listening to your classical music. I would think that I am providing the right environment for you, no? It seems our conversation has run on longer than I expected. Let me tell you one last time. Lower the deterrence. All right, everyone, let's make the best of today as always. Open the door. Who are you, ma'am? Your taste in music is rather classy. Oh, classy. Quite different from mine, however. What the? Oh. Oh, freaking hell, it's Bina. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, let me get my Bina voice out. Shit. All right. Crap. Tree of death. Ooh. Hence why you get it first in game. Oh, I see. Okay, fair enough. It's all right. It, it works still. Either way, it works. Okay. I apologize. I didn't think you would open the door for me, so I simply walked in. How did you get inside? Do I know you? I've arrived from the head. I was so desperately looking for you all. The reason why I came all the way here is... Well, let's just say I have showed up to play my favorite music. Excuse me, you there. Can you tell me the name of this fine gentleman? D D Daniel! His name is Daniel! Daniel, is it? That name carries much more with it than you merit. I would assume that you are the one in charge of this place. Open that section where those monsters of yours are locked up. As you saw just a moment ago, it's nothing for me to open a locked door with my power. I'm just being polite after all, asking you to open the doors. It's only fair as you're in the one in charge here. I urge you not to resist, just listen to me. If you do so, a few of these people might be able to escape with their lives now. It's easy to point the finger at blame at the betrayer. However, one never really knows what it feels like to be the target of such a thing until they've been in the shoes of that situation. Back then, a chill had come over my entire body. It was a fear I'd never felt before. I had faced numerous experiment-intended abnormalities, yet I had never experienced my body paralyzed and my blood curdling in such a way before. So this is the head. Boss, enough with your orders. Don't try and make me justify my cowardly acts. I'm ashamed for consoling myself, saying that there was nothing to be at done after passing straight through the tunnel of defeat. I'm so struck with shame and grief, I can't bear it anymore. 
This body of mine is like a punishment for me, reminding me of my past. I can't even bleed from this body. I don't want one to take dirty work for Angela's show or be a puppet who gets praise and applause from everyone. Nor do I want to be your aid who can't do a single thing. Oh my god, this music is amazing as well. All of this has been a series of shame for me. Manager, this should be my rebellion against you and Angela. I'm the only one who survived. Saying there was nothing I could do, that I was too scared to bear it by myself, that I wanted to save at least a few of my co-workers. All of those are meaningless excuses, that I think I'm going to die too soon too. The head is on its way to get you. I'll see you again in hell, eh, sir? How fear is able to dominate a human mind? How many people would stick to the beliefs and morals if they were to come face to face with true nightmare? The answers to those questions are why no one can blame Daniel's behaviour. Truth be told, everything fell down the edge of the cliff the exact moment the head found us. Hang up the intercom. <gasps> Our last conversation came to an end with a hopeless silence. Daniel, he was intelligent and held a high social position and showed more finesse than anyone else in our research lab. He had an excellent reputation from people who surrounded him. He had his sly yet charming smile and humour. It would have been easy for him to get into any one of the wings with his skills and personality. But he chose us, not the wings. Though amazing he once was, there is no doubt he died in despair and regret cursing his choice. Seeing the dead bodies of his co-workers strewn about the front of him. Not even having a single comfort of knowing it wasn't his fault. Unable to find any peace for his final rest. Oh my fucking god, you're kidding me. No, Bina. Not right now, I can't. I don't even want to look at you right now. What the freaking frick? No. Oh my god. We're leaving this off in such a freaking sad place. Oh, Daniel. Oh. That is, aw that is so freaking awful. Why are these all so sad? Flipping. 30 like freaking hell. Hesed. Damn. <laughs> Freaking heck. I come back and pass her said it's dead. Oh, yo, it sucks. Look at the background. It looks like a well. Oh. Oh, shit. Eternal darkness. I'm going to make an interesting connection here, but it's probably wrong. This isn't the same eternal darkness that was referenced to in the Dante notes, was there? With the one that um, that creature came out of and nearly pulled Heath into. It's not the same darkness is it because <laughs> that's music is so freaking sad on all occasions listen to all the songs and the songs they want comes to me they're sad it's beautiful from leak and ruin the most beautiful performance begins honestly it's really interesting now that's from a corridor singularity okay i don't know what it entails but it is different okay okay so it is a different thing that's fine i just wondered whether or not this darkness was something that what the hell is that sorry <laughs> It's like evil elbow. <laughs> like, hello. No idea. I, I don't know. I don't know what entails. It could be. If you don't know what entails, it could be the same then. I just wondered if it was like something from the darkness that's like echoes across. Like there is this darkness that sort of happens. Oh, unknown. Don't know. Okay. But yeah, um, sorry. <laughs> that just really, <laughs> really surprised me. It's it's reindeer? No. <laughs> Ruled altar of the sleigh? Stop. Is it actually? It looks like Elmo. <laughs> I love it. Are those the shoes? Are those the ballet the ballet slippers? The the pink ones? Oh, they, these are red, but are they like the pink ones? Oh my god, is that an anime? Is that an anime girl? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Evil Santa <sand> Helmo. <laughs> That's what it is. It's Helmo. He's not even in the official app. Really? With my infinite hatred, I give you this gift. Okay, let's do it. Something at the beginning as well. Merry Christmas. The pink ones are an aberration. Off oh, the red ones. Okay. Oh, so there's the red ones too. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. Right, let's just go forward a bit. Because this is 40 minutes long. Do not call her cute. Why? Queen of hatred, my beloved! <laughs> you always say she's cute when you're dealing with her. <laughs> well, I'd have to use this line. <laughs> so that's what the aberration is. Okay, got it. Ooh, this one. Ooh, what the hell is that? Ooh, there's like a thing at the top. What is this? I don't know what that is. 
don't, don't be fooled. Oh my god, the music is amazing, but I'm gonna get thingy on it. Okay. Um, this one's a banger. All of them. Are. Mm. Okay, so where is he? Uh, oh, whoa! Is that him? B P R W. So to explain how chest suppression works, all employees will take four times damage whenever damage he highlights. Oh, wait. right. So they're the four types of damage that you can take. Let my employees be at peace. The tears of all the employees, the downpour will never stop. Oh, it's like rain. Rain is falling. This rain, the tears. Oh, 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 no. Oh, I see. So that's, so he, oh. Interesting. It doesn't look like a tree again. It looks, it kind of looks like something else. Oh, interesting. Um, call off deterrence is lifted for this course suppression. Okay. Wait, hold on. Go on. Isn't too bad. Just see multiplies different types of damage. Okay. Oh, the rain. I love the rain, like, filter over it. It looks cool. It's a sigil to warn you of Chester's meltdown fight. So he boosts... Uh, Hesed, sorry. He boosts damage of certain types based on what's highlighted. Right. So B is black, P is pale, W is white, and R is red. Okay. Which is the reference to the four, horse, four horsemen of the apocalypse. Apocalypse, yeah. A cross or a compass or a flower. Yeah, it could be. Or a windmill. Yeah. A lot of things it could be. I'm pretty sure this is also a symbol in religious connotations as well, though. It's fully sane during his course suppression, but he's just making you have a hard time. Oh, so he's like just doing it deliberately. And Marty's also become dangerous as they'd be outside the facility. Right. Ooh, forsaken murderer. Oh, there's nothing there again. Judgment bird. Okay, let's forward it a little bit. Oh, so now it's swapped to W. Okay. God, this one seems quite long as well. Oh, the rain's getting, like, heavier. Oh, and now it's doing two of them. Oh, so it's literally pouring down as it's going. You can see the colours of the damage on his body. Oh. Well, I could if it would go over there. Vast pain. Guess wheel symbolism? Wow, look how heavy the rain is. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but in a sense, they're all rebelling. That's true, yeah. But I guess he's doing it in a more kind of... If he's if he's realizes what he's doing, he's kind of doing it in a bit more of like a sane way, right? I really want to see it up close. I want to see. I want to see what like is on each of the little. Th like I want it to zoom in so I can see because it looks like they all look like different things. But I want to see what it is. I need to. I need to zoom in, mate. I need. You oh, uh, that's a bit clear. Oh, that's now clearer. That is literally no clearer. I wonder. Do I still have a conscience left inside or? It's also sad considering like how like what his potential was and what he's become. This one has a full ch high chance of causing death. Oh, I'm coming fully sane, but he's having a mental breakdown. I don't blame him. He's having a net sad moment. Oh, there's red shoes. I see. Let's forward it a little bit because this is really long. Ooh. Ooh, the music's quite dramatic. Okay. It should at the beginning. It'll zoom in at the end. It does zoom in at the end. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll just forward it a little bit because I don't think it's going to give us... I don't think... It's it's not like with um, Gabor as well. Like, she was moving around loads. Oh, here's the rabbits. The rabbits are coming. Are they... Where are they? I don't know where, they, I don't know where they've gone, but... The rabbits are en route. Okay. Uh, it's actually one of the easiest pressions. It's probably took a player 40 minutes. Don't know. Don't know what they were doing. Must have been milking it, I've got no idea. Unless I was gonna say, let me just go straight to the end. Okay. Oh, and then oh there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right. We're there. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Nearly. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, kind of. We can kind of see it. But not really. It's a little bit too zoomed in. But yeah, I, I don't know what that is. I have got no idea what that is meant to be. Oh, take another look at the chart. Which chart? I don't know which chart you mean, to be fair. Oof, God, that's a lot of damage, flipping heck. It shows the it shows the damage types on his body. Maybe they were playing carefully. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Flipping heck, look at this. They were doing loads. Um, but yeah, love how he still has his coffee mug. Oh, the mug as well. Of course he does. He's got to have his coffee. God, if you're going to get into like a fight like this, of course you're going to have your coffee. Oh, so yeah, they're the damage colors, yes. But I wonder, like, what each of these must represent. I'm just curious if they actually represented anything. 
Post picture in the Discord. Yeah, great, thank you. Always check out the wiki. The yeah, they're the damage types. Yeah, I just wondered if they they actually represented different things. That was all. Um, but yeah, these Google Mug. <laughs> they just represent the damage types. Okay, cool, awesome. Okay, right. Well, that's I was gonna say that's the end of that one, isn't it? Right. Okay. Well, that was where I was gonna end. To be fair, um, because yeah, that's that's it all caught up, and then we'll pick up next time with with Bina. And then, yeah, and then hopefully finishing this off. So I'm not going to do, I won't be doing the stream this week. Um, I am streaming on the weekend, but the rest of the week I'm not going to be streaming. So it's just going to be normal videos and stuff. But yeah, so we'll be, I'm streaming at the weekend. I'm doing Final Fantasy and Arc Nights. So I will sort this out for next week. And if not, the week afterwards. Unfortunately, I don't think it will be on a weekend. I think it will have to be on a weekday. I might try and do it on like my Friday night again, but I will have a look. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much everyone for hanging out. This was a really great stream. Re this game is so freaking cool. I'm loving the lore of this game. So I'm really interested to get to learn more and see what's going to happen. And yeah, and then yeah. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> Post in the Limbus chat. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, very quickly, if you guys have not joined the Discord, please do join it. That would be very much appreciated. And if you want to talk about any of the kind of game or any spoilies or send any videos, recommend anything, pop it in there. That would be amazing. Well, it was very instating. It was, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much. Good place when, yeah, doing this back to back. Yeah. I recommend brewing tea. It will be relevant. Ooh. We're in a good, good cup of tea. Um, I will post in the Discord when the next stream is going to be. I've also been asked to start posting it on the community section on the stream, on like my channel. So I'm going to try to do that too. Pale is rendering of the soul. Black is croning thorns. White is kind of the mind. And red looks like hit stars. Oh, okay. Oh, that's sick. Just the most, you know, it's the most sort of insane of these games. Hey, I don't blame you. It's awesome. I'm so excited to get into Runa. I'm so excited. We got through upper and mid layers, which then means we can do the lower layer next stream. We can hopefully do the Abnos, some OSTs, and then we're going to be good. These streams are awesome. I'm really glad you're enjoying them. I've really enjoyed them too. This is, this is so cool. We have a whole game to go. <laughs> we do. <laughs> This series is insane. I can't wait. I'm so excited for Runa. Okay, guys, have an amazing rest of your evening. I will catch you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to like the stream as well if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you later. Good night, everyone. Bye. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> There's a lot of abnos in my Rocket Part 4. We'll, we'll deal with it. <laughs> It'll be okay. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye.